world we are here at disney's all-star movies i am joined by two familiar faces Farris films and rhode island ryan are in the house we are kicking off this nine hour stream here because we have a busy busy day first of all if you're not aware we hit 9,000 subscribers last week so we're doing a nine hour stream to celebrate yes thank you to all of you uh, and of course, thanks to you guys for helping me out and uh, everyone who supports the channel. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you If you can do me a little favor right now, just hit that like button. We're gonna try I'm setting a goal of 300 likes today 300 it is a lofty goal, but I think we could do it if everyone helps out uh, And if you haven't subscribed you should totally subscribe So you're probably wondering why are we here at like it all-star <laughs> movies is I thought it would be fun today to try to do as many resorts as we can in nine hours and we have a pretty good strategy we won't be able to do all of them because that would involve a little more transportation and we only have nine hours and i want to end up at the polynesian by 8 45 because the plan is to finish the stream watching happily ever after on the beach at the polynesian but right now i'll tell you our our part a of the plan we're going to walk you through and tour the three all-star resorts movies sports and music music then we're going to hop on a bus over to hollywood studios we're not going to get we're not gonna go into the park. We're gonna hop on the Skyliner and go over to the resorts on the Skyliner and go show you Art of Animation, Pop Century, Caribbean Beach, Riviera. Then we're gonna Skyline over to the boardwalk, show you the boardwalk resorts, beach and yacht, boardwalk, Swan and Dolphin, Swan Reserve. Then we're gonna take a little bus over to Disney Springs, show you Disney Springs, walk over to Saratoga, show you Saratoga. Then take a little boat ride down the Sasagula over to Port Orleans, French Quarter, and Riverside. From there, we'll hop on a bus, we'll head towards Magic Kingdom. We might not go in there either, because there's other resorts to do. I'm thinking we're gonna go over and do a little bit. If we have time, we're gonna take a boat over to Wilderness Lodge and Fort. If we're running behind, we'll do the monorail resorts, Contemporary, Bay Lake Tower, uh, Grand Floridian, and ending up at the Polynesian. So a very busy day. We're gonna be doing all modes of Disney transportation from monorails to Skyliners to buses and boats. We're gonna be doing as many resorts as we can. If we have extra time, I have extra resorts and stops we can do as well. It's gonna be a packed day. You know the schedule now. Please hit that like button, subscribe. Let's go have some fun celebrating 9,000 subscribers. Let's go, we have those on the waist. There's no time to waste. Also, we'll be catching up with the chat on the Disney transportation today, so don't feel like I'm ignoring you. When we're on like a bus or a Skyliner or a boat, It'll be a good time to check out the chat and catch up. Feel free to throw any questions, comments, anything you want to throw in the chat, or if you just want to shout out, just say hi. I'd love to say hi to everyone. Let's start out here at Disney's All-Star Resorts. Like I said, there's three of them. Disney's changing the name, but these are known as the value resorts. They typically... Uh, are a little more affordable per night here at Walt Disney World. Here we go. Let's do it. You got a little wish, step, and repeat. Were you just saying that these are the cheapest resorts? Yes, I said the most affordable. Okay. Well, <laughs> you know, cheapest, whatever. That's the, uh, but uh, specifically, this one is usually 5 to $10 more a night than the other two. Really? Is there a reason for that? Um, uh, it just has the, the most uh, over-the-top Disney branded theming. Okay, a lot of theming. We'll show you the theming outside. Also, they have the hours and things that are going on today. The pool is open from 12 to 11. That's nice. Uh, you have your park hours. Magic Kingdom is open from 9 to 10. Epcot, 9 to 9. Studios, 9 to 9. Animal Kingdom, 8 to 6. Typhoon, 10 to 5. Blizzard Beach is closed, and Springs is open as well. There he is. Walt, Tom Hanks. Tom Hanks again. Tom Hanks again. Tom Hanks again. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. Like the <laughs> um, we're, we're going to show you the merch. We'll show you the food court. But Ferris and I have to have a conversation off camera. Ryan, would you like to show the store or the food court? I'll and I'll meet up. Store. Okay. I'll be right back. I'll be quick. All right. <laughs> I'm going to walk you guys through the store. Hello. Always. Hello, Colleen. I don't know how to scroll on chat, so if I miss something, uh, just say it again. 
But we've got some uh, some Disney Plus advertisements up on the screen over here. What I want to say is, if there's any merch that I haven't seen. Hello. I'm just going to say a general hello to everyone. Um, but right over here is uh, package pickup. So if you get like an Amazon delivery or a, um, you know, like a Grubhub grocery or something like that, you can pick them up over there. Along with concierge, they have, you know, a little bit of lunch meat because you do have a fridge in the room. Um, you know different uh, drinks, a little bit of alcohol, some chips. These used to only be really in um, the DVC resorts, but now they are kind of everywhere. And here is, this is what I was kind of looking for, was a piece of exclusive merch. So right here we have A all-star resorts so it has the music movies and sports and then usually there is also a pin and sometimes a shirt um, but I haven't seen that bottle that bottles kind of cool Um, I believe that you can still send things to your resort from the parks. Yeah. But I think that those get delivered right to you, uh, concierge, which is over on the other side of um, the lobby. I forgot to ask you before we walk away from your car. Did you bring your pin lanyard? I did. It's in my backpack. Oh, sweet. That's another little theme we're going to try and do today is we're going to see if we can trade a pin at every resort. I think that's going to be fun, too. I think uh, we'll try and do it for the trio of sports movies and music i think we should find it everywhere we don't have to trade they're your pins <laughs> well i mean they're they're traders okay so, good traders even if they get just swapped for the same pin over and over again on step movie yeah that's fine i like the thing in here i love the the movie feel and the vibe where you have yeah. the box office sign over there and like kind of like the old school like you have the concessions here the will call package pickup I was saying it's kind of cool. They have like um, lunch meat and like chips and salsa and stuff yeah. like that. And they didn't have that before. Those used to be only at like the DVC resorts. Really? I thought all the resorts had like little no, snacks this, and stuff. This is the most grocery store esque one that I've seen in a while. Well, we're going to be a lot, see a lot of resorts today. I feel like a lot of the resorts have started to do this. I guess it's been a long time since I've stayed on property. Um, but back when I did stay on property, yeah. really, about five years ago. They didn't have, like, you know, the deli meat and the like, cheese and all, all that right. kind of stuff. Yeah, I also feel like they may have added a little bit. I, I always thought there was something, but a lot of people, since they're shipping their groceries in, having your own here, yeah. Disney can make that little bit of money where the family, I feel like some people on vacation are like, hey, we'll just buy it here. I'm not going to take the time to... Yeah. And then I showed they have a All-Star Resorts uh, cup. Oh, cup, fun. Uh, like a water bottle. Uh, one of the main metal water bottles. Like the insulated one? Yeah. Very nice. Little, little vacuum insulated. Do you guys have a favorite? Movies, sports, or music? Uh, so personally, I love music uh, because it's where I grew up staying. I love sports because the football field looks pretty cool. All right. It's well, pretty realistic, honestly. And you know what? Just for fun, I love movies. <laughs> <laughs> Most often because that Pete's gonna say all everyone time. knows I've seen like every movie there is. Actually, we talked about movies. <laughs> we haven't even seen High School Musical. I have not. Yeah, not. that's the kind of the joke is that I haven't seen any movie. Uh, they have an arcade here. There's an arcade, I think, at every single Disney resort. Uh, this one's pretty, I think, extensive from what I remember. I think all of the old stars gonna have very good arcades. Yeah, it's deep. Yeah, look, this is a giant arcade. Two different air hockey tables. At some point today, we're going to have to do some kind of game off somewhere. 
We'll find something. Remember what was uh remember that Skyliner bar crawl we did when we had like and then we just broke into a giant table tennis match? It was like last summer or something like that. Let's see what some of the recreation activities going on here. They have a wellness scavenger hunt. They have a find a friend. Search the resort for hidden goofy photo props once located. All right, we got to keep our eyes peeled. Uh, the arcade activities. Make your own walk of fame star. That's fun. 3.30 on wow. Sundays and Thursdays. We have to come back for that. Also, the arcade is open very late. What time? 1 a.m. 1 a.m.? Yeah, you got to game hard until 1 in the morning. That's going to be perfect for our 24-hour stream. We have things to do until 1 a.m. That's perfect. <laughs> it says, what are we going to do after, after 1 a.m.? It might be all the same activities, no? Probably. I would assume they're pretty similar, but we'll see as we go. This does say movies, but... All right, let's keep it moving. Oh, I guess we'll walk through the cafeteria and back out. Muppets. Muppets. Feel free to drop, again, I'm gonna catch up with the chat, say hi to everybody in a little bit, but feel free to drop how many resorts do you think we'll be able to do today by getting to the Polynesian on time at 8.45 tonight? So, so far, we are at one. <laughs> we are at our first stop. Um, we're at one of one. One of one, we're, hey, we're batting a thousand. Um, I will say, of all the food courts at all three, I'm not joking, Movies is my favorite. They used to have this chicken sandwich and chicken ball like two days a week. That was so good. Let's see. I'm telling you, Disney has stepped up their food game. Look at that. You got a panko crusted salmon with roasted rainbow carrots and a hearty kale salad. Garlic herb shrimp with roasted rainbow carrots. And the choose your own sides is a nice touch. I think that's the chicken that's good too, the mojo roasted chicken with the garlic green beans. And yeah, I love that you can choose your own two sides between the mashed potatoes, the succotash, which is so much fun to say. Garlic so green beans. <laughs> exactly. The food's good. The food is good. And what a garlic fun. Sounds like a good way to eat green beans. Yeah, right out of the garden. No, garlic. Garlic is good on everything as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what I was I saying. thought you said garden, and I'm like, of course, garden fresh. Oh, look. Get a uh, mini kitchen sink over here. You got the mini kitchen sink. This is a really fun themed food court. Very All right, let's keep it moving. Have a good day, Sean. We're always having a good time. Yeah, I figure we just do a little tour. Some places that we've done a lot, but you don't have to do everything. But we haven't been here in I think like a year, so I figure I'd show it off a little bit. Uh, I love the big old camera equipment. Some of the pictures on the wall. Why, is there something you do or do not want to do? Oh, no, I was, I was asking. So when there's bad weather, they don't do the movie Under the Stars. Over here, they have the real spot. Kind of like a little indoor movie theater. Cool. Sounds good. Yes, they also sometimes do other activities in here. I've seen uh, it during the rain. They did yoga in here one time. Oh, that's fun. Yeah, you can see that screen goes down. Uh, they have the projector. They have plenty of fans for when it's hot out. Big fan of the fans. Big fan of the fans. Small fans, but many. It takes a village. And let's check out some of the fun theming. Again, these are technically value resorts. But I think they're super fun with the theming. You got the big bucket of soldiers for your staircases. I think you get quite a bit of value for these value resorts. I would agree. We got this some my favorite section of this resort. chess and checker, some foosball. Why is it your favorite? I do like uh, the Toy army Story. men on top too. Yeah. Toy Story and like the, the RC. RC had, yeah. Um, I stayed at that second room right there one time. It was cool to like wake up and the first thing that you did was walk out and see RC. RC, hanging out. And it is, if you have little ones, a great photo spot. You can sit in there. Yeah, I like that. They, they have, have a two-seater, like, yeah. have the no climbing or anything like that. Table tennis with the balls and paddles. You can play a little table tennis. It's kind of nice to have it be a little bit farther away from the pool area because I feel like normally those are always like right yeah. next to the pool area. It's nice to kind of have it spread out. Love this giant door into Andy's room where it says, keep out, except Molly. Look how fun this is. We got a giant buzz here with the blocks. There's Woodrow. Woodrow Wilson? Fun fact about, uh, for those who don't know Pixar, fun facts. Uh, you see the book Tin Toy right there on the second shelf. Tin Toy was the first uh, short Pixar put out. 
<laughs> Great places for children to visit. That's fantastic. My first book. I should read that one. Oh, the ABCs. ABCs. They got the Adventures by Carnies right there. Right next to the stars. Right next to the stars. How great is that? Right the stars up to the ABCs. This, even this window is fantastic. It's like not much. It's like it, it just adds something. Oh, absolutely. There's something about like, because you're kind of toy sized right now. Yeah. And I love this too. The, the life size checkers. Yes. They also had a smaller version that you could actually play yeah. over. Yeah. And these. <laughs> You can't move. They're mid-game. That buzz is around 50 feet tall. This is pretty cool. I've got kind of yeah, this is nice back here, right? And there's Rex. Look at Ferris and Rex. Twins. Twins, both party animals. <laughs> Bo Peep. It is a big door. You know, you can bring your own fun. Yeah, for sure. How much stuff is here? Like, I'll look down there, like the Dalmatian area. That's why I was like, yeah, we haven't done it in a while. It's fun to rediscover areas. If you're enjoying the stream, we've set a lofty goal today: 300 likes. If you could please hit that like button. Yeah, this is the soft concrete, yeah. Our, that's a Fortnite car? <laughs> they have a nice little playground over here too for the little ones, which is super cool. We are celebrating 9,000 subscribers of the nine hour stream today. Thank you so much to everybody who made that happen. Gonna be a fun day. Let's go check out the Fantasia pool. Faris, have you swam in every single pool on Disney property? I dang, that's a Lego question. Thank I you, thank I you. Think so. You don't think so? Don't think so. Oh, I was gonna say, I feel like you have. Yeah, I have. Swan off is my favorite. My number two is when I was brains. But it might have to be a fun summer stream where we go and swim in every pool one day on a stream. Here's the silver screen spirits. I feel like what if we... What if we timed it or made it a race? You had to do one lap across every pool. Yeah. I don't remember this at all. So there's a laundry area here and locker room. And then they have this little splash pad for the kids. I don't remember this. I think this is new. I don't remember this at all. Here's the Fantasia pool. You got Mickey shooting the water out. During the day, the rec team does a great job with different activities. They do trivia, they do like name that tune, a lot of fun stuff. So on your non-park day, go hang out at your pool. Like I said, we're gonna catch up with the chat uh, as soon as we hop on that bus. So I'm not ignoring the chat. You guys will all be giving some love in a little bit. Just hard to see the screen in the sun. It is very bright out today. It's so bright. And uh, I brought plenty of batteries, so I will also be reading the chat on the buses and other things. Look at that. And we have other friends joining us as well. We might see Lauren today. Marquita is probably gonna stop by. Some other friends as well might pop in. This isn't creepy at all. <laughs> I feel like, where's, hold on, where's my filters? I feel like, yeah, this is how I actually see this. <laughs> uh, all right, let's get out of this. We got some ballerina action going on. Which way? Oh, they're okay. Well, that's fun. I forgot all about Herbie. How can you forget about Herbie? <sighs> I'm a fool on a fool's Fully journey. Loaded. Fully loaded. This is where they roast some marshmallows tonight. You can come make some s'mores. 
Take a little pick with Donald and Daisy. It's very cool that they have that at like basically every resort now. Yeah, the s'mores and the roasted marshmallows, I think it's at every resort. The, a big difference from the values and the moderates and the deluxes, besides, you know, rooms and stuff like that. But uh, if we're talking about pool areas, is that there's no hot tubs or jacuzzis at the value resorts. Those are only at the uh, uh, night. I don't want to say nice. All right, well, moderate or deluxe, although they're taking those terms away, too. Here we are at the winner's circle. You got the love bug over there. You could take some pics here. You got the tires. Herbie's over here. I love the, uh, the number of millimeters on these. What do you wrenches. mean? Oh, yeah, that's awesome. Labeled. 915 millimeters. I don't even think so. 1219 millimeters. You got all the tools, screwdrivers, wrenches. That would be centimeters that would be almost a yard so i think that they're still exaggerating a little bit but it's fun how dare they and then these staircases are books yeah i like that again hiding those staircases with props big fan big fan you got the clapper i was punked at a panera bread yesterday um I'm, I'm convinced that someone played this joke and it's brilliant. Someone, I'm convinced, put a sticker on the door of the bathroom that says, door is clap activated, and I was alone in the bathroom. So I was like, all right, instead of opening the door, I just washed my hands, I'll clap. I stood there clapping like an idiot <laughs> for a full minute. And I'm like, someone just probably made a sticker and put this on a door. That's the funniest <laughs> you could ever put on anything. The door is clap activated. I'm sitting there clapping it up in the Panera bathroom. People probably came out like, why is this guy applauding himself? Yeah. <laughs> like, yay, you did it. <laughs> That's underneath the Fantasia hat right there. We've shown staircases, but every building has elevators as well. The all-star resorts, uh, all of them are three stories. But multiple uh, buildings, and they're all different themes. Like you saw, we were in the Toy Story area. There's the Fantasia area, the Herbie area. Now we're headed to the 101 Dalmatians part of the resort. And this is why this one is a little bit more money is because they are themed after Disney movies. Really? Uh, yeah, it's, it's only a small amount more, you know, maybe $10 a night more. Yeah, they're, they're usually pretty close. So here's the other side of that Fantasia pool, which we just saw the other side. There's the main lobby that we started in straight ahead. We started our stream right there. Did a loop on the other side. We're going to head through the 101 Dalmatians area, and we're going to walk to all the All-Stars because they do connect through the parking lots. That's fun. I like that. Yeah, and then we've got Corella in her uh, Cadillac to do. I'm putting a little Britney Spears in the pool area. I like that. Um, I mean, you can't really see it, but uh, a lot of the uh, the dog tags have. Oh, yeah. This one says. Uh, canine Crunchies. Canine is, Crunchies. Uh, actually, one of the snacks that they like. They used to watch a, uh, there was an advertisement that they would watch. That's a fun fact that I did not know. Yeah, they would watch it. See, he's, he's probably watching a Canine Crunchies advertisement right there. I don't know if we want to do this, but do you think there's actually 101 Dalmatians on these buildings? You know, I bet you one day we can come and count. <laughs> but I don't think right now is the time. Hold on. Let's just real quick. Ready? Two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20, 22, 24, roughly 25. And there's four buildings. There's definitely 101 Dalmatians. I love that if that's well, actually it, true. It should be 98 plus <laughs> yeah. uh, Pungo and Perdita. And Pongo and Perdita. And look at this little Dalmatian watching some TV. Yeah, he's watching the Canine Crunchies. I feel like you can jump in there and he'll be watching you on television. Well, then you're in the Canine Crunchies advertising. Hi, I'm Pete Carney for Canine Crunchies. Looks like this uh, is one of my favorite areas. That's right. This is one of my favorite movies growing up. 
I played hockey the longest out of any sport that I played from the second grade all the way up through college and uh, love the Mighty Ducks. And they have, uh, besides their own area of the resort, they got the duck pond pool. Quack, 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 quack. quack. <laughs> Come on, Farris, you've seen the Mighty Ducks. A long time ago. Yeah, we've all seen it a long time ago. I don't remember it, though. I'm I, talking about watching every Tuesday. <laughs> I did recently go back and watch them all. <laughs> we got the scoreboard over here. You can see the back of the net. This pool open from 10 a.m. to 11 p.m. Goalie Goofy? Goofy's in goal? Oh, we got to. Let's, yeah, let's, let's do it. Oh, Farris, so strong. Farris. Well, we're gonna use the other gate. Golly, <laughs> Ferris. Remember, this is a value resort, guys. Come on. <laughs> Keep your expectations low. I love the goof is in goal. I also love for the men and women's room, it's Donald's and Daisy's. Thank you. And this is fun. I like that the fans are up top watching and you could go underneath the mask. Ah, shade. I don't know where my friends went. There they are. So they have restrooms over here, the Donald's and the Daisies, men and women's room. And you can see the lockers with the helmets and the sticks. Love it. When checking into your Disney rooms, uh, I always tell everyone, make sure you have the My Disney Experience app downloaded before you come, get used to it. But they will notify you when your room is ready. You can see housekeeping trying to get through and clean the rooms as soon as possible. But if you wanna drop your bags and go to the parks, that is an option. And then you'll get a text when your room is ready. You also can request certain rooms as well. There they are. And these nets cover these stairwells here at the end. And now we're... What? Stairway cover, because you can see through. You can, but it kind of works because it looks like a net. It does look like a net. We're over here on Director's Drive and Melody Lane, and we're gonna head over... What's in the middle? Uh, music, right? Yeah. I should have known. Look at the giant bongo over there. This is uh, this is where I learned how to swim. This is the first pool that I ever swam in without floaties on. Really? Look at that. Yeah. Farris, since you grew up here, did you guys just like go to the like fun pool areas all the time? Bernardo. That's the best. Oh, That's super fun where your home base pool is Coronado. I used to go to the YMCA. We were very lucky. We were one of the few homes that had an in-ground pool in my neighborhood, so everyone came over our house. Yeah, no. Well, I went to the YMCA, and then we bought a house with a pool, and then we were the pool house. I can't tell you how many friends I've had to save who said they could swim, jumped in the pool, and went right to the bottom. Yep. All right, we're now at music. We're kind of coming in the side. This is your food court to the right. Their main pool coming up. Every pool, all these are laid out very similarly. There's a pool bar, which is open until I believe 11 o'clock every night. If you're just joining us, we are touring as many resorts, doing all the transportation as possible. We're doing nine hours at Walt Disney World today. I'm joined by my two boys, Farris Films and Ryan. Do you like Rhode Island, Ryan? Ryan? 
What should we? You just Ryan, Ryan Paolo. Whatever you want to say. <sighs> Crying <laughs> Ryan. Not that one. <laughs> Here's singing Ryan spirits. All right, so now the now the rankings are starting to come together. Farrah oh, saying. Oh, yeah, by the way, because I'm like my TikTok. What do you guys rate that resort one to ten? Don't rate all them as well. So this is hard because uh, rating them among all resorts at Disney. One to ten. Oh. Oh, that's so hard. Just, just a standard one singular metric. <laughs> yeah, this is hard. A four? See, but I like. No, I would be well, so. Be I would be so happy to stay there. I mean, I guess if you're comparing it to like Wilderness Lodge and Polynesian, I would put it at a five. I'm going six point seven eight. Honestly, I understand that because it is mm -hmm. it is probably one of I would say it's number two as the most Disney resort. I think it's a lot of something mm -hmm. that you know this way. Uh, yeah. Uh, I just wanted to show that they got the three caballeros here in the middle of the pool. Also, they also have restrooms, laundry here next to the main pool as well. But we're going to take the long way and show you some of the other areas. Right now, we are in the Calypso area, which is by the main pool. For now. Growing up, staying here, I always stayed in this section right here. The jazz, the jazz section. What am I? It wasn't preferred. And we were trying to save that little extra bit of money. No doubt. I don't even remember when we came down for our family vacation the one time in my childhood. But when I started coming in my 20s, whatever All-Star was the cheapest was where you could find me. It usually alternates within a dollar or two between this one and All-Star Sports, depending on whether or not there is a youth sports group. Because obviously yes. the more rooms that are sold out, the more expensive it is. So why am I? Yep, yep. Uh, they also have a playground here. It's hidden right behind those plants. But you guys have seen a Disney playground. Although now if I was to be doing the same thing, like let's say I was still coming down from New York, I'd probably try to get pop even if I had to pay a little bit more just to be on the Skyliner. Yeah. Skyliner's a game changer. See, my issue with pop is that you can usually get... Um, like Coronado for almost the same price. No way. You're thinking Art of Animation. Well, maybe I am. Art of Animation and Pop are the two at the end of the Skyliner, and Art of Animation is significantly more expensive than Pop. Pop's usually a little bit more. Uh, your All-Stars are generally your most affordable option. Then it's Pop, and then, yeah, there's like Art of Animation's close to the moderates now. It's like Port Orleans, Coronado. Speaking of Port Orleans, this has a Port Orleans vibe right here. I think it's because it's a little jazzy. Yeah. Because we are in the jazz section. You can see the giant drum set over here. And I like it because it says that you were at the Jazz Inn or you're just jazzing, baby. Just jazzing. What are you doing? I'm just jazzing. Jazzing out. There's another pool back here, more of a quiet pool. Is this the note pool? I know there's one pool. It's, oh no, this is the piano pool. The piano pool. So this is shaped like a So piano. let's see if these are different or the same. Oh, these are different. So this is fun. They have the design your own mosaic with the music note. That's fun on That's Saturdays. Really cute. Arts and crafts, they can uh, do some arts and crafts by the pool. They have a arcade. Oh, that's just the times, because some of them have tournaments. Oh yeah, yeah there so, you go. Yeah, they also have a, it's at the same time, so you can't, you can't compete at both resorts, unfortunately. Yeah, but this is cool. A glow party on Saturday night at the pool. The Calypso pool deck? That's cool. This is fun too, you got the stage door over here. I believe that that is the country section. Let's go check out the country section and then we'll come back to the pool. This goes deep. Yeah, we got uh, Ariel and Sebastian moved by the pool. Oh, we're gonna get in there. And then the, the, the changing area and bathroom over here is like an old uh, radio. I love it. Yeah, that's uh, what an old radio looked like, everyone. Used to have a AM FM 89.3. No Spotify, Pandora. You just listen to what 
the producers wanted you to listen to. The disc jockey. <laughs> That's right. Here we are at Battery Place in Broadway. Is this a pickleball net? It says pickleball. That's fun. I know some resorts do have the painted pickleball lines, but this is fun. You could just play a little pickleball right here. Yeah. And they have... No way. They got some paddles and a ball? If I wasn't already sweating, I would say let's do it. I so I think that area back there is the country area. Yeah, right. This... this we're talking where I'm from, New York, Broadway. Oh, that's very cool. I don't think I've ever walked through this section. Yeah, and There's they have on Broadway, and Aladdin, Aladdin on yeah. Broadway. Also, I just like that there's like these picnic tables. You can kind of just hang out. It's quiet back here. It is, it's nice. It, and like, honestly, this is very, very much like this gives New York vibe with the, the lamp posts and like this this little gated area. I was going to say, that, that is more like, yeah, like a Bryant Park vibe, but I was going to say, there's no way that this gives a New York vibe being this empty on Broadway and Times Square. You're right. <laughs> like, aesthetically. Yes, no, it is, it's, it's very beautiful. And then we have the Lion King poster over there. They got the neons, the Broadway neon up top. Aida? Aida. Elton John and Tim Rice. Yeah, they, we listened to them sing that one song from it. <laughs> yes. On street. I really, so I saw Frozen on Broadway. I've seen Aladdin on Broadway. I've seen Beauty and the Beast. We've got Newsies on but I haven't seen Newsies, Mary Poppins, or Lion King, and I have to. I know. I, I really want to see Lion King. I have to see it. I go down a lot of, whenever like the Lion King cast is traveling, or they're, and they just like break into song at airports, it's, yeah, we're on it's the, the best. Yeah, it's so good. I also loved when they did, uh, what is it called, over on NPR? The Tiny Desk concert? Yes. That was cool, too. Uh, and also, going back to a past stream, uh, uh, during Festival of the Arts, a lot of yes. Broadway actors and actresses from... All the shows we just said. All, <laughs> yeah. all, basically all of the shows. Go ahead. We're going slow. Faris is taking a lot of awesome content today, so you can check out his uh, TikTok, Faris Films, and he's also going to be kind enough to share some of it with me. So he says, so it's pretty exciting stuff. Yeah, uh, and you can see them perform at the America Gardens Theater. Yes, Festival of the Arts, such an underrated festival. Yeah, it's because it's, it's kind of short, it's kind of jammed in there. Yeah, it fills the gap between... Uh, festival of the Holidays and... And when, Garden. yeah, Flower and Garden, but like those months of like, they're used to, I think because like they used to be the slower months, January, February. Yeah. But now there's really no slow time at Disney between the races and all like, we, Ryan was just talking about like when they do the tournaments and stuff here, like they'll have giant like cheerleading competitions and dance competitions and football. Some cornhole over here. I love it. I love that the cornhole is in the country section. <laughs> yeah. Because cornhole is very much a country game. I see, I like cornhole. I didn't grow up in the country, but I mean, it does make sense, right? Fill a bag with some corn. Well, it's also like, I, you know, I feel like it's, it gained its popularity at campgrounds and cookouts. That is a good point. You got the banjo, you got your, these boots were made for walking. This got is deep back here in the resort. Um, I don't think, we, yeah, a little fiddle, banjo. I love this little picnic area here too. Kind of nice under this big shaded oak tree. You got some cacti. That's very cool. Your countryside, right? Yep. Yeah. Right, well, <laughs> it's a slam dunk contest. Hey, <laughs> I like the chairs, for little drinks. Two to five year olds who can't, who don't have the arm yet. Yeah. That's true. Warm them up. Yeah. Just like how, you know, when you play, play in youth basketball, well, you don't play on the 10-foot hoop. Unless you're me growing up. Well, that was back in the day. <laughs> We've made it easier for children. We'll, uh, we'll cut through the piano pool, and we'll head over to the, I think, 50s section. Yes. That gate works better. Yeah, that gate was held together nicely. So, piano pool, if you've noticed the shape of this pool, it's a piano. As Ryan was saying, yeah, you got ping pong here, but you have the old radio on this side, and that one is actually a locker room, some restrooms. You got Ariel playing. 
guitar. Yeah, Ariel rocking does. out. You know, she, uh, she does that a lot in her movie. <laughs> you know what Ariel's known for, rocking out on the guitar. Yeah. That's why she wants to be with people. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, I'm just going to show the piano notes. So as you enter this pool, here's the, uh, the keys, if you will, and which shapes the piano pool. There are towels provided, so you don't have to bring your own. Let's head into the 50s area. My dad loved the 50s. I know a lot of 50s music because of my dad. This is fun. So you got a little uh, grass street, classic car. Oh, that's the fun like, uh, street. This is cool seeing all the different stuff. So. Yeah, like you forget about a lot of this stuff even existing. Yeah. Yeah, I love the jukeboxes over here. Me too. Didn't you have a jukebox growing up? I did. We had a jukebox in the basement growing up with 45s. It was, uh, man, massive. So hard to get out of the basement once. <laughs> <laughs> My dad passed. Got an old Chevy here, the Bel Air. Here they're really good for driving to levees. <laughs> Drove my Chevy to the levee. We're the rock in. We're rocking, baby. I yeah, so here. They've changed it since I... Oh, maybe you're right. Yeah, like the old selector. Like, like Chubby movie. Checker and stuff like that? Yeah. Yeah. I think you might be right. And I think that here's the, speaking of 45s or 76, but here's a record. Yeah, it's got the groups. Let me explain what a record is for Ferris. Ferris. Do you know what a record is? <laughs> yeah, no, Ferris, could you operate a tape deck? <laughs> God bless you. A tape deck. No. That's so crazy. If I, gave you a I love format, it. Could you load Ooh, Walkman. Look at that. I love it. That Thanks everybody who's hit the like button. You know what else has a 100% rating? SJG3 Collectibles have 100% positive feedback on eBay. So if you want to support the people who support us, go check out SJG3 Collectibles. They're on eBay. You can search them in the eBay stores. Over 800 items, new items added every single day. And we were not joking. They've been in business over 25 years and they have 100% positive feedback. That's crazy. It's crazy to do anything for 25 years and have 100% positive feedback. Go check them out. And honestly, if, no matter what collectible you're looking for, they have it. There's such a wide variety. It's hard to name them all. But if you can't find something, reach out to Vince. He's an amazing guy. Yeah. SJG3 Collectibles. And on Twitter, SJG3COL. Just relating back to the stream a little bit, they do have sports, movies, music. <laughs> yeah, actually, that's a great point. All the resorts we're going to, covered in the collectible department. Yeah. He really does, they yeah. They have some DVC merch. Oh, yeah, and a lot of old school Disney stuff. Yeah, lots of old school Disney, lots of old school wrestling. Yeah, it's fun. Yeah, we were talking about that this morning, right? We were at the gym this morning talking about SJG3. Yeah. No, I genuinely do. I look at their site at least once a week because they put up new stuff. Yeah, it's every fun. Every single day. Vince is a busy man. We're heading back towards the front now of All Star Music. <laughs> Why are you laughing? Oh, just because, like, this morning we were like, Oh, it's hard to, hard to do the, uh, the uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I was telling Ryan this morning when I was like, you know, Ryan, yesterday you weren't on the stream. So when I was talking about SJG3, I was like, isn't that right, Ryan? And you weren't there. <laughs> and also, since we're talking about the people who support the channel, thanks to the Patreons. A hundred percent. Couldn't do the channel without the Patreons. Uh, I don't want them to feel left out. Of, of course not. No. The Patreons are absolutely amazing. And all 9,000 of you who subscribed to get us to do this video today. So many thanks. I'm a very lucky man. I would say go check out the Patreon. Uh, Patreon.com backslash Adventures by Carney. Or you could search it. 
We do Zoom calls once a month. I put videos up in advance when I can. I'll put unedited versions of videos because sometimes it's hard when I'm editing. There's so much good stuff and I have to cut it down to like one minute for a short or like an eight minute video when there's 20 minutes of good stuff. So sometimes I'll drop an unedited video on the Patreon or when I do finish something early. Oh, you know what I should do? I'll do it tonight. Like I got a bunch of shorts that are done waiting to be published on days where we're not streaming. I'll just go post them on the Patreon. And we're actually going to uh, take a left of the uh, <laughs> sidewalk. Well, we didn't show the lobby. Oh, I got to run and show the lobby. lobby. Quick lobby uh, running back. Is that where you went? Yes. Yeah, we'll, we'll do a quick sweep. You I mean, some, you got an extra round of air conditioning. No, but I did it because, like, for me, like, my editing, I don't want things out of Oh, you like to do it in order so you don't have to move? Yeah. Wait, I mean, it's wait. smart. That's smart of you. Yeah. I have to always shuffle around. <laughs> <laughs> this is called ADHD. <laughs> yep. I don't know what HD is, but I heard I got ADHD. <laughs> Back at the Calypso pool, the main pool here. And we'll walk you in the lobby as if you were getting dropped off by the buses or an Uber. Also, very cool, they got the full-size shuffleboard. Wow, that is a very big shuffleboard. Love that. I, I don't want to brag, I am nasty on the shuff. And that's what they say, it's a real expression. Yeah. I, I've seen him, he has a shirt that says it. <laughs> Pete's nasty on the shuff. Yeah. So if you're getting dropped off by an Uber, or if you're parking your car and walking in, this is your main entrance to All Star Music. That's what they called Pete at the retirement home. They called him Shuff Nasty. <laughs> Shuff Nasty. Shuff Nasty, wanna see if you could do it right? I put my hand up on your hip. Hey, you be careful with those hips. Okay? When I dip, you dip, we dip. So again, very similar. All the All Stars laid out. How's it going? Fun. You got some of the. Mickey, Minnie, Donald, Daisy, Pluto, Goofy, jamming out on some instruments. Uh, I don't know what's going on here. Is this Grace Anatomy? Uh, it's <laughs> Enchanted. That's it. And then you have Maestro Mickey's as their merch shop, very similar to the other one. We don't have to go too much detail. You can see your access out to the pool and right here by the door to the buses we have a fuel rod charger. yes fuel rod swap station and charger they usually have one towards the front of every resort bingo bango oh and if you're heading out to the buses you can go right out those doors we'll show you the food court real quick oh look at that taylor t swift up there Just like the other All-Star, your arcade off here. A little bit of a smaller one compared to All-Star movies. And then here is your All-Star music food court. And that's why I said I think movies was just awesomely themed. Like this is a nice food court, food's good, but not as like heavily themed as All-Star movies in my opinion. All right. Let's go check out All Star Sports. It's in the game. You swapped your fuel rods? Love it. I have uh, cords and stuff in my bag too. So, I know it's going to upset Ryan because this was his favorite of the three, but I'm going to say this was... I'm going to put my notes just to rank everything. All right. I'm taking this one notch down. So, one, I don't think... I don't think... So, I'm just going to compare as we go, right? I think movies has a little bit better themed areas, like the big 100%, Toy Story area. 100% agree. Um, I also think their food court is nicer and also has more theming to it. It feels like 
very movie-ish. Once again, 100% agree. Uh, and also, I like the layout there as opposed to here. Like, if you're in the country section, you got to walk all the way back. So, that is my reasons that I'm going to put movies slightly above music. And for those reasons, I'm going to give this. And again, I would be happy to stay here any night of the week, but we're being very critical today. I don't like rating things in general. I feel like it's a lot of pressure, but I'm going to say 5.91. Once again, a very generous score. Uh, I'm going to say that this is my favorite because of nostalgia. Nostalgia, nostalgia, yeah. Um, I 100% agree with everything that Pete said. I'm I mean, sure. who wouldn't? Where's Lauren? <laughs> so you said, all right, the first one you, you guys said like... Yeah, six. sorry, wait. What did yeah, you give the first one? I gave it a five. And you gave this what? A four. Okay. I think he gave the last one a 6.8. I gave the last one a 6.87. I'm going two decimal points in all of these. So just, so, and the only reason I'm even giving these low scores so everyone knows is because we're rating everything and we're going to be a place like the Polynesian, Wilderness Lodge, you know, uh, Caribbean yeah, Beach. Be it is hard to put, yeah, to compare those. And they're at much different price points. Like you're talking 150 bucks a night yeah. or 650 bucks a night. We have to give room for upward momentum. Absolutely. Just so everybody knows, all Pete's fans, he is very grateful to stay at any resort. Yes. I'm forcing him to reduce the microphone. <laughs> so, also, uh, his opinion. Yeah. A low rating does not mean bad. Yeah, it does not Like, I bad. feel like if we rated it like a three. Does anyone else see the irony that I'm seeing here? Yeah, the Ford with the Toyota. It is a Toyota with a Ford <laughs> <laughs> sunscreen. Uh, well, I mean, it was just like how earlier we were at All Star Movies and they had the boardwalk sunscreen. Yeah, that was, you're like, what's going on here? Um, yeah, I would I would say that if we were, were rating it like a two or a three, it would be a bad rating. Yeah, we're only rating them, you know, fours and fives because we're going to we, the we deluxe have, resorts today. Have, you know, places like Wilderness Lodge yeah, and the can't, Polynesian. You can't, you can't, yeah, can't, can't rate it's like a five and then rate probably like a seven. You know, it's a very big difference. Yeah, yeah. yeah. and again, and like I just said, you're talking a difference of like hundreds of dollars yeah. per night. Yeah, it it might get a you know three point rating above, but it's ten times the cost. Also, I would put any of these all-stars way above, like, the Clarion up the road. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but also, I've stayed there as well when I'm here, yeah. so... <laughs> yeah, yeah, we all stayed all-star before. Yeah. yeah we, the value is what, exactly what it is. It's a, it's a great room for you to stay. It's comfortable. Yeah. You're in the Disney safe. bubble. Yeah. You get all of the perks of being in the Disney bubble. All right, we're here at the Home Run Hotel. Yeah, I'm gonna mix this up. I think we're not going back over here. Yeah, <laughs> you're gonna have to mix this one up. Uh, here's one of the pools. You can see it's shaped like a baseball diamond, and there's the Arms little. Like a cannon. <laughs> I see what you did there. <laughs> you got home plate. The bases in the corners are shallow areas. I love that. It's kind of fun that we have Goofy playing two different sports at three of the resorts. He's a busy man. You never see him at the same time, though. No. Uh, I like that they have the stands up there for fans. The theming, the pennants. I used to collect pennants as a kid, so I kind of love that they have pennants up there. And this is the Home Run Hotel. You can see the scoreboard up top. And again, to hide their staircase, a giant cup of Coca-Cola. Coke's got to love that. Ferris water. Ferris water. <laughs> we can have Ferris drink some water today. I was going to, but I forgot I did it for a while, but I was going to go in the cafeteria and get some water. Oh, I have right. water in the backpack, but it's it's uh, has noon in it. <laughs> no, for hydration. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I like that you have the fence N -N -N. over here. Yeah, N W N, but not W W. Yes. Yep. That was easy for everyone. <laughs> right? To Isn't that so much fun? We're about to approach Ferris's favorite area of this resort. Also, just something to be said, I love that that was home plate, so you have the foul line all the way to the gate, and that they made the outfield grass. That which, is very cool. And it's like actual grass, it's not turf. Yeah. So the foul line comes all the way down to the end, which I think is just <laughs> yeah. the little things. Kevin's watching the street, he just texted me, he's like, drink water. <laughs> yeah, you gotta drink water. <laughs> I put it in the big group chat, like, everybody wants it. <laughs> like and subscribe. Yeah. Thanks for everybody who's watching. Yeah, please, if you haven't subscribed yet, we're on the road. To 10,000, the Hokies? No, the Wildcats. He, oh. loves, he loves high school musical. Oh, that's right. 
Uh, the reason we are doing this stream today is we hit 9,000 subscribers, but we are pushing to 10,000. So if you could subscribe, that would be amazing. Because if you think today is crazy, nine hours showing you all these resorts, when we hit 10,000, we are doing a 24 hour nonstop Disney World live stream. That's right. And it won't be us sleeping. It's going to be nonstop action. But speaking of nonstop action, check out this football field. I also love this, Ferris. This is very cool. Also, shout out the Commodores. We've seen them at Epcot. We have seen the Commodores at Epcot. <laughs> um, my brothers and I would have loved this as a kid. We did not stay here as kids because I would have had a core memory here. But you just, put, a you just put a field in front of us and just tell us to go crazy. We will go crazy. I'm pretty sure this is the same I mean, I could walk it. it One, feels two, like it's, three, it feels four, like it's the right five, it feels like six, seven, eight. Uh, I think it's just short. I, th I would say it's like probably like seven tenth scale. It's it's definitely very close, but it's it's much narrower. Oh, for sure narrow. But I mean, lengthwise, it would be fun to see an NFL game played on this size field. Oh my God! Could you imagine? <laughs> just just the O line would go from from end to end. It would be pandemonium. And I want them to play on this field with the hazards. I, don't want them I to should have set I should have set that up when they used to have the Pro Bowl here. Yeah. I could have made a couple phone calls. Yeah, yeah, you know how you do. I mean, like, guys, you want to throw you want to throw down a little uh, morning football game, All Star Sports. We got a hundred and eight people hanging out. If you haven't hit the like button yet, please do so. It really does help. The goal today, 300 likes. We're going to hit it. I'm feeling confident. Yeah, I like that they have the mapped out play. Probably, uh, I'm going to say, helps the defense having the play written on the field. <laughs> hey, I know what the quarterback's going to do. <laughs> He's definitely going to scramble left. Yeah. Hey, guys, if you, uh, if you lose your receiver, just look at those yellow lines. <laughs> <Yeah. over. laughs> I would say that these are also regulation sized. I was gonna say these are look pretty legit goalposts. It was probably easier to buy a real goalpost than have a yeah, one made. College, I don't know if college is smaller. I feel like college is a lot. Uh, maybe well, it's no, college. No, like that size, because I've I've never been on an NFL field. Oh, what are you what are you waiting for? I've only been to a college field. <laughs> if uh, you are someone who smokes or vapes, this is the smoking area over here by the red umbrellas. We got some chess going on. Some Connect Four. Ryan claims he is the goat of Connect Four, so we're gonna find that out later on. Oh God, now it's pressure on the yep. screen. Uh, there's your fire pit for s'mores at night. We'll film it for a short, eventually one day. Yes, the ultimate battle. And now we're headed over to the main pool area. Surf's up, baby. We got the surfboards. Another table tennis. I like the surfboard with the flames on it because it, uh, yeah. Because it has flames on it? Yeah. Because, <laughs> you know, water and fire. It'll mix. I like it. But also, it's so fast. Little James Taylor. This is the Surf's Up area. You got a big pool over here. I think we got some lifeguard training going on because normally there's not four lifeguards right there. Yeah, you have Grandstand Spirits, the pool bar. We're going to come back into the lobby at the end. <laughs> All right, sounds good. So when they're doing lifeguard training, it's kind of fun to watch, uh, is that they will, one of them will just be in like regular clothes and kind of go like hide in the pool and then just pretend that they're not swimming anymore and start to sink. And then the lifeguards have to find that person, jump in, tag them, and it's basically get them to safety. Be, um, a baby version of the uh, big blue pool. Over yeah, the, we'll see the big blue pool today. Art of animation. Out of animation, as JFK said. Out of animation. I do love the families that decorate the windows. It's not what you. It's not what your resort can do for you. It's what you can do for your resort. <laughs> we have nothing to fear, but no more fast pass. Yeah. We have nothing to fear, but no park reservations. <laughs> Here we are, the All Star Look at them. Resorts. They're sprucing Mickey up. They are sprucing Mickey up. Going back to the theme of the uh, the staircases, I love these lifeguard stands. The lifeguard stand staircases are absolutely awesome. I totally agree. Uh, let's go over the tennis section. Another sport that I played a lot of uh, growing up. I 
grew up in the town where the uh, International Tennis Hall of Fame is. No way. Yeah, I was hired to be a tennis ball there one time. You were hired to be a tennis ball? Yeah, I was a tennis ball. Oh. I was the ball. That's fun. Look at this cute little seating area. Yeah, it's cute. I, I uh... Little love seat. There was no tennis club in my time where I grew up. I grew up in a bit of a rough neighborhood. So my middle school tennis coach wanted to start a tennis club and said, hey, everyone wants to come, come to the cafeteria and bring your parents. So I brought my parents and he's like, we need to form a board. We need like a president, vice president, secretary. So I was like, mom, do it. So my mom signed up. My mom ended up running the entire organization for like 20 years, the Centralized Community Tennis Association. And since she started it and did it for so many years, we got to go to Arthur Ashe Stadium where they hold the US Open for tennis. Uh, every year and we've got to play on those like on the court at Arthur Ashe we've run around the building we've gone to awards dinners there cool. and completely unrelated uh I used to play a lot of poker uh in college and I used to th organize poker tournaments it was kind of one of my businesses I started I used to run poker tournaments for VFWs Knights Columbus Elks Halls firehouses and uh I was at a tournament running this event as a fundraiser for somebody and one of the players was like, hey, I got a game in Connecticut. Would you drive up? And I was like, well, it's kind of far. He's like, I'll give you 600 a night. I'm like, sure. Just to deal poker. And uh, it ended up being a lot of famous tennis players. Like, and then I got into their home game. So, like, I used to deal poker at, like, James Blake's house. <laughs> now, I don't know this, but Peter Ferris. I'm hoping Ferris might know. Okay. Which one's Huey? Which one's Dewey? And which one's Louie? I also think, like, this shirt with... Was that gooey because it's green? I, I don't I don't know. first of all Gooey is not even one of them. Yeah. It's Huey, <laughs> Louie, and Dewey. Huey, Louie, and Dewey. This one's Gooey. <laughs> that one's bloody. <laughs> he, he looks like a Huey. He looks, he looks like, like a Huey. Dewey, Dewey's things. And he's yeah. Dewey things. So yeah. I'm gonna say the answer is no one knows. Yeah. No one knows. But, you know, Ferris, I'm really hoping that you would, you know, not Also, the I like that Donald's trying to play tennis and these guys have a baseball. A bat and a glove. They're literally just playing baseball in the yeah, tennis court. Yeah, Donald is very unhappy about it. He is not happy. That's me. And these are my brothers ignoring me. When I'm like, well, come on, guys. We gotta play some tennis. I love the tennis terms. 15 love, 15 all, 15 30. Match, 30 15. And the scorekeeper stands. Those are fun. Yes. Let's go hoop it up. Shout out to the Bay Lake Ballers. <laughs> Shout out to the Bay Lake Ballers. I actually saw a lot of them last night. Yeah. Last night after the stream, I went over to Kitty O'Shea's. I haven't been there in a while. It's where a lot of people hang out who are in the Disney community. Good to see a bunch of the Bay Lake Ballers and other friends. Me and Will sang a little karaoke where he said to me, hey, you want to do Rapper's Delight? And I was like, yeah, that's like my go-to karaoke song. Of course I do. So we sign up, we go to do it. Will knew none of the words. <laughs> he just <laughs> stood there holding a microphone. He'll, uh, he'll say one word out there every two minutes. Yeah, and it's not, and it's a weird song because it's like six and a half minutes yeah, yeah. of nonstop rapping. So like, if you don't mix it up with two people, it gets old fest. <laughs> so I'm sitting there like, Will, take it away. And Will will be like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I was trying to figure out what those things were. They're whistles. They're whistles. How tall is the hoop is? I say that just regular. <laughs> Damn it, Ryan. Uh, <laughs> let here. I'll tell you how tall it is. Wait, to the rim? I would say it's about thirty-five to forty feet because you figure each one of these floors is about ten feet and change, and that is the rim. I'd say is like right. Right at right, right the roof line. Right at right. Yeah, I'd say about at the roof line. They use this exact same hoop in Space Jam. No. Yeah, the monsters. Yep. Hey, Monstars. The Monstars. Yeah, there you go. Monstars and stuff. Hey, I love Space Jam. Stayed here. Also, track number five on the original Space Jam soundtrack. What a great song. That whole soundtrack was great. You had I Believe I Can Fly. Even though I think LeBron's the GOAT, I would say that Michael Jordan's Space Jam is way better, obviously. So. Oh, well, yeah. It's not even close. Yeah. I don't know why you would compare those two. You think LeBron's the GOAT? It's two different sports. Like the NBA today and the NBA in the 90s are totally different. It was way more physical back then. You know who the heck I think Shaq. No, Shaq. Shaq? He's the most dominant large player of all time. I was going to say, though, but like he's just genetically built to be that way, though. Like who's, who can defend him? Yeah, well, also, but like 
He was easily the most athletic of the big guys. I don't know. I I just think his build makes him like there was a lot of other <laughs> Honestly, I've I've met him and he is enormous. I like also... I could like I like can like I'm eye level with like his belly button. Like he is yeah. but also his frame. This is what I was saying. Like other big tall guys in the NBA tend to be like skinnier mm -hmm. and don't have that mass. He is just a big dude, like not only height wise, but like he is built like a brick house. Yeah. No, it's uh so I mean now Shaq is a DJ, as uh, many people know. And a podcaster. Yeah. And a broadcaster. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. But he, uh, <laughs> so he DJs and he has a song about going into the mosh pit. And that's the scariest song I've ever heard in my entire life. Being in a mosh pit with Shaq? Yeah. Could yeah, you imagine? It's, it's a death sentence. Yeah. What's over here? Just more parking lot? That's the Thunderdome. <laughs> There's no other themed areas that way, right? That's just parking uh, lot? I believe that's the backside. All right. The backside. Of water. Of the resort. Yeah, the lifeguard stands for the staircases. Might be one of my favorites. The Spalding one's pretty good, too. That's what I'm saying. There's got to be a second pool somewhere. Maybe to the left. There's normally one main pool and one quiet pool. Nope. Well, this is the main pool, right? So I'm assuming there's another themed area to the left. Also... This is why I was always confused. I could have sworn the Mighty Ducks area was here at sports, and I always forget it's at movies for the movie and not for the sport of hockey. Yeah. But easily works on either resort. Yeah. I think it's extra confusing considering Goofy is over there playing a sport. <laughs> it's a beautiful song. Oh, the other pool we already walked by. This is the main pool. The other pool was the baseball themed one. Oh, right. We started with the second pool, the baseball diamond. Good call, Ryan. Good call. I am finally going to be catching up with some chat as we wait for a bus now. So if you want to shout out, you have any questions, comments, I'm sorry that it's already been an hour, but I'm going to catch up for the last hour and we will be catching up. Time is flying by, but we got three resorts done in an hour. It's not bad. Yeah. Here's the bathhouse. You can do your laundry. Of course, you have your men's and your women's room. What? There's probably the ones that like was our area anyways. Yeah, I feel like yeah. we're doing the most in depth of these. We ones. did because we're never here. Like, but also like when we get to like Caribbean Beach, we've done Caribbean Beach a million times. I'm a bus. You're right. Like this is where you arrive. Like we showed the other one. You pull up. <laughs> it is hot here today oh the cocoa bus that's cool uh it is hot here today gonna be 90 degrees already 84 right now gonna be hot all weekend it's gonna be uh in the 90s this weekend here in orlando it does feel like it's 89 <laughs> it does feel much hotter than that Oh, we got a little renovation going on, part of the pixie dust, but here we go. Main lobby for sports. Very similar to the other resorts, but instead of playing music, they're playing sports. I like that they got the trophies out. That is kind of fun. And then character clicks. If you uh, stand right here, scan your magic band, look over there, you get a cool picture. Um, I'll show the food court real quick and then we'll catch this bus. There's your boy LeBron. Arcade. It's a pretty big one. Pretty big, pretty big. Oh yeah, this one's very different shape than the first one. Yeah, the other one's long. This is a little bit more wide. Hey, get some water in here. This is the end zone food court. How are you? So again, I'm gonna give the edge to movies because their food court, I think looks the coolest, but standard food court. I see, 
I would say that this one kind of reminds me of a stadium food court. It well, yeah, but then you're saying so does All Star uh, music, music. Yeah, very that's similar. I watch large music venues. All right, fair enough. You win. Swizzle from their stadium port. You want water? I'll, I'll chuck sure. some water. I have my own cup. It's a BYOC. <laughs> you got to bring your own cup. Let's all hydrate before we head out. They also have toasters, microwaves. You want to come in. They got dressings, sauces. Do we have a hot sauce? We, we got to do the hot sauce challenge. Oh. You got your pizza pickup window right here. Monarch, which is the same one that was out. All right. There you go. All right, should we go catch a bus? Let's go catch a bus. Our first mode of Disney transportation today. We're doing all the modes of transportation. We will be on a Disney bus, a Skyliner, a monorail, and a boat today. We are celebrating 9,000 subscribers. That's why we're doing a nine hour stream. So thank you so much to everybody who subscribed. And uh, if you're watching, you're not subscribed, I would love if you would want to subscribe, I always say, please get that bell on, hit all notifications. Since we do a lot of live streams, you'll be updated. Sometimes we just do them last minute. Something fun and crazy is happening. I throw in a live stream. So you don't want to miss that. So put that bell on, hit all notifications. And when we hit 10,000 subscribers, we're doing 24 hours live at Walt Disney World. You got Sport Goofy, gifts and sundries. Let's see how much time we have until this bus comes. And then I'll we'll show you a tour. They have the bus times out here now, right? Let's go to the big board. We're headed to Hollywood Studios. Next bus, 211. So we have uh, seven minutes. We'll show the shop. Here. Yeah. This is the neon collection I was talking about yesterday as well. That uh, for 2024 they've gone full neon, which I love. We're taking it to a blacklight party. Oh, they've got some more. Uh, so I showed in the first store. I showed these uh, these cups, and bottles, but they also have the fridge magnet. I like that they have the Mickey the golf balls too. Oh, that's fun. And then they have the uh, youth shirt. Oh, that's cute. Oh, that's cute. Confidence builds character. Oh, jeez. Oh, that's awesome. That's also very cute. Spirit builds character, and the little football. See, this is what we got to buy one of these. Got a game going. Oh, it's very young. We got the mini with the twenty twenty four. I want the hair ball for myself. It's very yeah. cute. It's very. Cute. The hair bow fits everyone. Yes, exactly. <laughs> Just sell the hair bow by itself and it'll like for ten dollars and people will buy it. Oh absolutely. Because that's the cheapest thing at Walt Disney World if it's ten dollars. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see, should we trade? Absolutely we should. Oh snap. I got like three mermaids. I also got Shelly Mae. Got a few Mickeys. Yeah, this seems like a good pin. Honestly, that's the one that I was going to trade for. <laughs> thank you, thank you. But I'm, I'm here for the dad jokes. Kids have seen a little bit better days. <laughs> They're a little dirty. It's fine. I got a hand sanitizer. What are you giving away? Let's do the trade here. I am giving away. Oh, the, like, the... Whatever this is. Yeah. Uh, All right. Like... Yes, and here's the pin back. Thank you. A solid trade. Nice job, Ryan. Yeah. A good trade. That's I a good trade. Deal. That is a good trade. Let's see what else is in here. This is fun. Thank you for your help. I was just excited because that's been gone for a very long time, and I know it just recently came back within the last couple of weeks. Yeah. I love a uh, cast member pin trading. Yeah. I think it's much more fun than a pin board. I love a pin board, but there's something special about a cast member trade. 
30 years of the All Star Resorts. That's wow, fun. 30 years. It's 30 cool. years. Being here 30 years ago. You know, we didn't find the goofy photo prop. I'm just saying. And I'm sad about it. It's very crazy that I. Do you want any hints? Well, now we're getting on a bus. So I'm going to be sad, but where was it? The front desk. Right in front of our faces the whole time. <laughs> Come on! Oh, this is a fun lounge fly. This is a fun lounge fly. Mm -hmm. Mickey on vacay? I was uh, six months old, so just a little, over, a little under 30 years ago. Oh, wow, look yeah. at that. You and the All-Stars just coming into creation. Yeah. All right, let's see. Uh, let's get on this bus. We still got another five minutes, four minutes. Bus it. That's, that's how the Bus it, baby. Let's, oh, see? Wow, so inaccurate. We got a bus to catch. And I'm gonna catch him in the chat. And we're on the Coco bus, that's fun. We're going to Hollywood Studios. How's it going? I'm doing fantastic. Are we headed to Hollywood Studios? Is that where you like to go? I would love to go there. All right, thanks. All right, we're headed up. Top shelf. Yeah, I'll sit over here. <laughs> what? No, well, we're good. Uh, for those who don't know, we're hanging out with Farris Films. We got Ryan here today. We'll have some more friends joining throughout the day. And now I can finally catch up with some chat. Say hi to everybody. We gotta show the whole process. So let me go back to the very beginning. Shout out to Pete Stummy. Uh, I can't even go back to pre-stream, so we're gonna go back to when, right before we started. <laughs> they took a picture of the stream. Yeah. What's up, Allison B says, I'm so pumped, happy 9K. Captain Kirk says, good morning, Pete and crew. Again, congrats on the 9K. Tomorrowland Traveler in the house says, happy Tuesday. Great to see Peaches P, Stephen Noon, Melvin Lee says, good morning. He's on the West Coast time. Robert D says, uh, was almost going to be there for this. So close, but had to get back to do stuff before heading out Monday. No worries. We love you, Robert. Who is that? Oh, thanks, Jadlin. Dawn is celebrating 9K on the way to 10K. Yeah. What's up, Dawn? Yes, we are. We are pushing towards 10K. CJL, what's happening? Good afternoon. Pete just said I watched the Flock of Seagulls portion of the stream last night that I missed, and they sounded great. I wish I could have been there. Yeah, they put on a great show last night, Flock of Seagulls. And, of course, they closed with Iren. You got you to gotta close with Iren. What's going on to So Cargo? Says I'm leaving to go to work, but happy I get to see some of this. And of course, the beauty of YouTube is you can come and go as you please and catch up on the parts you missed. Oh yeah, we'll be we'll be live when you're we'll, be, <laughs> we'll be live all day and night. We are live we're until 9:45 tonight. We'll be live. Suzanne Ritchie, great to see you. David Lung, Queen Colleen in the house. Pat Mix 75 is here. Alyssa, how are you? Glenn is home. It's amazing. It's a miracle. Glenn's always on the road. Let's see what else is going on. Captain Kirk and the whole Kirk crew is here. Great to see Captain Kirk, Lady Kirk. Jordan Garrett, what's up? Jordan just upgraded his Patreon. Thank you so much, Jordan. You are amazing. I was such a happy little surprise I got to see when I checked out uh, the Patreon this morning. David Lung, C Voc Co. What's up, Izzo? Hi, Audrey. Said I love the movies, All Star movies. Oh yeah, throw your favorites in here. Oh, we're we gonna rate the last one. All right, well we're almost caught up. Let's see. Um, and by almost caught up, I mean I got only forty five minutes behind. Uh, <laughs> 
At least I'm excited for the All-Stars. Yeah, hopefully everyone enjoyed our little tour of the All-Stars. If you missed our recap, we were trying to do as many resorts today as we can, and we're using all modes of Disney transportation. So we just did all three All-Stars. We are now headed to, this bus is to Hollywood Studios. We're gonna hop on the Skyliner and take that over to Caribbean Beach. We're gonna do Art of Animation. We're gonna do Pop Century. We're gonna do Caribbean Beach, the Riviera, take the Skyliner over to the Boardwalk area, do Yacht and Beach Club, Swan and Dolphin, and go from there. Busy day, lots of fun. Great to see Mark Mueller here. Mike Graney, what's going on? Christina Wise, great to see you in the chat. Says, how exciting and so much fun. Thanks. Mike Graney says, I'm going to be a part of the 10K stream for sure. Again, when we hit 10,000 subscribers, we're doing a 24-hour live stream at Disney. Today, we're doing nine hours for 9,000 subscribers. Dawn says, everyone, please hit that thumbs up on the way in. Yes, please do so. We set a very lofty goal today for nine hours. I'm trying to get 300 likes. It's very hard. I think we've only done it once, maybe. So if you could hit the like button, it really does help. We'll try and set a new record. What's going on, Joe Jumpin? Phenomenal Brandy in the chat. What's happening? <laughs> the SMB boys already had their messages deleted yep sarah garvey what's going on this is good luck today thanks so much kevin in the house what's up kevin richard murphy great to see you pete stummy says if you could do all the fireworks shows you could do at least a dozen resorts i think we're gonna get easily 12. my goal today is to do 20 resorts we'll see if we, i think we're gonna get 12 for sure we are already three in and we're about an hour and change we've been averaging about a half hour each but we can go faster in other resorts We did, because we, we never go to the All-Stars. And also, I feel like you can show the entirety of the All-Stars, whereas, like, if you're trying to show the entirety of Saratoga, No, that's impossible. That's crazy. Yeah. That's its own stream by itself. That's its own nine-hour stream. Yeah. Saratoga's huge. SMB says, buy every food item at the food court. <laughs> if you're buying, I'm eating. Captain Kirk says they are a fan of All-Star sports. What's up, Bridget? Adam in the house. CJL says, thanks for showing the res uh, resorts. Absolutely. What's going on, Emma? Great to see you. We just left all three All-Star resorts. If you missed it, we uh, did a pretty extensive coverage of All-Star movies, All-Star music, and All-Star sports. Jazlyn says, I love Herbie in the chat. The Herbie section was really cool over at All Star Movies. <laughs> Way to go. Jazlyn loved Herbie, and this is the only one Farris didn't record. It will, it will live on in our memories. Yeah. It's all right, Farris. You can come back and film it tomorrow. Brandy, that is a hilarious comment about clapping, uh, the clapping in the bathroom. I'm not going to say it out loud, but it's very funny. Dawn says, Dalmatians is my jam. So underrepped. Yeah, I mean, I got a little bit of love when the uh, Emma Stone version came back out. Brady says, you like an animal movie, Dawn? I'm shocked. Oh my gosh, if they had a cool runnings area, I would stay there immediately. Uh, Disney, we have a bobsled, Tim, we have the one Ryan and the one Favris, the fastest of the fastest of Orlando Sprinters. Sorry. Dawn said Pete would move in. I absolutely would. What's up? Theme Parks Assemble, another great YouTube channel. He's definitely the most built for running of the three of us. Also, he is, out of the three of us, looks the second most Jamaican, of course, after me. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it's just his, you know, Ferris is skinny and lanky. He's got that long, long You could, You would fly down the ice. Abraham, what's up? Great to see you. Good afternoon. Colin, see what's happening. Just got back from grocery shopping. Way to get it done. It is hot out there today, for sure. I mean, Ryan says it's 84, but it feels like it's 94. Um, Farris, people are asking what jersey that is. I believe that is the Paris football squad, or as we say, soccer here in the United States. Uh, so it's saying that the feels like temperature is 86. That is still feels low to me. 
great to see Izzo here. Another great YouTube channel you should check out, Izzo's Place. Brandy says, I like the theming at music the best, but sports is the best one to stay at because they are all the first bus stop. That is true. Although today we went right out. We went from sports. Or, I like that. Ghost Host, what's up? Great to see you. Pete just says, I stayed in the jazz section of All-Star Music, faced the parking lot uh, for the wine and dine. It was quiet, and it's just what I needed, although I didn't sleep at all during that run weekend. Yeah, run weekends, not a lot of sleeping. Speaking of run weekends, this weekend coming up at Disney is the Springtime Surprise Run Disney weekend. It is also our Adventures by Carney meetup, so if you are in town, come hang out with us. What? Don't ruin the magic. <laughs> we are passing fantastic. Um, oh, we didn't show. Oh, I wanted to show Fantasia Gardens, but it's all right. Brandy says we should crash that glow party that they were having at All Star on Saturday night. All right, we're finally at where I can read with the chat. Yeah. He just says, when we were at Disney World back in the 90s for cheer, we stayed at All-Star Sports. I highly recommend staying as far away as possible from the resort during competition and school visit season. Yeah, they the All-Stars tend to get filled up with all the sports teams that come down. It's fun, though. I like, I stayed there once, and I didn't know there was a cheerleading competition. I just woke up one morning, and they were, like, practicing stunts on the football field. And I was like, all right, this is crazy to walk out my door and see this happening. Yeah, and then you joined in. The yeah, I, I obviously joined in. I was like, you guys need some help with those liberties? You want a basket toss? Well, I don't talk about this a lot, but I actually did throw stunts for cheerleaders for three months and then stopped. Because they asked me to cheer, and I was like, no, I'm not cheering, but I'll throw you in the air. And then they were like, you have to cheer. And I was like, well, then I will see you later. But it was fun. Nobody ever fell when I was there. These girls were letting girls fall left and right. Nobody took a fall when I was there. Okay. Who was a male cheerleader. And he's just like a big, muscular dude. And he would talk about how uh, if he, if the football players were doing bad, he would, he would bully them at school the next day. Because he was bigger than that. <laughs> I love that. Brandy says, Nasty on the Shuff sounds like an absolutely sick D&B track. It does. Bill and Lynette are here at Disney having a great time. They're doing Epcot today. They got a Haleo reservation, and then they're going to chase Pete. I love it. Everyone come chase me. Rebecca Dolan, what's going on? Great to see you. Ghost host said, I stayed there 27 years ago for my honeymoon. That's fun. Hello, Alessia. Says I'm new here, and I just want to say thank you so much for sharing. I've always wanted to see what these hotels look like. You're very welcome. That means a lot. Thanks for saying hi. And may I suggest subscribing? What's going on, Kristen? I said so excited to follow your live. I'm so excited you're here. Mike S., what's up? So just got off a of Disney Wish a couple days ago. I hope you had a great time. I'm sure you did. I'm jealous. Haven't done a Disney cruise yet. One day. Gate 24. What an informative bus driver. All right. Our first Disney transportation of the day, and we're going right to our second Disney transportation. You're looking at them. The Disney Skyliner. All these gates right here is every resort we have to go to. <laughs> what? All these gates is yeah. every resort we have to go to. Yeah, we're going, yeah, you see all these numbers? That's a good point Farris brings up. Is this how many resorts we have to go to? We're not doing all of them today, but we are gonna cross off a bunch. My goal is to do at least 20 resorts today. We'll see what happens. Jamie Philippone, what's happening? Pete just says, we love the wish. We just took a three night earlier this month. Yeah, they had a great time. It looked like a lot of fun in the pictures.
<laughs> Robert D says, Yui Dewey Louie, but Gooey comes out for the Halloween time. <laughs> Colleen says, according to the internet, Yui is in the red shirt, Louie is in the green shirt, and Dewey is in the blue. That's according to Google. I was saying, ain't it back to Google? <laughs> Thank you. There you go. Well, we didn't have an answer, so we needed to work to Google. Matty Cash Me Outside said Shaq is a traitor. I don't know in what form, but Matty Cash Me Outside says so, so I believe it. I, Nick Turp in the house. Once again, we'll say, say it to his face. <laughs> no, he's, a, he's an incredibly nice person. He is a nice guy. But also, very intimidating. So intimidating. When I, literally, when I met him, like I'm looking at like his chest, yeah. and I'm just looking no. up. And this, this hey, Shaq. from a guy who postured up to the gorillas. Yeah, I mean, oh, put me in there with the silverbacks. Yeah. But also, speaking of silverbacks, Shaq has said repeatedly in interviews, he cannot go and look at the gorillas because they consider him a threat. That's so, I mean, I consider him a threat to every group he's around. Yeah, yeah, but the gorillas really do not like him. Jordan was helping us out earlier. We did see the baseball pool. Every resort, uh, all-star resort had the two pools. Kevin was very excited that Farris was drinking water. Uh, Mexico at Beck. Miracles happen. Uh, Mexico Beck says, Hey Pete, I definitely need a shout out as I am on my four. Oh, let me, let me read this. It's very right. Oh, okay, cool. So they're gardening right now and listening on their uh, earbuds, doing lots of work. Wish I could be joining you. Well, there you go. Shout out to Mexico Beck. Good luck with your gardening. Colleen loves those water bottles, the pink, yellow, and blue neons. Ride the teacup says, howdy, everybody. Great to see you. Dawn says, those anniversary pins we saw apparently just arrived. <laughs> Jason Andrews in the house. Andrew Saunders in the house says, hello, Pete. Excited for your nine-hour stream. Thank you so much. What's up to Diego? What's going on, Jeff? Happy Tuesday. Great to see you. Steven Noon checking back in. Says, I hope you're having fun resort hopping. We are. We're having a blast. Time to go to our next stop. Here's Hollywood Studios. Everyone say hi. And I know everyone loves the parks, but we do go to the parks all the time. That's kind of why we're mixing it up today for this nine-hour celebration stream. Lost TV says, I'm just here for Ferris. Look at that. Ferris, you have fans. You can go follow Farris's content at Farris Films on uh, YouTube and Farris Films on TikTok. It's nice to have him back. He's been he's been away from the stream for a little bit. Oh, I, I've been there. I've been there as <laughs> Listen. Bill says, "What time are you hitting Sarasota?" I have no idea because my timetable is going to be way off. But right now we are planning to do the Skyliner Resort, so we're going to go do Art of Animation, Pop Century, Caribbean Beach, Riviera, and then we're going to go do the boardwalks. So we got some time. Here we go. We're hopping in 306. But we'll probably be at Saratoga, Spring, Saratoga Springs uh, after you're done at dinner. Ugh. There we are. I'm laughing at John Vasquez. Oh, I haven't gone there yet. Stephen Noon says the family suites at All Star Music are actually very nice. I didn't even know they had family suites over there. Neither did I. That's why we have wonderful travel agents in our Discord. So many awesome travel agents. Shout out to all of them. But especially Stephen Noon because we're talking about them right now. Yes. John Vasquez says I thought the plan was to end this epic nine hour stream at a Baja performance at Epcot. I don't know if you know this, they haven't brought him back. You know why? I told them not to. Yeah. <laughs> Pete put his foot down. I had enough. At Disney's Hollywood Studios. We are on our way to <laughs> Andrew says boo to PSG. <laughs> 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 AV 99 says, uh, so excited going up this weekend to run Disney doing the 10 miler, staying at All Star Sports. There you go. I hope you have a great uh, time this weekend. Good luck in your 10 miler. Yeah, doing the big race. Yeah, that is the, that's the longest race this weekend? Yes, there's yeah. a 5K, a 10K, and a 10 miler. Wow, sounds like a lot of running. I mean, 
Oh, snap. You know where to catch us. Well, this is our Adventures by Carney weekend, so we have a packed schedule. If you want to see what we're doing, we're too busy. you actually can go check it out. Uh, the fun this week's been nuts. So today we have the nine hour stream. Tomorrow I'm off from YouTube. I'll drop a short, but uh, I'm DJing tomorrow night. Thursday starts our Adventures by Carney weekend. Gonna be a ton of fun. We're hanging out, people coming into town. Friday, the fun continues. We're in the parks. I'm actually DJing Friday and Saturday morning too. It's going to be fun. Waking up at 3.30 a.m. every day and going until midnight every night. Um, what else? Yeah. Friday's going to be a really fun day. Uh, some of the highlights is I know we're doing a pool party and barbecue at the Polynesian. Then we're going to go do a, a fireworks cruise. We have we have two boats already full. Uh, if more people want to do it, we might have to book a third boat for the fireworks cruise. Then we're going up to the top of the world lounge at Bay Lake Tower. It's a DVC private lounge, but since we have a lot of DVC people with us this weekend, we're all going to go up and check out the top of the world lounge. That's Friday night. Saturday, another super fun day. We're going to be in the parks. Uh, like I said, I'm DJing a 5K in the morning, but then I'm going to run over to Epcot. It's Dapper Day. Plain white tees are playing at night. Um, we're going to do a, just a fun park hangout running around Epcot. We'll probably live stream for a little bit too. Then we have a big reservation. I think there's like 15 to 20 of us going to Tutto Italia. And then we're going to watch the plain white tees, watch fireworks, and then who knows what happens Saturday night. Maybe dance hall, maybe we got over there. We're going to be at Epcot anyway. I, I nothing about all this. Well, you should go to adventuresbycarney.fun. The schedule's been there forever. Or check our Discord. It's also there as well. Or check out Pete's schedule in the Discord because I wrote out the entire schedule as well there. Or I know that you probably also got the personal text from Pete. Yeah, I know, yeah 100% I sent him my, my schedule. Uh, so it was all of that was in there. <laughs> yeah, way to go, Ferris. Anyway, the fun doesn't stop Saturday night. Sunday, we're going to wake up early. We're going to go congratulate everybody who's doing that 10-miler. I think, right? 10 mile runs on Sunday, yes. Correct. Yeah, so we're going to go congratulate them at the finish line from 7 to 9, give everybody a little uh, nap or personal time to do whatever they want. Then we're doing our third annual mini golf tournament, 2 o'clock at Fantasia we Gardens. We can't let that trophy go back to Boston. We can't let it go back to Boston. And uh, yeah, after mini golf, then we're going to the Run Disney Pool Party at Typhoon Lagoon Sunday night. And we're going to be there from 5 to 11. Then Monday is Earth Day. We'll be at Animal Kingdom for Earth Day. What a weekend. What a week ahead of me. This is fun. Yeah. Yeah, tomorrow is your only day of any amount of rest. And I am DJing tomorrow yeah. night. Yeah, yeah. Well, <laughs> Jeff M., thank you so much for the $50 super chat. Very, very kind. I really appreciate that. Thank you to Colleen for posting the links. Uh, we have the Discord links in there. If you want to follow me on the socials and all the fun we're having in between the streams and this weekend, my Instagram is at official Carney. My Twitter is at your WDW guy. The TikTok's Adventures by Carney. The Discord's Adventures by Carney. The Patreon's Adventures by Carney. And you are watching Adventures by Carney. Coming in real hot. Always do. I love it. All right. We're going to take another little Skyliner ride. Yeah, we're going to hop off and then we're going to get on a different Skyliner. Really crushing it. Thanks again to Colleen posting the links in the, the chat for the socials. Here we go. You too. In the chat right now, I just want to say he can hear it. Very sad that he's not going to be here for the party for meetup. I know we're going to. He's going to be sorely missed. But we do meetups twice a year. So if you're missing this one, we usually do one in the fall as well, where we all get together. And again, we don't charge for these meetups. The only thing we ask you is to pay your way for doing something that costs money, like a fireworks cruise or a dinner. But otherwise, we just want to hang out. People get to know people. We get to put faces to names, share some laughs, some fun. Three. Thank you. 302. Oh, this is a good one because there's no wrap. We can see outside. Oh, we get the better views. Look at these views. If you're just joining, we are headed to our fourth and fifth resort of the day, Art of Animation and Pop Century. We are on our second mode of Disney transportation. We're doing nine hours live to celebrate 9,000 subscribers. I'm being joined by Ferris Films and Ryan. It's been a nice day so far. And it's only uh, 2.30. It's not bad at all. Yeah, 2.30? Only 2.30. We'll be back to explore Caribbean Beach, but now we must journey south. Well, parts of Caribbean Beach.
parts. Yeah, we're, we're not doing all of it. Line, no. We no, we're hour. doing a, we're doing kind of cruising. So we just did a Caribbean Beach stream, which uh, you can go check out on the channel where I did a full, you know, tour around Caribbean Beach. But we're gonna walk around it. We'll show you some of the highlights. I think they're still doing some construction on the pool, but we'll check out the update as we go by. You can see this area over here. That's where Spyglass uh, Grill is one of the little restaurants uh, where you can grab some food if you're on this end of the resort. But it is a very massive resort. The resorts you see behind it are the Bonnet Creek Resorts. Those are third-party resorts, but they sit on Walt Disney World property. You can see Signia over there. Uh, we did a tour of the Wyndham, uh, Club Wyndham, which is those tall buildings right behind Caribbean Beach. It was a lot of fun. Uh, Farris uh, and I played a bunch of cornhole. Let's go. And we got a little stop going on. I will say, um, the second we stopped, it got, got a little warm in here. But normally... The breeze moving, is nice, yes. When we're moving, it's basically air-conditioned. Yeah. Robert, he says, no drinks yet? Wow, a record. Well, Robert, maybe we should start drinking. Uh, Robert says, don't worry, I'm happy. I'm happy houring now for you guys. Well, I feel like it would be rude not to join. You hold that for a sec. Like I didn't come prepared. No, I'm just gonna have a little LaCroix. <laughs> Let's just show Ferris. What a what a handsome man. <laughs> uh, quick Kenny, Kenny Saraki, <laughs> who is a Patreon member, just went to a PSG game. Really? He was over in uh, France recently. The only Star game I bet to was on Orlando City. Shout out to the best city in the world, Orlando. Oh, snap. And shout out to the Magic for making the playoffs. Shout out to the Knicks who are going to destroy no. the Magic. How dare you ever threaten to destroy the Magic? All right. Literally, I know it's a know. sports team, but yeah. we got to I mean, keep the Magic alive. I, listen, I love living in Orlando, uh, but I mean, it is very bold to say it's the greatest city on the planet. I, I have a lot of things to back me up. I'm not you have a lot of things now. to back you up. Uh, Ferris. Is it the I'm, financial capital of the world? <laughs> I'm uh, gonna I'm gonna also say Ferris, uh, not the most traveled. <laughs> Do you have a Statue of Liberty? How about the subway system here? How about the Broadway shows? Uh, I all, mean, not the Dr. Phillips done. How about how about the extremely high taxes? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I don't know. I feel like property tax is probably pretty high here. It's, no, property taxes are great here. That's why we. Guys, oh, it's insurance. Gate of New York. Insurance away. What? Do you have Gatorland in New York? Don't no, so. we don't have Gatorland. And actually, we, that's on purpose. <laughs> <laughs> they could have a Gatorland. If they yeah, we it. actually outlawed Gatorland. So on our left is Pop Century. On our right, Art of Animation. And we're just cruising above the water. What a beautiful day. I'm glad we're in an, un an unwrapped. I mean, they look cute when they're wrapped. But the unwrapped ones, we get these nice views. If you haven't hit the like button yet, you know what? That would be awesome. Because I made a pretty much crazy goal of 300 likes. I'm not sure if we've ever done it. Maybe once. I'm not even sure. I'd have to go back and look. But I think with nine hours and with all these amazing people watching, we can hit 300 likes. If you're on a TV, I know it's a little harder. you got to hit up or down. But if you're on a laptop or a phone, there's that little thumbs up. You could smash it, tap it, bop it, twist it. But just make sure it's clicked. That would be awesome. And if you haven't subscribed, please, please, please. We're pushing to 10,000. I'll be talking about that all day. I already have mentioned it a bunch of times. And again, big shout out. Thank you for the super chat. Uh, Jeff, really appreciate that. We're coming in. It's a little less hot than this one because there's no elevation change. Yeah. Well, we got a little bit of an uptick. We. There's, there's still a little, but I feel like, I feel like the ones with the elevation change. Yeah, yeah, that's when you, that's the fun one. Yeah. By fun, I mean that's the moment Lauren hates the most. Uh, yes. Yeah, My mom is well, also. But I like a thrill a ride. Yeah. Happy birthday to you. Have a good one, Jack. I don't know, which one you want to do first? Let's do the one that opened first. All right. So let's head to the contemporary. Yep. <laughs> Which one to open first? I don't even know. I believe it was. It was Pop Century, right? Because wasn't this going to be a continuation of Pop Century? Yeah, so this was going to be the Millennia Resort.
resort. And then, yes, uh, that's right, right. 9 11 happened. Uh, yeah. Tourism went way down. This got abandoned for a few years. And then it got themed to a different thing. Yep. We also don't have to go too crazy. I mean, Art of Animation's beautiful in the, in the resort. I think we could just do. But we'll cruise. The main drag yeah, we're going to just show body. quickly. Yeah. All right, so we're heading in the direction of Pop Century. If you're not aware, Pop Century still uh, considered a value resort like the All Stars. But the big advantage, and the reason I was talking about this earlier, is you have access to the Skyliner, which is great because that can get you, without waiting for Disney Bus, over to Disney's Hollywood Studios or Epcot pretty quickly. And not just Epcot, but International Gateway. Yes. Which gets you closer to the Rosen Crown. Absolutely. And the live music over in America, because there's always a festival. So Pop Century, uh, the theme here is uh, you're going through the century. So every section is kind of a different decade. You have the 50s, I'm sorry, the 60s, 70s, 80s, 90s. Okay. See ya. This is called Hourglass Lake. You can run all the way around it. Um, I actually did some training here back when I did my first 5K because I thought the 5Ks were competitive. And apparently you could just take your time and have fun. Is there a flight taking off today? What is that straight ahead up in the sky? Um, all right, so let's uh, let's show you a quick little map here. Right now we are at the Skyliner station. We're about to head into the 60s area. We are here. Uh, over here, you got the 80s and 90s and 70s. The 50s are over on the other side. We'll do a quick walk. Uh, you know what? Let's just do uh, one big circle. We'll go this way. Plus, we can learn some uh, fun facts. Like in 1967, Thurgood Marshall became the first African-American appointed to the Supreme Court. Disney's The Jungle Book also swung into theaters. I don't know how those two are related. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what a crazy correlation. It really is beautiful watching the skyliner above the water. So I don't know if you could see it. We'll sh maybe we'll show it from the other side. But that metal rig right there is actually a boat. That is what gets you out of the skyliner. If the skyliner ever got stuck above the water, that boat comes out and it goes up to the height of the skyliner and it can take people out of the skyliner if it ever got stuck above the water. Wow. Yeah. That would be fun. That'd be a great stream. 1965, the Gateway Memorial Arch, created by Iro Sarianen, is completed in St. Louis, Missouri. And soft contact lenses are invented. Like also, yeah. scales <laughs> <laughs> I want to try and make all these make sense somehow. Oh, let's see this one. 1964, 10,000 screaming teenage fans greet the Beatles when they land at JFK Airport in New York City. The Fab Four perform live on the Ed Sullivan Show. Beetle mania. 1963. In the largest civil rights demonstration to date. Here, let's see how these match up. Reverend Martin Luther King delivers his I Have a Dream speech. Also, Kodak launched the Instamatic camera. So if you want to remember that I Have a Dream speech, thanks to Kodak, you can get it on film. <laughs> I have a dream that one day we could take pictures and have them developed in little tiny packages that fit in our pocket that hold 24 to 36 frames. Remember that? Back in the old Kodak, the, in the uh, what was it? 24 pictures you got or 36, 32? 1961, Chubby Checkers number one hit, The Twist sets off a dance craze. Let's twist again. Also, mini skirts are shown as, uh... oh, they're shown as, oh. I didn't know that Dior had anything to do with that. Interesting. All right. Taking a walk around Hourglass Lake. You got the bowling pins here and the yo-yos to cover your stairwells. Sort of like we saw at All Star. In 1959, Alaska and Hawaii are admitted into the United States. Okay, here you go. More fun, facts. More fun facts. 1959. Alaska and Hawaii are admitted to the United States. Frank Lloyd Wright's creation. How do you say that word? 
the Juggenheim Museum opens in New York City. Of course, New York City. Even though Florida is still better than New York City, so. I mean, also if you wanted to, I mean, you could keep going down. Park a boardwalk, pull the boardwalk to just, with us, and then if you wanted to, just drive on. Nineteen fifty seven, Utah becomes the last state on the Navajo Nation to give the voting rights to Navajos. <laughs> Eight minutes of Ferris, that's what I like to hear. If you're a Ferris fan, make sure you like the you know, like the stream. Comment, share to your friends. Our goal is three hundred likes. If we get to three hundred likes, I'll make Pete do something crazy for the stream. I'm not gonna well, yeah, but 300 likes and he's gonna do something crazy for you guys. I make him put it on his Discord page on whatever that is for him. This place is so big, like we're in the 50s, but where's the main pool at? We're, I feel like we're nowhere near it. Somebody's sixth birthday. Let's go. Celebrating huge. Which way are we going? Right, and I think right, he's ready to take over. Thanks, buddies. Whew. Is maybe this is maybe uh maybe this is what we were thinking of, Ryan. I don't remember we were talking about the jukebox with the titles. You know, this is the jukebox with the titles that I was thinking about. This is it. The old fifties jukebox. The sock hop slide. Stepping out with wingtips on. So we were in the 50s area. You can see the big, uh, this is the bowling pin pool. That's very funny. They have the bowling shoes on the building. What? Uh, so the Badminton Boohoo and the Tetherball Tizzy. I don't think are real songs. I don't think any of these are real. You think the Pogo Stick Pop is a real song? I don't know. I think uh, Drag Race Daredevil Dance <laughs> might be a real song. <laughs> Drive into my station and roll out a tray of love. Hand me down car, hand me down love. My love is brighter than chrome. I think those are all real cars. <laughs> cars or songs? I don't know. I saw the 95 <laughs> driving cars. That's a, that's a lightning. <laughs> all right, let's cut through the 50s pool area here. We also have Lady and the Tramp out. You could see Lady over on the left hand side. Uh, so the, the bowling shoes, oh, I'm sorry, Ryan. The bowling shoes is the bathroom area, and then they also have ping pong here and table tennis. What were you going to say? I, I was going to say it's very funny. They have, like, sock hop, nice wheels, you know, crazy, man, dreamy. Bebop, cool. Real hip, nerd, grounded. <laughs> <laughs> These are all things that you would hear, I guess, in the 50s. You're grounded. Yeah, I like it. I like that they have the bowling balls here as well. That's fun. And did you notice that these are bowling lanes? These are uh, your pin markers, and you're throwing down the alley. You see her at the bowling alley? This is the lane. Yeah. Well, Ferris, now you know. And if you don't know, now you know, Ferris. The pool is a bowling pin, and also these are the alleys. If you look here, that they're tan with the gutters in the middle. And then there's the bowling balls over here. And then the bathrooms are the uh, bowling shoes, where you pick up your bowling shoes. I like every I love day. I Ferris about uh, the, the state that he's lived in his entire life. It, we, it's because we exchange fun facts. 
This is nice. Except in the 50s, you don't want to end up in the doghouse, if you know what I mean. Well, that's where you go when you're grounded. <laughs> you got a lady. That's why the lady is a tramp. That's why the tramp is a lady. I, I, I couldn't tell you why they're here. I feel like they had to find some characters and they were like, Lady in the Tramp works. Yeah, they're like, I will stick Lady in the Tramp here. Nobody's going to question it. It's a fair story. I mean, I guess also in the 50s too would be the perfect time where you're like, Hey, little lady. Yeah. <laughs> Or go back inside and change your clothes. You're dressed like a tramp. <laughs> You're grounded. You're grounded. But also, you look pretty bebop cool. Way, way out. Way out. Poodle skirts. <laughs> like just the total non sequiturs. <laughs> All right, we're leaving the 50s section in the bowling area. We are headed towards the hippy dippy pool. It's right here? Wow, Ferris. I did not expect that you, uh, the hippy dippy, was one of your top pools. You are pretty hip. He is hippy and he's dippy. When I dip, you dip, we dip. Here's your checkout luggage, grocery, ECV stroller. Let's go check out one of Ferris's favorite pools, the Hippy Dippy Pool. Also, you got some Jungle Book characters. I see Mowgli and Baloo. And then some more Jungle Book characters, uh, Play-Doh. <laughs> I know that the Petals Pool Bar is over here. More restrooms by the pool. Also, your laundry. They have a water bottle refill station and water if anyone needs water. Bump, water, water bump. Water bottle refill station. This is a cool pool. And yeah, this is great music, Ferris. You know, Ferris, good job. Tint, 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 tint. Is this, this is, uh, Huey Lewis and the News, right? It's Huey, Louie, and Dewey. Huey, Louie, and Gooey, and the News. Yeah. Power of love. People dancing it up, having a good time. It is in the shape of a giant pedal. Oh, we got a save going on. Oh, no. Oh, snap. I feel like I want to teach that lifeguard how to swim. It's hard to swim with the, um, the uh, noodle. But also, if that was a time trial, I'm just saying I feel pretty superior. I'm a little upset that they had to go underwater multiple times. <laughs> Fully dressed? Yeah, that's rough. Well, no, no, no. I just meant that they didn't get it the first time they went underwater. Oh. Then again, I'm cheating when I'm swimming because I have webbed toes, so I'm cruising well, yeah, through the water. Yeah, always wearing his slippers. <laughs> Here's Petal's Pool Bar. Grab some drinks. Let's go show you the lobby of Pop, and we'll head back towards the Skyliner area to show you art of animation. They also have braids, hair wraps. Tattoos, Henna. How's it going? Pop! Hey, can you get just one, one hair wrap like Michael Scott? Of course. I'm going to look awesome. The joke's not as funny for me because I do have long hair. You should, yeah, I mean, I guess you're right. I should do it. Let's head into the classic hall. And that air conditioning feels fantastic. It feels so good. Let's check out this arcade first. Got to check out the fast forward arcade. Wow, this is a big one. Wow. This. I thought it was going to be small, and then I saw that second room. This is a big one. It goes back. Wow. I think this is the biggest one I've seen. This, so far, I think holds the record, yeah. Let's see what's going on recreationally here at Pop Century. Oh, see, this arcade is closed. Uh, at 11, not 1 a.m. You got to go to the other ones. Yeah. They have the character hunt from 8 to 10. You got to spot Goofy. I think we know where to look. We got a groovy campfire. Ooh, marble painting on vinyl records. That sounds like fun. That's very cool. Nighttime trivia. I got to come do nighttime trivia. I got to come do some of these things. Boombox bingo. I'm talking to you, Pat Mix 75. 
Mickey Tide Eye feels like at every resort. Yeah. But this is fun. Monday, Wednesday, and Friday from 3 to 4. Maybe we'll come back and do this on a future live stream. Yeah. And then this is very cool, too. I like the nighttime trivia. I mean, it's no glow party, but it does sound like fun. You know. Oh, another great song. We're, uh, we're very big fun fact people. So. We do love fun facts. So the trivia is very cool. <laughs> Faris. How deep is your love? Who sings this? Okay, which is hilarious because no, Calvin Harris did redo this song. Yes. But originally, this is a this is a song that already existed that he remixed. Any guesses? Calvin Harris. No. <laughs> I believe it's the Bee Gees, and I believe it's Barry Gibb singing, but I could be wrong. Someone in the chat will correct me. Here's your lobby, your check-in area. You got a couple of pin boards I'm spotting. When you get dropped off, just like uh, the All-Stars, this is your main lobby. You have your shopping area, which goes right into your food court. We've got some more of those fun phrases. Far out. Far out. You go, girl. That's what I say to Ferris all the time. <laughs> to the max. Look at here's the Pop Century shirt. It's a groovy good time. We also have some Pop Century exclusive ears. That's fun. That's how you know that this is a little bit more expensive. That is exclusive. You know, we've got the water bottle. What does that cost? This costs. I take a guess. That does not look dishwasher safe. I'm going to say that is. Uh, it is not. It's hand wash only. Yeah, that makes sense. I don't know. 20 bucks. Twenty four ninety nine. That is so expensive. Um, would one of you mind grabbing this for a sec while I go check out the opera here and come yeah, back? Yeah, I'm going to show some more of this exclusive pop merch right over here. <laughs> Love it. And, uh, yeah, the food court. And I'll show, the, I'll show the food court after I show this, uh, I love these it. shirts. I'll be back by then. It's very cool that we have the, the, uh, the baseball tee and both red. And yellow. And then we have the youth shirt over here to the max. And then let's go check out the food court. We have a big seating area over there with a TV. Another large seating area over here. Plenty of soda refill stations. Got a little coffee and dessert area. We got some burgers. And hot dogs and chicken strips over here. We got some pasta. And some create your own entrees with some bowls. And if we come out over this way, do have some Mickey shorts playing on this TV over here. Here is all of the condiments that you can need. Some coffee creamer, sugar, stuff like that. I'm always interested in seeing what hot sauce they got. They got Monarch again. Oh, there it is. Monarch again, which is the same one the Yak and Yeti has. Oh, and then here's a pressed penny machine. So these are souvenir coins, so I guess they're pressed quarters. But we got Stitch, Lady and the Tramp, and the princesses. Look who it is. 
really hit that positive highlights in this season. I know it's going to be posted video. Awesome highlights on Instagram. Oh, nice. Like, they just like, they don't pay, they just, they just tag it with the school, but. Yeah, you get some more views, that's fun. All right, you want to go look at some more things? Wait, is this full or no? Yeah, just swap it in. I hope. Um, let's go look at some other things. Gotta be rock music if you want to dance with me. While I'm inside and I can see it real quick, what's going on, Dave A? I'm doing great, thanks so much. I was right, it was the Bee Gees. Brandy loved that you said Calvin Harris, by the way. Really? Which I also love that you said that. I also love that Brandy said Huey Louie and the Goos. <laughs> That's great. What's up, Craig C? Says, I'll be there tomorrow from Boston. Is the temps uncomfortable yet? I would say if you're coming from Boston, you'll probably be excited about it. Uh, it's warm, I would though. I say that you're going to be... It's I warm. I say uncomfortable, but you're going to be sweating. Yeah, it's hot out. You're, I would say tank tops and shorts for sure. Tank tops and shorts. Maybe bring a second shirt to the park with you. I have three shirts on my back, <laughs> like right now, just because of today. Yeah, I have a spare shirt in my bag as well. I think Ferris is the only one that didn't get there. Well, Ferris also wears sweatshirts up till May. You're right. I've seen <laughs> Ferris in a sweatshirt in 85 degree weather. But you grew up here. You're used to it. Yeah. You're accustomed to it. I do like that each of the decades has their own... Like font. Yeah, like this 80s looks like the arcade kind of font, and then the 90s got that. What would you call this? Like hardcore. Yeah. Like, yeah. Cool. I gotta put the sunglasses on. We got Goofy doing another sport. <laughs> Goofy? I'm telling you. This is why he's the man. This is why he's my My Disney Experience character. He'll try anything. Yeah. Very similar to Pete. Also, that's right. What do I, that's, that's what I always say. Try everything twice. Yeah. Except for the world's hottest gummy bear. That was awful. Yeah, I, yeah, I wouldn't do the one chip challenge again either. Yeah. Oh, God. Any of those challenges are the worst. Don't do those. That's yeah, a cool, yeah, cool little photo spot. You got a vet over there. This is where they do the fire pit at night. So you can actually see the uh, paint splotches or blots on the ground when you roast marshmallows at night. But you got Goofy with the surfboard in front of the vet. I think that's the old Stingray. I think my dad had that bet. Here we go. We're headed into Groove Town Records. You see Farris grooving it out. Look at him go. This is the reason people watch. Come check out more of his moves at Dance Hole this Saturday night. <laughs> 21 and over. <laughs> 21 and over. <laughs> All right. What decade are we in? What are we looking at here? Foosball. Is this the seventies? I feel like this has got to be like seventies. Definitely or... the seventies because I can read the word seventies mm. on that board right there. <laughs> All right, we're in the seventies. What about this? The seventies. Me. Well, I'm gonna say that's when the big wheel came out. This every kid was on a big wheel. I owned a big wheel as a child. I had one in my yard. I feel like everyone had one like in the yard that always sat there in the rain. No, we put ours in a shed. Ours was just always like everyone on my block had a big wheel. That just like always just sat in the yard. And then foosball, this was all the rage. Imagine this just coming out, Ferris. Looks like I am not gonna do a uh, Dapper Day. Brandy just said it's supposed to be 95 that day. Oh, I'm gonna, like I said, I'm gonna try and find a suit that has uh, no sleeves. We can uh, we can go uh, thrifting. Yes. Or yeah, we should go buy some thrift suits and chop them up. Yeah. Do a couple sleeveless suits. We'll get one Where's that, Ferris? that has a stain on it already, so that we're not destroying good garments for people who actually need them. Of course, of course. We'll donate the sleeves to charity. Yeah. <laughs> we'll donate the sleeves to somebody who already flexed theirs off. <laughs> we'll send them up to somebody in Alaska who needs them. Yeah, look at look at sleeves. the look at the excellent job cleaning. Just sweeping the getting the cobwebs out, keeping yeah. the place immaculate. Love the foosball court. Look at the size of that foosball. And of course, Mickey on the corded phone. I watched a TikTok the other day. Farris, this would be fun for it to do with you and like Will. Is do you know about rotary phones? Like if I was like, hey, call me, but you had to use a phone like this, would you know how to use that? One. You press right like that? <laughs> yeah, you you have to move you had to move the number all the way around for each number. So it'd be like one and then my phone number. 
800. Times are tough. Five <laughs> minutes to 300 Empire <laughs> today. Cold JG Wentworth. 877 cash now. I would just want to outlook this two items for me. Fly letters to people's houses. An owl? Yeah. Ferris, that's, that's a Harry Potter thing. Oh! <laughs> wrong park, wrong park. Yeah. Owl mail, that's fun. Yeah. Although people really did use pigeons as mail. Yeah, my, uh, my dad used to tell me about a, uh, like, he used to have, like one, of the, like, one of his crazy friends trained pigeons. We went to his house once, and he had all these coops to, like, do that, to carry messages. Do you know who else uh, trains and rages? Rages. Rages pigeons? They rage them. <laughs> uh, Mike Tyson. Mike Tyson, really? By the way, have you seen any of his training videos for this it's fight with Jake so Paul? Scary. He, now, yeah, honestly, another human being that is terrifying. We've talked about Shaq. Mike Tyson and his training videos for this fight looks insane. I only hope he beats Jake Paul, I'm Oh, that would be so, so great. Yeah. No one's talking about what I really want to happen, where he bites off Jake Paul's ear. Both of them. <laughs> he just goes for seconds. Yeah. All right. Was his partners with the man who uh, he uh, bit the ear off of? Yeah. Oh, yeah, they, they're friends. Yeah. Mike Tyson wanted to start a business with him, and he was like, listen, let me bend your ear for a second. Uh... Yeah, let me bend your ear real quick on this. <laughs> All right, here we go. Back in 1975, Microsoft, located in Seattle, Washington, is founded by Paul Allen, age 22, and Bill Gates, a 19-year-old Harvard dropout. It goes on to be the biggest flop in technology history. No. Yeah. People Magazine, uh, back in 1974, People Magazine is launched by Time. Uh, and then Hammer and Hank Aaron breaks Babe Ruth's career home run record. Psychedelic. Bell bottoms. <laughs> Just words that you hear. The Watusi. Also something you'll hear on the safari over at Animal Kingdom because they have the Watusi cattle with the honeycombed horns. Yes. 1973, the Sears Tower in Chicago opens as the tallest building in the world. And then just like Sears, it fell from grace. 72 Pong, the first video game is introduced to the public, and the Miami Dolphins go undefeated and win the Super Bowl. Wow. I'm only a fan of them now because they invited us out for TikTok. If it wasn't for that, then <laughs> I, I kind of gave up on sports after the Falcons lost to the Patriots in the Super Bowl. So that was like. That's rough. Well, you would have given up a lot earlier if you were me because uh, Jets, Mets, Islanders, Knicks, although the Knicks are good this year. Look at this 71 Walt Disney World Resort opens right here in sunny Orlando, Florida. Also, Intel produces the first microchip processor, uh, which is really cool because uh, that's really gained some steam. Yeah, that's very crazy. Also, considering... What has, what has grown more? Microchip processors or Walt Disney World since 71? Um, I'm going to say microchip processors. I think that's an accurate response. Um, because uh, everybody has a phone. Not everyone has been to Disney. Well, that is a shame. We need to change that. 1969, astronaut Neil Armstrong steps out of Apollo 11 and walks on the moon. There's just one small step for man, one giant leap for mankind. What? That's not his accent. That, that was a little bit of everything. Uh, I don't do accents. I was going to just always go to my default where he's like, this is one small step for man. I always just go Jamaican. That's where I go. Anyway, Woodstock rocks the uh, new, upstate New York. What a festival that was. Did we, the 60s? we blew right through the 60s. Well, the 60s was the oh, but, area uh, in the middle. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah that's the hippie dippy pool. Yeah. The hippie dippered pool. Now, the only area we didn't see was the 90s, but I feel like you guys have been there. Well, most of us. Will. will didn't see the 90s. <laughs> <laughs> Ferris, you were born late 90s, right? 95. 95, right in the middle. What a good year. Ferris, I constantly think you're younger than you are. No, Ferris is... Will is the baby of the group. I always put Ferris at, like, 23, 24. I mean, look at his baby face. And I'm yeah. fresh shaved. He's got... He's just got great skin. It's like you, you know? <laughs> yeah, like me. I'm, I'm 22. Why, why do you not assume that I'm young? Right, right? 
Ryan's the oldest. Ryan's the old one. Yeah, Ryan, you're the oldest one here. <laughs> you're right. I <laughs> <laughs> All right, we're, we're going to kind of cruise through Art of Animation. If you want to see a very in-depth tour, Lauren and I just did one about a month and a half or so ago. We did it over in 2024. So go back, check out the 2024. I have a playlist on my channel. Yeah, so it's been in the last 55 days. Good call. Yeah, because she was doing a workout as we toured it. But we did a full hour and a half just on Art of Animation. But I'll just show you a couple of my favorite areas. And we'll head back to the Skyliner to uh, walk around Caribbean Beach and then the Riviera. And then get back out on the Skyliner and have some more fun. So here there's a bunch of different sections. You have uh, Finding Nemo, Cars, Little, Little Mermaid, Lion King. We're going to walk down the Finding Nemo area. And I feel like we'll show you cars and probably head back. Because the cars area, I think, is one of the coolest areas. Right? If you had to stay here, what do you think? Yeah, sure. I agree with that. Uh, so, uh, Brandy asks, uh, was your dad friends with the lady from Home Alone 2? Yes. Yes. <laughs> yes. That's so good. I have to switch hands. His hand's falling asleep. Oh, no. <laughs> I can always take over if you need Oh, no, I'm good. We just got rota to rotate hands. Normally on a stream, at some point, like, we rest the camera somewhere. It's just holding my hand above my heart. Yeah, at chest level. At chest level, level, yeah. So you got a little playground here for the kids in the Finding Nemo area. And this main pool area is the big blue pool. And the fun feature about this is that there's speakers underwater so you can hear music underwater. Also a great song, Ferris, I agree. Mr. Ray. Mr. Ray. I mean, we have a good memory, like every resort, <laughs> some sort. Yeah, we do. Like, <laughs> I, it's so funny you say that because when we were at the Pedals Pool Bar, I'm like, I remember like doing our first Skyliner bar crawl. Mm -hmm. We started at Pedals Pool Bar. We also, what's the drop off too as well? And yeah, this is where we played a ping pong. Yeah, but remember one night we watched a movie like over here somewhere? Yep. And another great thing about this pool is a zero entry pool. Oh, yes, I like that. A price I can afford. You walk, yeah. <laughs> you walk right in like you were walking into the beach. There's no stairs. Yeah, although there is a ladder and stairs on this side, but they do have a zero entry point by the jellyfish. All right. I'm very excited for the air conditioning in this lobby. Oh, so good. Uh, air conditioning. Up, land down under. You got your restrooms right here next to the pool. You have a laundry. You got your hair wraps, henna, airbrush, tattoos. Any adventures by Carney tattoos? Yeah, can you get some ABC trap stamps? <laughs> I already have one, but you can get one. I'll just show them your design. Mine just says like and subscribe. <laughs> Here's the drop off pool bar. <laughs> I can't say that. <laughs> and it's fun because the letters are made up of the little fishies. The drop off. The drop off. We're going to take a little AC break and then we're going to go try to get the Yeah. Well, we can go out, out that way too. We'll go out that door. Here's the big blue pool. So, this is where we're kind of stepping up, right? We did the All Stars. We showed you all three. We showed you uh, Pop Century, is probably the next most affordable spot on property. Now you're taking a big leap up and you can kind of see the theming here is ridiculous. Um, the rooms here are fantastic. The family suites are great. And just look at the theming in this pool. And this is just one, one of the pools that are here. Also, look how crazy that moon is. That's no moon. It doesn't understand that. I don't know what that means. Ah, uh, I should watch that. One day he will. <laughs> Let's show you what this place looks like, shall we? So we just came off the Skyliner. We worked our way down through the pool area. We're here right now. We're going to show you Animation Hall. We're probably going to skip over here to save some time. Uh, and again, we just did this on a stream in the last month and a half. Pete and Lauren stream, which Pete, is very rare. Very rare, but uh, there's the Lion King section as well as the Little Mermaid section. But we're going to do over here. Then we're going to show you cars because that's really great. And then we'll walk back around the path along the water, hop back on the Skyliner. 
But first, let's check out Animation Hall. Ah, it feels so nice. You know, I will say, Pop had a better AC. Pop Century did have stronger AC. Uh, here's the Pixel Play Arcade. Let's let's check it out for comparison. It looks pretty big. Yeah, I would say it's comparable size. Pretty, pretty big. By the way, all of the Disney's arcades run off cards. So uh, you put your money in the machine, you get a card, you can use the card over and over again. Just in case you were wondering. And they all have these chairs, which I'm sure get used by parents way more than the children. Wow. <laughs> uh, cool part about the chandelier, you see the sketches from the movies. That's very cool. It's one of my favorite lobbies. That yeah, and also, yeah, the color. And I also love these walls as well with like the Different color palettes. Yeah. Thanks for listening, Farris. <laughs> but yeah, you can see the sketches uh, here in the Shandy. <laughs> they have a little mini business center here, which is nice. You got some couple of computers. You got an ATM. This is uh, your main drop-off area. So if you were getting dropped off or you're parking your own car, this is the main parking lot. Let's see what uh, activities we have here. So the signature craft is the Fisher Friends Aquarium. Is this the one I wanted to do the other day? Once again, only till 11. No, nah, you gotta go, they only go hard in the arcade at, uh, the what's it called, at the All-Stars, yeah. Uh, they do have nighttime trivia here as well, Ryan, and it's every night at eight. So that we is, can put your knowledge to the test. Very fun. They also have a campfire at Pride Rock. I kind of love that it's at Pride Rock. That's I super fun. I also love that. And uh, one day we're gonna come back and do this. I love doing and showing different crafts on the channel. So we'll come back and we'll do this one. This one's very affordable. I think it's like $8. Wow. For the craft, which I think is, you know, for Disney pricing. That's a bargain. That is a steal. Sunday, Tuesday, and Thursday, three to four. I really should be taking pictures of all these signs, but they change every month is the problem. Oh, your fuel rod swap is in the business center as well. It's all right. Either in the business center or in the <laughs> The go-to spots. So uh, sort of like Pop Century, you have a your gift shop, and then that leads into your food court. So I love that this is the ink and paint shop, uh, and you have the paints up top. The sleeveless Dynacos, yeah, those are fun. You know who I feel like would wear these? Tomorrowland Traveler. Yes, that's very much a yes. Tomorrowland Traveler shirt. He would look great in that. Another great song. Oh, oh. oh, you're early. You can uh, engrave ID tags here as well, which yeah, is fun. You, you have a, your a, children so you don't forget their names. Bunch, yeah, a bunch of different options. And then there's also a press penny machine built into the wall right here. Wow, it's like... And this is very cool because these are all art of animation. That is neat. So you can do different IP and with the art of animation. And it's all... Uh, I would love to know how many different press pennies there are. Like, if I wanted every press penny at Disney. Yeah, all the sections are represented. Yeah, they have cars, Little Mermaid. Little Mermaid, cars, very cool. So you can get a press penny of the room that you're staying in. <laughs> love it. I, um, love I love this whole area. Yeah, this, like, savanna area over here with that. Tree of life. Yeah, sure, we'll call it that. You got the clouds over here. <laughs> it's, uh, it's a bayabot tree. That's right. Mm -hmm. Bayo Robert. Yes. Well, we're on the first name. <laughs> and then here's your food court. Again, I really think the Disney resorts have stepped up their food game. It doesn't taste too food courty, if that makes any sense. Like, I always the picture. Resorts have, have the best cups here. Yeah, I'm telling you, I agree with Ferris. Is that the food is fresh, it tastes good. Uh, I want to say, I haven't tried everything, but because I've tried most things, I'll say 70% of the time, it tastes good every time. He did have something here <laughs> uh, on the stream with Lauren. I did. It was very good. I'm telling you, I was so impressed with the food here. All right, should we show off the... Uh, let's go to the cars area because it's so cool. Yeah, we got we to gotta go to the other side. Let's boogie. So there's a giant seating area that's off to the left. Uh, and again, Lion King, Little Mermaid areas are that way. Yeah, if you want to. If you're going to go film it. Yeah, so we're gonna. I'm going to walk through cars and then towards the Skyliner. 
Yeah. You can mobile order here at the resorts as well, which I highly recommend doing, not only at the resort. I mean, here right now, this time of day, it doesn't look like you have to, you'd be fine. But at prime times and in the parks, mobile order is your friend. Wow, look at that Benedict burger. Also, that looks good too. Oh, we got to change. A create your own entree. I believe that you had the tandoori chicken. I had the tandoori chicken and it was very good. I'm just saying. And I'm, you know, look, you have some more pressed pennies built into the wall. Different. But they don't say art of animation. No, but these they are, still, are the characters. Yeah. Still exclusively uh, based around the resort. Let's say you want to throw a party for you and your 528 friends. You're going to have to go somewhere else. Unfortunately. Or cut the guest list. Yep. Yeah, your fourth cousin might have to uh, get a rain check. Oh, well, you tell Samantha that because I'm not. Oh, she is not going to like you. Because no one throws a party like a peak you carne party because a peak carne party, party don't stop. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for hanging out with us today. Happy Tuesday. We are doing a nine-hour stream at Disney for 9,000 subscribers. And if you haven't subscribed yet, you know it would be fantastic if you did it. Just subscribe. Give it a try. Have some fun. Do something bold. And you'd make me so happy because when we hit 10,000 subscribers... We are doing a 24-hour, non-stop, live so, stream. I'm so happy that Timon did not look like that. Oh, yeah. yeah. Here's, yeah. So here's some of the concept drawings and different sketches. Yeah. Imagine if Timon looked like that. Oh, our is calling. I forgot who was staying here, but I dropped off a Adventures by Carney like, uh, gift box for someone here. Caribbean Beach, then Caribbean Riviera. Beach and Riviera. If she's parked there, she'll sell her Skyliner towards us. I also love this little swirled seating area for the kids to kind of hang out, watch a movie, and relax while you do some checking in. This is the recreation area, which is fun. You can come in, do some fun projects. Meet us at Riviera. And this is the little aquarium. But yeah, we, we're not, I just want to show the aquarium if that's okay. This is the fun little craft. And it's like, I, I nailed it. I said it was $8. Man, I know what I'm talking about. There you go. Is it all right if we exit through those doors? Um, right now, you can't exit through these doors. Oh, okay. Doors. So we'll go this way. Thanks so much. I'm not, I'm, I, don't, I don't know. I don't go on the Skyliner enough, I'll be honest with you. What do you what's the problem? She's saying, do we, does, do we need to transfer? Uh, I, just, uh, I would say just meet us at Caribbean Beach. Yeah, that's the best course of action. Because we're gonna we're gonna take a few minutes to show the car section, and then we're gonna head to Caribbean Beach. So you'll probably you guys were listening in on a uh, riveting conversation between Ryan and Marquita about where to meet. But for those wondering, or any friends watching who are gonna join, we're about to walk through the cars area. Then we're gonna hop back on the Skyliner, do Caribbean Beach. While we're at Caribbean, we're gonna walk towards the Riviera, show you the Riviera. Then hop on the Skyliner and take that to the boardwalk area, show you the beach and yacht, show you the swan and dolphin, show you the boardwalk, and then head over to another set of resorts because we are trying to show as many resorts as we can in one nine-hour stream, ending with happily ever after fireworks on the beach at the Polynesian tonight. So if you're just tuning in, make sure you get that like button clicked. If you haven't subscribed, I would totally recommend it. Also... Julie is asking, just walked in work. Did you by chance show what time the pool opened? This pool opens at 10 a.m. and closes at 11 p.m. Facts. I just saw the sign. All right, Paul so we're, is calling. we're back. He's going to want to know where we are. We're back at the drop-off, and we're heading towards Radiator Springs. I can see it. Uh, we're, we are just about to enter Cars Land. So the reason I love this area of the resort is it feels legitimately like you have stepped into the movie. The theming is fantastic. Like you could just literally just run around here, take photos and pictures. The fact that we could just come in here and enjoy this right now for free is even crazy because the theming is that good. Well, let's say farewell, mine, 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 to Finding Emo. And welcome to Radiator Springs. It's a happy place. Also, 
info, guess who else just texted me? Who, Lauren? Yeah. Look at that. We're heading into our next step is Ornament Valley. Beach. Radiator Springs. Yeah. Look at it. We got some cornhole. Very close cornhole. This is the how close it needs to be for me. I'm not good at cornhole. Here's our first car that we're going to encounter the sheriff guarding Ornament Valley Radiator Springs. This one's getting a little bit of extra love. And then look at how cool this area is. We're going down the road. I love it. Mater used it. Dang near fainted. Looked like he had just been painted. <laughs> hey. I made the crazy goal today of 300 likes, and I see that we have about 180 something friends here hanging out. Thank you so much for watching and spending your Tuesday with us. It really means a lot to me. Sincerely, thank you so much. There's so many options on YouTube. If I can ask a favor, I would love a subscription. If you want to hit that subscribe, it really is would be fantastic. But please, let's hit that like button because I'm going to try and hit this lofty goal of 300. It's kind of crazy. I don't even know why I said it because it's uh, it's pretty insane. 300 likes? That's a lot. It's a lot of likes. It's a perfect score in bowling. All right. Because I don't know what the best answer is for that. I'll just, can I call it really quick? Yeah, by, by all means. Let's show things. Oh, it's Mater. Yeah, I'll show, uh, I'll, I'll show Mater. I'll be over here at the Cozy Cone. Yeah. With us moving so fast and so far, it is, uh, very difficult to get all the moving pieces together. But I love these. These little uh, yard ornaments on the tires with the concrete. Then of course we have the one, the only tow mater. Tell you later. Rubberneck County. And now that I have been to uh, Cars Land, they do have a slightly larger version of this in Cars Land. Cars Land obviously is incredible, but I would say that this is a close second. If you really are missing the vibe of Cars Land and you're over here in Disney World, at least for right now, you can come over here. We got Sarge back over there. And then we have Lightning McQueen all the way in the back. I think we're probably gonna show them. In fact, I'm gonna keep walking around this way because I'm sure Pete knows how to catch up. Oh. Oh, we're getting a little bit of a Dutch angle on the phone there. Huh. Oh boy. Oh no. Oh, the gimbal died. So I'm going to head back to uh, Pete. Let him know the bad news. Sorry for the shakier shot, guys.
Hey, Pete. Hey. Guess what died? The gimbal. The gimbal. Uh, it is, is the better of the two. I have a charger. That's weird. I didn't expect that to go first. Yeah. All right. Well. I have a charger for that. Pop this off so that I can charge for a minute. You do charge the gimbal, so we're going to charge it back up. It's just going to be shaky for a couple minutes while we get. This is your phone. Get it what back. Did you show, you show it over there already, or no? Uh, I did show over there. I was heading towards Sarge, and then uh, we needed to charge. Oh. <laughs> charge to charge. I'll charge this. I was going to say, well, I'll just walk. Sarge to charge. Um, I also need garbage. But we have some vending machines over here by the pool area. You can get your Coke products. I have not officially yet. There's some cabanas that are shaped like the pool, uh, the road cones. Are yeah, cozy cone motel. Look at the little cabanas out of the sun. I love them. Yeah, and uh, they are first come, first, first serve. So if you're coming later in the afternoon, they're oftentimes open. Um, but in the morning, generally people are there. First thing. And once again, guys, I do apologize about the bit of shakiness. Absolutely. Gimbal died. Showers and lockers, like it's some kind of moderate. Like it's some kind of moderate. Remember when we took our album cover here? Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, all right, still charging. We got the gimbal by first. Weird. Hi, everyone. Thanks so much for watching. I'm Pete Carney. That's Paris. Ryan's behind the camera. Yeah, I'm not good at selfies, so I'm not going to try and show myself. We're doing nine hours in celebration of nine hours thousand subscribers and thank you so much to everybody who subscribed among the years whether you're new or old we're doing the stream because of you we're on the way to 10,000 or we're going to do a 24 hour stream live at Disney so make sure you subscribe to get the bell on hit all notifications Pete I thought we were in Disney World <laughs> well he said in celebration oh. and oh, I was making well, a bad joke uh, <laughs> did you show Luigi's Casadella tires I did not all right I'll show that you want to want to swap I'll do that I'll, I'll do this all right Let's show Luigi. Luigi's cussing on tires. It's me, Luigi. And then the leaning tower of tires. I love the leaning tower of tires. Is this where we stayed one time, Ferris? We stayed a lot of places. No. I'm sure Ferris has stayed here. The, the time we were talking about in the car right yeah, here. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. That was. The, it's cool. Like the ball beds for those are pretty cool. Very themed. Oh, They're very themed. Come on, gimbal. Charge it up. Marquita, watch the live stream, please. Stop calling me. <laughs> yeah. We're heading to the Skyliner. I just told Lauren the same thing. We're heading to the Skyliner. We're going to head to Caribbean Beach next and walk from Caribbean Beach. Show everyone Caribbean Beach as we walk through. We're going to walk towards Riviera, show Riviera, and then Skyline to the boardwalk area. Yeah. This pool is open from 10 to 11. Same pool hours for both pools at the resort. Once again, this is a value, so we do not have the hot tubs. It's not price as a hot tub. Yeah. Also, it kind of is, I, don't know, I think it's super cool. I love it. I just, it. I had to mention that they don't have the hot tubs. So Jess can't stay here. <laughs> no. Uh, we didn't show Sarge yet, right? So we got... I love it over here. We got Fillmore's organic fuel. Oh, yeah. Well, Motel. Hello, Marquita. This should be working by now. Uh, no, we are not there yet. We're about to get on the. We're about to go to the Skyliner. No, we're just about to get to the to, to go to the Skyliner to get onto Caribbean Beach. Where are you going? Like, 
Ah, uh, trash cans for sure. Ka-chow. Yeah, we got a 172 likes. Past halfway already. Let's go on the way to 300, baby. Yeah. All right, I'm just gonna let that charge for a hot second. 128 left. Let that charge. I'll put this here. I'll just show this area real quick, and then uh, we can head towards the Skyliner. So we are, again, we're in the cars area. We're back on the other side of the Cozy Cone Motel. It's gonna be a little shaky for a second. The gimbal is charging. So sorry, I did not expect that to go in the first uh, three hours. But here you got Sarge's surplus hut. And then also you got Sarge's car right here. Hanging out. I love it. Just everything is so photogenic. Everything is kind of perfect. They did such a good job in this area. Uh, we will be catching up with the chat and saying hi to everybody when we are on the Skyliner. That's kind of the time we're using to catch up and say hi to everyone. We're going to get out of this area too. It looks like Disney's doing some of their own fun media stuff. So I just wanted to show you this area before we hop on the Skyliner and take off. And I'm going to get you guys back in the gimbal, back in the stabilizer. Because I know it's a little shaky, but don't go anywhere. I promise we're going to figure it out. It's charging. We brought tons of batteries, tons of chargers. And uh, if you look on my Instagram, at Official Carney, there's a great picture of me, Ferris, and the boys posing with these cars as if we're the coolest kids in town from, what is that, two years ago? Yeah. Oh, Ferris, we've been friends for so long. All right, let's see how this gimbal's doing. Do you wanna... Uh, I'll show the that? medicated bumper oil. Oh, guess what else? What? 20%. On my phone? Yeah. yeah. Well, we're going to go, we're going to start charging everything on uh, these Skyliner rides. I'm going to look at you for a second. This is a bad view. All righty. I'm starting to charge your phone a little bit. Love it. And let's see if this turns on. Gimbals, unfortunately, do take a couple minutes to turn oh, back on. Gosh, it's taking forever. All right, well, we'll do a bumpy walk to the Skyliner and then we'll have stabilization again. Yeah, well, I'll be sitting, so. All right. Oh yeah, you don't need young kids to go to Disney. You don't need young kids to stay at a, uh, no. a fun themed resort. Disney is for kids of all ages. Yes, for the kids and the kids at heart. Does this have the young and the young at heart? I believe he said the children of all ages. But I mean, he might have also said the young and young and young at heart. Children of all ages is whatever he circus. Carney came out. No, that's a. Uh... Well, I guess. Uh... Look at this. The Rangers leading Tower of Tires at Radiator Springs. Yeah, we were just talking about how much we loved that. This is a beautiful area to run. You're being off casually. I'm gonna start mispronouncing her name. Congratulations to Layrin. Layrin coming across the finish line. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's kind of like those uh, the 50 gallon drums that are turned into yeah. train cars. So, also, as you walk around this hourglass lake, we mentioned that a little bit a while ago, so I'll say it again. Hourglass Lake, you can run all the way around 
Uh, they also have fun facts from different movies. On the other side, you saw the fun facts from different decades. On this side, they have fun facts, uh, since it's the art of animation, about different movies and such. I'm not sure we're going to pass one before we hit the Skyliner, but... I think, unfortunately, we might not. But they do have them, I promise. Stairwell's not as hidden with the wall. But at least you're not getting sunburned while you're doing your cardio. Yeah, or no rain. I mean, in the summer, it rains every day here in Florida, so... Yeah, you're not getting slippery, wet stairs. The stairs stay somewhat dry, but be careful. Yes, use your handrails. Use your handrails. No fishing here at Hourglass Lake. And no swimming. Yeah. Look at you, Ferris. <laughs> I'm doing now. <laughs> now that they've said he can't. Rebel without a cause. No, we're not live streaming that. You won't drink the water. <laughs> I will, this mother. Yeah, Ferris was saying a minute ago he needs to get a Powerade. And I said, water, Ferris. No power, any power Let's see if this gimbal can work yet. Oh, we'll do one more gimbal check. Put everyone back in their home. Oh, such a smoother experience. Oh yeah, look at this stable I action. No there we go. We're back in the biz. All right, let's go take a Skyliner ride to Disney's Caribbean Beach Resort. I'll also catch up some chat there. And while we're on the Skyliner, we'll do a little double charge, charge the phone. We'll and charge the, the phone and the gimbal. Catch up with some chat. The chickety chat. I mean, the good news is the gimbal does charge very fast. It just, when it dies, it dies hard. Yeah. And it takes a, takes a few minutes for it to want to wake back up. Yeah. It's like any teenager getting out of bed. It just is going to take a minute. Yeah. Or and I'm speaking, <laughs> yeah, or Ryan today. I did text Ryan this morning. Hey, you up? <laughs> yeah. And then about uh, 15 minutes later, I said, no. <laughs> All right, we're heading back to the Skyliner, but like I said earlier, if you want to see more of this resort, go check out our stream. Lauren and I did a full live stream, very detailed of the art of animation uh, over the last, I don't know, it had to be, like Brian said, in the last two months. Yeah. They, they blend together for me, so time, what is time, right? I just know that it was in the last 55 days because, well, a little bit, maybe, maybe a couple of days more than 55. I got to check with Lauren on what day she's on. We'll be meeting up with her soon. <laughs> we will. Lauren will be around soon. Marquita will be around soon. Anyone else who's around, come hang out. And if you're wondering, our next few steps, I've said it a few times, we're going to take this over to Caribbean. We're going to do a little tour of Caribbean. Quick over there. Quick tour of Riviera. Hop on the Skyliner. A little yacht and beach. A little swan and dolphin. Some boardwalk. And then another set of resorts. But we're just going to try to get there first. We are cruising through this... Yeah, we got five resorts in. It is about quarter to four, so we're doing all right. I mean, my goal of 20 is lofty, but we can, we, we'll see what happens. Yeah. <laughs> Let's hop on a Skyliner. We are only 20 likes away from 200. If you haven't had the opportunity yet, that would be pretty cool if you did that. Thanks so much. Have a great day. Yes, I love the uncovered Skyliners for the views. Oh, yeah. And yellow, you're right. Yeah, and I just want to point out, they do have the emergency boxes in the Skyliners now. They've always been there. Uh, they were not there originally. Yes, they were. They just weren't they equipped. Were only, they were only added after its first breakdown. I feel like they were there before that. There's no way they could run a whole Skyliner system without any kind of emergency kit. Stop. I feel like that they just added the things to it that the people were talking about that they missed. All right. I mean, I don't really have an art. I don't have any facts, so you, you're right. Do you want to double charge? We are on our way to Disney's Caribbean Beach Resort. 
Um, sure. Let me, uh, yeah, let's do it. I feel like it's like a space station operation right now. There we go. And let's say hi to some chat. We'll catch back up where we left off. You can put that on the seat if you want. You don't have to hold it. I mean, it, just, it slides around a little bit. I didn't want it to, to yoink. We're all right. Get off the gimbal. Oh, so the reason Lady and the Tramp were in the 50s is that it was released in 1955. Oh, so Ferris was right. Ferris knows what he's talking about. Look at that. Fun fact, Ferris. Let's go. If you're not following Ferris films on YouTube and TikTok, what are you doing? And you can even see me doing crazy things. Yeah. You can see Ferris and all of his friends. Ferris and friends. All right. Let's, uh... Let's see where we left off here in the chat. Uh, Suzanne Ritchie says hello to Farris and Ryan. What is up? Hello, hello. Hello, Janelle B. Says... <laughs> Janelle B. says, I thought she was talking to one of you because this is the comment. You look like a supermodel on your site with that whole towel around your neck with a little flamingo leg lift. To be fair, yeah, I mean, I don't think I look like a model, but I think it's a good picture, which is why it's on the website. If you guys have not checked out the website, it is adventuresbycarney.fun, and you can see Spaceship Earth in the distance. Does Marquita not know how YouTube works? Just turn on YouTube, Marquita! He says just follow us on YouTube, because it's live. You know, if you subscribed and had the bell on, you could just see where we are. Yes, so we're, we're about to get off at Caribbean Beach. So, are you on your oh. way from Riviera to Caribbean Beach? Sweet sassy okay. molassi. So then we will wait. I have chat to catch up with. And meet you there, and we'll catch up with chat while we're waiting for you. Sweet sassy molassi. Um, good news, everyone. Stephen Noon, the MVP. Uh, says the Fuentes del Moro pool at Disney's Caribbean Beach is back open, which is the main pool. So we can go check that out. Oh, gee, it's coming in hot. We're coming in hot, hot, hot. Here, yeah, I'll give you this for now. We'll keep the... Do you want to use this charger instead of your charger? Because this has two USB ports. Well, this is, uh... Well, let's get off this guy and figure it out. Hold on. Okay. Let's go over here. Because I have to get this, this, and this. What's up, Alexis? How's your day going? We're doing great, thanks. Thanks for being here. All right, so what I picked up from Marquita's phone call is that she's about to get off the Skyliner over here. And we're gonna wait for her. You're going to the opera? There are, there are restrooms here for those. By the way, if you're new to the channel, we say we're going to the opera uh, in place of the restroom just because it's weird to keep saying, I gotta go to the bathroom. Uh, so we just think it's fun to say we're heading to the opera. But there are restrooms here uh, at the Switch station. So if we were heading to Hollywood Studios, we'd be over here. We just got off Art of Animation and Pop Century. And then we normally would take this one to the Riviera and Epcot. But we're going to walk through Disney's Caribbean Beach, which is right here behind us. It's beautiful. We won't be doing this section today. Again, we've done Caribbean Beach a lot. Uh, in the last two months, I think we've done a full two-hour stream at Caribbean Beach. You can go check that out. But we will walk through it, show it to you, and we're going to keep walking right up to the Riviera and show you the Riviera as well. But let's catch up with some chat as we were doing on the Skyliner. Para su um, Can I do this again? Yeah. I'm actually also going to use uh, the uh, opera. You're ready to the opera as well? All right. Yeah. It's an opera party. But yeah, uh, if you ever need to and it's not turning on, just hit the button. Oh, okay. How do I one, know if it's on? Uh, uh, there's going to be, uh, well, your phone's going to be charging, but also oh, I can't see it. there's going to be four blue little lights. You uh, kind of just got to angle it right. You're right. I probably should just do this for now. Yeah, because it can charge both of them at the same time. And I mean, that that can keep charged everybody's device for the entire day. I love that. And you're going to be fine. Well, we'll do a double charge. We'll do a chat catch up while we wait for Marquita, and you guys can hit the opera. Coming off right over here. Here's I got this. Should be your co-host right here. I love it. Love a good co-host. 
and there's mats on the floor for nice. All right, let's catch up with some chat while you have this beautiful view of Caribbean Beach. Uh, also, thank you so much for watching. Hi, everyone. I'm Pete Carney, the man behind the camera with Ryan and Ferris hanging out today. We're celebrating 9,000 subscribers. How awesome is that? It's a little bright. I gotta put these on. Uh, I can't say thank you enough. It's, today's just a, a day of gratitude. That's why we're doing nine hours straight live here at Walt Disney World Resort, concluding with Happily Ever After tonight from the beach at Disney's Polynesian Village Resort. Uh, very happy to have Ryan and Ferris here. Marquita's about to join us. Lauren will be joining us in a little bit. And any other friends out there? I think there's a few other ones that may be joining us. But uh, we've talked about our plan. We're doing as many resorts as possible today. We do the parks a lot, so I thought it'd be fun just to kind of hop around the parks all day and show you some things at the resorts that you may not have seen before or places you haven't checked out. And it seems like you guys are enjoying it, so uh, that's the goal, right? And if you are, please hit the like button. We're at 183 right now. Uh, I set a crazy goal of 300, so if you haven't hit the like button yet, that would really help. And otherwise, thanks for being here. I know there's a ton of options on YouTube. I know there's a lot of content out there. The fact that you're here on a Tuesday hanging out with me means the world to me. So thank you, thank you, thank you. I also want to give a big shout out and a big thank you to all the Patreons. Without them, who knows if there would even be an Adventures by Carney. So thank you to all the Patreons. And if that's something you're interested in checking out, go to patreon.com backslash adventures by Carney. With that being said, I'm going to show this beautiful resort instead of my face so I can catch up with the chat. And if you want to, if you have any questions, comments, you want to shout out, throw it in the chat. Let's see where I left off. Right around here. Uh, yes. Oh, by the way, Phenomenal Brandy did take that picture of me that uh, Janelle was talking about. So credit to Phenomenal Brandy for the great photo. It's hard to make me look decent, and she did a good job. Emma says, I'm staying at the Riviera and Pop in September. I've actually never walked around Pop. You should grab a drink at the pool bar. Normally, we would be grabbing some drinks and whatnot, but we're trying to hit as many resorts as possible. So we're, we're, we're staying on the move so I could show as many resorts as I possibly can on this nine-hour stream. And I just, the chat just jumped on me. Oh no. But if you want to see some fun streams, we've done a Skyliner bar crawl live. We've done a uh, monorail bar crawl. What's going on, Mr. Carrie Small? Pete Stummy says, I love Pop Century. The lobby smells amazing. The Captain's Mai Tai is definitely a favorite of mine at Pedal's Poolside Bar. Good call. That is delicious. I agree. Robert D says, oh yeah, so you should be able to get the camera. We were talking about disposable cameras uh, a little while ago. You can get 12, 14, or 36. That was it, yep. I thought it was 12, 24, or 36. That sounds yeah, right, yeah. too. Might have, might have just been a, a slip of the thumb. Brandy says, that was a terrible jukebox because they didn't even have any Flowbots. Shout out to Flowbots. Shout out to Flowbots. I love that's an ongoing joke now. Kristen Kramer says, I'll be watching all nine hours. Thank you so much, Kristen. And for all those who can't watch all nine hours, I say just leave it onto your house. Your pets love Disney. Uh, your wallpaper. Yes, it's very comforting. Snake says the only thing those resorts need is a hot tub. Yeah, the hot tubs start now. So now we're going to be heading into the more moderates. We showed you the three all-stars. We showed you pop and art of animation. Now we are stepping into the moderate range where they have hot tubs. Dawn, uh, we were talking about, we have a friend traveling down from Boston, coming on vacation tomorrow. Dawn also lives in the Boston area, so she was she was coming down tomorrow. Uh, Dawn also said in terms of, we're doing, a, we're collecting, you may have noticed, we're collecting hot sauces from all the different restaurants and resorts at Disney, and we're gonna do a Hot Ones Wing Challenge with all the different hot sauces that are provided at Disney, and any hot sauces people wanna mail in or bring, and we'll try those too. Uh, and Dawn was saying that Pecos Bills used to have a really good hot sauce. Can't remember what it is now, but they used to have a good one. What's up, Dave? Good to see you. Izzo checking in from Fort Zachary Taylor in Key West. I've never been to Key West. We got to do a Key West trip. Come on, friends. I would love to. I've never been. Me neither have I. I'm, I, I want to do it. Brandy, Brandy uh, just, I mean, we talked about this earlier, but it is going to be 95 degrees on Saturday for Dapper Day, so I have to find a very cool outfit. 
What's up, Brookie? Uh, we right now are at Caribbean Beach. We are gonna walk from Caribbean Beach to the Riviera, and then we're gonna skyline to the boardwalk area and do beach, yacht, swan, dolphin, and the boardwalk. So that's kind of our timetable. But I know you asked that an hour ago. Yes, Brandy says, glad I could rock a dress. Yeah, that would, uh, that's the move. Yeah, I, yeah. We might be going in uh, Dapper Day kilts. Pete just says, I would wear my seersucker dress if I was going. Yeah, that's the move. Jack H says, thanks for the stream. I'm going to be at Pop in 19 days. That's awesome. I hope you have a great trip. Um, so Marquita made us wait. She wasn't even close. She could have got off of the Riviera. She accidentally got off at Riviera and then was getting back on. Oh, she should have just walked towards us because we'd be walking towards her. I don't know. Oh, jeez. It's a lot of phone calls. We got, we'll, we'll make fun of her when I see her in person because that's how I like to tease people, right in front of them. Yes. Well, that way you, nobody's talking behind anyone's back. Oh, yeah, you got to go right you know, right to the face. You can tease someone with a smile on your face, and you know that it's from a good place. A hundred percent agree. Uh, the Steel Coil family says you should go to the Skyliner Resort Hotel front desk and ask this for the Skyliner Resort scavenger hunt. Uh, and answer as you go through the resorts. I didn't even know that was a thing. Thank you, Steel Coil family. Let's we go. We can do that on a later stream. Yeah, we'll totally do that. I'll make that a whole stream on its own. Hello, Julie SS. Uh, yes, we answered your question already. Love that. Thanks to Ryan. Ben B, what's up? Says, uh, what's going on, Pete? Help my dad paint his house today. The stream is definitely helping. Long stream today, huh? Get a brewski later for me. Sounds like a plan. And then everyone dropped Fs in the chat for the gimbal dying. I appreciate everyone's condolences. Uh, Charlene says, do you charge a gimbal or is it broken? No, we charged it. We're back, baby. We're back. Uh, Steven News says, what makes a value? No hot tub, no pool slides, and no double vanities. Uh, there you go. And they also don't have table service restaurants, where the other resorts may have those things, all of those things, some of those things. I need to go to the table service at this I've heard good things about Sebastian's. Sebastian's. I haven't been uh, in a very long time, so I would go back to check it out again. Uh, I hear that they changed their head chef and have improved immensely because it didn't get the most outstanding reviews when it opened. Um, it was kind of given the it's fine oh. treatment. Well, then why are we um, excited to go to this? Uh, because it's changed head chefs and All right. menu. All right, uh, I'm so now it. it's actually much better. All right, Sebastian's Bistro. Add it to the list of the other three. Suzanne says, I love the Cars area over at Art of Animation. I wish my boys were little again so we could stay there. Yeah, that's fun. And then Charlene said, I don't think your kids have to be young to stay there. That is right. But I know what you mean, Suzanne, at that age. Tracy, what's going on? It's pretty hot. Yeah, it's pretty hot here. Kid in the house. What's up, kid? Everyone knows Kid. He's been on some streams. Uh, he's also the person who I, I dominate right on the basketball court, just for the record. <laughs> And I know he's going to want to come and defend himself, and I love that he can't right now. <laughs> well, no beer shortly, apparently. Robert, a different Robert from Robert D. Says, great stream today. Thanks for the distraction as I work. You're very welcome. I'm excited. Kid is coming. He'll probably get here before Marquita at this point. Tom is in the house. Says, Tom Emer corrected me. Says, emerging kids have been there from the start. They even had a video showing what's in the week it opened. Look at that. I thought they were there. Tom backing me up. Thanks, Tom. I was just believing this guy. I believe that they added it to the resort uh, <laughs> TV after. Sure, sure, sure. But no, they definitely did something where they either improved it or increased it. I think they added more items after that little shutdown they had, that little the situation, spotlight. which they fixed. So don't worry, it's totally safe to ride the Skyliner. There was just one little hiccup early on. It's all good. Andrew Wise, this looks like a great day at Diz. It is a great day today. Clara Murphy, what's up? Says, uh, can we go out to dinner today? Question. Um, are you coming? Are you asking me out a date? Uh, I need to know more things. Rebecca Dolan says, uh, where should we mail all the hot sauce? I, uh, I'll put it in the Discord. Uh, kid, meet us at, uh, Riviera. Yeah, I would say, depending on where you are, either Riviera or the boardwalk. If you're not actively at the... We are about to walk through Caribbean Beach pretty swiftly, then do a quick tour of Riviera, then hop on the Skyliner and do the boardwalk. Honestly, if, if you were driving, I would park at the boardwalk and just wait for us over there because we're going to do Yacht and Beach, Swan and Dolphin and boardwalk after this. Finally, do you not know how YouTube works? Or the Skyliner? Calling every five seconds asking where we are, you know you there's a way to stalk us on the internet. You know, that's kind of like a 10 second lag. 10 seconds and you're... <laughs> ten, this is a lot. 
Yeah, if you're walking behind us, you're driving. Crash hey, bud. Crash it. Peaches Pizza, sometimes the sun and a breath of fresh air is all we need. I agree. What's up, Steve B? Says, hey, guys, great to see you. Great to see you here as well. Emma uh, says, I never knew the value resorts they didn't have hot tubs, and you learn something new every day. There you go. Uh, Brandy said, Sebastian's is delicious. It's Hope's favorite uh, restaurant at oh, a resort. So they must have a fantastic vegetable dish. And uh, Dawn says, what, what's, their, uh, what's their favorite veggie dish, Brandy? Look at that. <laughs> and kid, I would meet at Riviera because we are about to walk there now. Let's go make some moves. Also joining us, in case you missed it, Marquita has arrived. Look at all these things. I have so many wires. There is many cables. <laughs> and this looks serious now. I feel like it's more like Traveler. Wow. His rig is, well, no, his is legit. He looks like he is filming a full feature motion picture. And he's got a great channel, so go follow the Tomorrowland Traveler. Also, we've mentioned it a few times, but check the description because that's where everything we talk about is linked. Whether it's all of our socials, uh, like my Instagram, at Official Carney, my Twitter, at Your WDW Guy, my TikTok, Adventures by Carney, our Discord, Adventures by Carney, the Patreon, Adventures by Carney. You can go get the link to SJG3 Collectibles, an amazing company with a 100% positive feedback who sponsors the channel. All of these things are down in the description. So just check out the video description. Again, it's a little easier if you're on a cell phone or a computer, but uh, if you're on a, Here's if you're a, watching on TV. If you're cutting off here, there's a Skyliner themed coffee. There is, uh, we, and I should show this, what? is the Toffee Flight Latte. It's a decadent latte with sea salt, caramel toffee, and dark chocolate topped with toffee crumbles and whipped cream. 16 ounces, $6 and 49 cents. You get it iced or hot. And get your own little Skyliner beverage here at Joffrey's right off the Skyliner. All right, let's go for a walk. We are staying live all day, all the way until tonight. We're ending the stream with Happily Ever After Fireworks at the beach at the Polynesian. We're trying to hit as many resorts as we can today. We're making pretty good progress. We're watching Happily Ever After on the beach of Pali. It's a Pali beach party. That's one of the minivans. If you haven't been here in a while, uh, through the Lyft app, you can get a minivan where it's a Disney cast member driving you as opposed to a standard Lyft driver. But there's a lot of great drivers down here in Orlando. Yeah. <laughs> I know one very it well. is uh, it is an elevated price point as well, but you do get the car to yourself. They come with car seats if you have little ones. I think the real value is if you need car seats. That is that is a major plus. It's yeah. Uh, usually two booster seats and one uh, more uh, traditional car seat. But if you need a ride to or from the airport, just message me. So much cheaper than the <laughs> than the minivan. Seats, we'll get you there. I should buy some because all my friends have come down and go, Pete, we're just going to buy you car seats so you could pick us up with our kids at the airport. Because I feel bad. I want to help everyone out. But when they were like, you have car seats, I'm like, no. They're like, well, then you're no help to us. Yeah. <laughs> when like my friends come into town and they're like, can you pick us up from the airport? I'm like, yeah, sure. So like, do you have car seats? Nope. Trinidad. Well, you were there a few months ago, right? I'm going back in June. Are you taking me or what? I want to go. Thanks. I've, I'm not doing anything on Father's Day. Thanks wow. for not taking me, Ferret. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> we'll talk about it. <laughs> Ferris, how dare you? Look at that. Somebody now. So here we are. This is Disney's Caribbean Beach. Like I said, we're going to do a, a quick little tour because we just did a live stream here in the last two months uh, that was full detailed. We'd spent like two hours here. And then that building you see behind, well, in the background, that is the Riviera. 
which will be our next stop. But for here, we're going to tour you around some of the neighborhoods. We'll show you the newly refurbished pool area. We'll show you the lobby and kind of, uh, we'll show you the, there's a cool little island. There's a playground, the beaches, still plenty to see here at Disney's Caribbean Beach. This, this resort has gained a ton of popularity since the Skyliner uh, has taken, oh, what did you say? Has started its service, taken flight. That's what I was going for. Uh, it is, it's a great spot to stay because you're at the switch station, right? Where we were just waiting. So you can hop on, go over to Hollywood studios, go over to Epcot or like we're doing today, go tour other resorts, go take some pictures over at art of animation, go do arts and crafts, other resorts. The arts and crafts are also a fantastic rainy day activity here at Disney or non-park day. I don't know. Uh, so Brandy talking about Sebastian Bistro. Yes. Apparently it's now family style. Oh, okay. Um, and so uh, they have a plant-based sausage and barbecue jackfruit, which is what uh, they love. Um, <laughs> they love. Uh, apparently it is uh, barbecue uh, jackfruit. to Brandy, better than Woody's and much cheaper. Wow. Okay. That's that's pretty good. I I, I didn't I. I liked Woody's. My only complaint about Woody's is it's too much food. Fantastic bread protein for dessert. Well, there you go. We're talking about Sebastian's. Sebastian's. Um, so Disney's Caribbean Beach has several neighborhoods and a lot of different pools. We're going to show you the main pool, which is right there. But this is one of the, uh, they call, you know, quiet pools or I guess, you know, different area pools. It's so fun. They're not as themed. These are open from 7 in the morning till 11 at night. Yeah, well, these are the ones, so they're a little bit smaller. And there's a little pool like this, and usually, in, uh, I think, let me just think, in every neighborhood. So the different neighborhoods here at Caribbean Beach are named after the different islands in the Caribbean, hence Caribbean Beach. So there's Aruba, Jamaica, Trinidad, Barbados. And then there's the big pool, which we're going to head to. We're going to go over this bridge, show you the little cabanas, show you the fun little hangout spot. From what? They don't have a neighborhood? Oh, and Tobago. Well, Trinidad and Tobago go hand in hand. Yeah, but they're not listed on the sign. Hmm. Tobago, people actually live in Trinidad. Tobago is like tourists. There you go. Well. And this has been your Caribbean lesson from Ferris Films. Also, if you're wondering, Pete, how high does the Skyliner get? Is it scary? I think it's completely safe, but this is the actual highest point right here. Is this tower or the next one? And that's it. 60 feet is the highest it gets. All the other spots are shorter than that. And if it ever does get stuck or stopped, there is a way to get you out of a car, no matter where you get stuck or stopped. I showed what happens if you're over the water. They have a boat for that. They have these other fun trucks that can get you from anywhere. But honestly, I love the Skyliner. I think it's efficient. Great way to get around the resorts, faster than the buses. All right, we're going to take this bridge. Before we do, I just want to show the recreational activities because it's fun. I like doing these fun stuff here at the resorts. So they have the under the seashell painting. That looks like fun. That's on Sunday, Tuesdays, and Thursdays from 3 to 4. Nighttime trivia. Sunday, Tuesday, Thursday. There we go. The campfire. We were talking about that happening almost everywhere. And then they have a pineapple social Monday, Wednesday, Friday. Uh, over on the movie lawn at Caribbean K Island. And they have the wellness find a friend movie under the stars every night. Pineapple social. Pineapple social. Do they have any food here? Just, Brian, just curious. I mean, I mean it's, they, they should. Like they should. If they don't, I'm not going to eat. I'm just asking. Just curious I enough. am, so we'll find out. Turn chicken out of I mean, I like the food over Spyglass. I'm trying to think. Like how Caribbean it gets. I know that Stephen New would know. He stays here a lot. And recommends Stephen New. The uh, the little quick service over at Riviera. Oh, my favorite quick service the is right there, Bar Riva. Yeah, Bar Riva is the best quick service. What? I think I have. What are you doing? Putting a beverage in your ice box. Oh. Maybe not. I was gonna say I have to move things around. I only have one hand. Well, wait till we're stopped. You goose. Let's head to Caribbean K. This is a little island in the middle 
of Disney's Caribbean Beach. So down here is the playground for the kids. Over here, there's a few little huts with some chairs where you could just kind of relax and kind of take in the beauty and serenity of Disney's Caribbean Beach. They say it right here, this area is for your enjoyment from sunrise to sunset. So they do close it after it's dark. But they have these little huts and you can just kind of relax, take in the beauty that is, I mean, just look at this, look at this. Come on, it's gorgeous. Got a little hut here with some benches. I'm gonna stop here for a second so she could put her Red Bull in my backpack, but also I have a stone in my shoe that I've been stepping on over and over again. And Marquita, you can put it in. Yeah, I could do that for you. You can put the, uh, the, the Red Bull in the backpack. Thank you for choosing your words, your words much better. Oh, that feels so much better. I was stepping on this rock for like, what feels like miles. And miles. And miles. What is the longest we've done? Uh, we've done 12 is the longest we've done. Uh, was there? What? Was there for that, or no? that was with MK, wasn't it? 12 is the longest, and we only knew that we were going for 13 for some reason, and YouTube cuts you off at 12, which we didn't know, so we just ended it then. For, for live streams? Yeah, so when, you do our, when we're going to do our 24 hour for 10,000, we're going to do a 12 hour stream and another 12 hour stream. That's crazy. Back to I back. I thought you were thinking about breaking it up with three. Or eights. three eight hour streams. Yeah. I think three eights is a better choice. I also think that because if anything happens, at least like we have different sections. Yeah. Like last night, even at Epcot, when I was oh, with Marquita, yeah, it started super zooming on us. And I didn't want to, and it was like right before fireworks. So we just literally put the camera so far away from the fireworks so you could see most of them. It's very funny. I saw them from my car. Oh, working? Yep. Yeah. Hi, Ryan. Yeah. I waved at the fireworks. I was like, look. Oh, that's so nice. That's how I know when it's 9 o'clock every night because I'll be sitting on my couch at home or working or whatever. And all of a sudden I'll hear like thunder. I'm like, what is that? And I'm like, ah, I've got fireworks, nine o'clock. I get like a nine o'clock whistle because they have got fireworks I can hear from my apartment. Yeah, I hear the Magic Kingdom ones. So usually at like 9.05. They change those all the time, which is a little those frustrating. Are eight now. It's tonight's 8.45. Yeah, I guess they will too. Yeah, this whole week is 8.45 or happily ever after. It's weird. I don't, I don't like, I don't like when they do the 15 minute increment. They can do the 30. You can my snack five. Well, you can go snack. I, you don't. Listen, I'm very happy you're here, but you can do whatever you want. Yeah, I've, I won't take offense to that. First of all, I date Lauren. You know how often I get ditched for food? Every two to four hours? Yeah, every 90 minutes. She's like, stop talking to me. I'm hungry. <laughs> Lauren will be joining us over at the Boardwalk Resort area in about... Uh, I don't know, whenever we get there, half hour, 45 minutes. My snack buddy. Hey, I honestly, if you want to eat, I will actually stop and eat at Bar Riva. I love Bar Riva. Bar Riva is my favorite quick service. So here's the Caribbean K Playground. Oh my gosh, it's the best quick service. My second favorite quick service. What's your first favorite? The Cantina. The Cantina? Where? No. <laughs> That's what I was thinking. I'm like, at a resort? Pandora. Oh, okay, but I'm talking resorts. Oh. So they have this little area over here. I guess you can sit. I guess they want everyone to stare at the Skyliner, but it's a nice tanning area. Oh, what is this? This looks like something for a scavenger hunt. The tree swallow right there on the corner. I like scavenger hunts. Here we go. Maybe I'll make up a scavenger hunt for the full Carney Crew meetup weekend. Is that a tree swallow right there? No. If you answer, Brian. <laughs> no. All right, we're exiting over another bridge. We went over the Caribbean K Island and now we're headed to the main resort area. They call it Old Port Royale. And the pool is reopened. Wow, look at that dump bucket. That looks like an awesome splash area. I like this pool. I hang out here a lot. Again, I have a lot of friends. 
this is as popular among my friends that visit, so I'm here a lot. Again, a zero entry, yeah, zero entry pool. It's got a great water slide. It's got a fun splash area for the young ones. Yeah, deep enough to get a little swim in. They got a splash pad over there. And the nice part about this pool is if it's too much for you and there's too much going on, there is another, I think, at least three or four other pools here at the resort where you can go. There is several. several. Yeah, there's so many pools here. I'll look at a map and get the exact number. But this is really fun. And then there's another entry over here as well. And if you're hanging out at the pool, you want to get your drink on on your non-park day and the kids are in the pool or your friends and family, you can head over to Banana Cabana. I love the steel drum chandelier. Also, just these views. How beautiful is this? Stop the madness. Start it back up. We're only five likes away from 200, by the way. So if you haven't hit the like button yet, let's make it happen. And here, we were just talking about Sebastian Bistro right here. Yeah, so Sebastian Bistro, what we've just been talking about, uh, Brandy says it's fantastic. It's switched to family style right here next to the Banana Cabana at Disney's Caribbean Beach. And again, you don't have to be staying here to come enjoy Sebastian's Bistro. You could come visit, take the Skyliner, take a Disney bus, uh, and then let's 30, look at... 30 bucks is a really good deal for Disney pricing. Also for family style, all you care to eat. Yeah, you got the buttery house pull apart rolls with a guava butter and caramelized onion jam, yes. Spice necklace salad, taste the Caribbean. Here you go, where's Ferris? Ferris! He went to the pool. Uh, they got the oven roasted citrus chicken, the slow roasted mojo pork with a mango sambal, a grilled chili rub beef with a mojito relish, and a sustainable baked fish with a Veracruz sauce, served with cilantro rice and beans, vegetable curry, and grilled seasonal vegetables. Yummy. Here's that bread pudding Brandy was talking about, our celebrated house-made coconut pineapple bread pudding with a caramel and van caramel sauce and vanilla ice cream. That sounds Yum. fantastic. That sounds, I don't even like dessert, and that sounds amazing. And then uh, you can enhance your meal. You can do a crab and fish cake with a tropical mango slaw and guajillo aioli. You can do a fried coconut shrimp with a creamy chipotle dipping sauce, and you can do a seafood escabeche with a passion fruit and plantain chip. Is that one of your favorite words to say? Escabeche. Yes, that and a guajillo aioli is a lot of fun too. Uh, and then also, what do you think about this Caribbean food? Get some specialty Caribbean rums. What do you think of this menu here and the uh, enhancements? I feel like we should try this. This is honestly not a bad deal. Thirty-eight dollars for all you can eat for Disney. We can go do some work here. We should, we should do that soon. It doesn't look Caribbean, but I'll still be able to try it. Okay. I mean, I don't look Caribbean, but look at me. That's true. That's only guess I'll flavor on you. That's right, born and bred. All right, Banana Cabana, uh, a fun pool bar with a steel drum chandelier right next to the pool area. They do have two TVs as well, which is a lot of fun during like football season because on Sundays you'll see everybody bellied up. Uh, I'm going to walk around this way to the out. Banana Cabana is open from 11 a.m. to 10 p.m. every day. What's fun is these chairs look like they swing. They don't, but it, I like the vibe of pretending to swing. Again, your main pool area here. Look at this fun entrance with the cannons. And then they have a, a, a smaller slide. This is, I would say, the... So the slide you see peeking through, let me point for you. That slide, super fun. Kids and adults alike can do it. It's not that crazy, but it's fun, right? Everybody will love it. They have another little baby one here for the youngins, the, the, the more of the smaller children. So they have the same thrill if that's a little too scary because it does go, in, it's a tube slide, so it does go dark, you go through a tube. Uh, here it's open air, a little more safe, make the little ones feel safer. And again, Disney does provide life jackets as well, so you can find them right there. And towels, so you don't have to bring your own towels. You can bring your drinks from Banana Cabana into the pool area as well. A lot of people ask that. Uh, since there's no glass uh, and everything's served in plastic cups, they do allow you to bring your drinks in. Plus, that way you can sip on your beverage while watching your family and friends. And then they have this awesome splash pad over here. And we won't walk there again to save time. We've done a full, extensive tour here. Go check it out on the channel. Just search Disney's Caribbean Beach on my channel. But there's a hot tub on the other side of the fort over there. Let's show you the lobby. A little table tennis. I love these lights over here. If you watch the channel, you know I love a good water feature. Let's go check out the main lobby, shall we? Ooh, thank you. 
Look how fun this is. Oh, it smells so good. Whatever they're pumping in here smells fantastic. So you can see straight ahead, there's a bus out there. This is where your buses, your Ubers will be dropped off. That's your main entrance. Your airport buses, all out there. And you come in, your check-in area is to the left, where we're looking now. A Disney, most of the time, a uh, customer will greet you and start chatting you up on one of these large, uh, you see like bluish green tables, and then take you over there. But they'll get you started here. Most of the time they'll just tell you, hey, you can check in from your phone, use my Disney experience. Disney Caribbean Beach, celebrating 35 years of being open. They have a step and repeat here. Just look how beautiful this lobby is. It's such a great vibe. Like old Disney lobbies, there's a little kid area with a TV where they can hang out and watch something. Also, you know, Disney loves promoting that cruise line. I think there's a Disney cruise ship model in a lot of the moderate and deluxe resorts. You can find out the hours and what's going on here at your message board. So Spyglass is on the other side of the resort, but we'll show you the uh, Center Town Market and the Calypso Trading Post. Here's your gift shop and store for your sundries and anything you may have forgotten. This is fun and looks comfortable. I mean, it's not for me, but like it looks comfortable. You can grab your food, your wine. How's it going? Lots of fun stuff. So if you forgot anything last minute, you can come picking up it here. We've shown you a lot of the gift shops. We're going to keep it moving, trying to hit as many resorts as we can today. Thanks for hanging out with me. It means a lot. I hope you're having a fantastic Tuesday. All right, we're now heading into the center, the center town market. There's some grab and go stuff over here, your baked goods, your ice cream. You could order your entrees, sandwiches, a pretty extensive menu here, uh, including you can get a mini kitchen sink sundae and then a large seating area. Lots of fun tropical colors. There's restrooms located at the far end where you're looking now, as well as restrooms located right here just inside the lobby and we're gonna head from here back outside have a great day all right i don't know where any of my friends went but hopefully someone knows to watch the stream because i'm gonna start walking towards disney's riviera resort but for now, we're still at Caribbean Beach. But to answer anyone who's wondering this question, yes, you can walk over to the Riviera. It is one big loop. And you could just make out Spaceship Earth right over there, Epcot, just over the tree line. So let's see how many pools and see if we were right here. So in Trinidad, over by Spyglass, there's a pool there. Barbados has a pool there. Old Port Royal, where we just were, this is the main pool. We're here now. Martinique has its own pool. Jamaica has its own pool. And Aruba has its own pool. Yes, I was right. Every uh, neighborhood has its own pool. One, two, three, four, five, six pools. And then Disney's Riviera Resort has two pools of its own as well, which we were going well, to show you now. This is the Barefoot Bay Marina. You got the lighthouse. There used to be watercrafts here. Uh, Disney doesn't do as much watercraft stuff over here, but you can do a guided fishing excursion. And then over here to the right is where you can do the movie Under the Stars, as well as the campfire and the s'mores, which we were talking about how every resort has now. There they are. I knew you'd find me. Did you get the lobby, Ferris? Did you get the lobby? Did you record the pool or the lobby? Right there, like I just literally did it. It's literally to your left. Well, now you're left. And to answer all of your questions, yes, there's a pool in every single neighborhood. Six pools here. Six pools. That's right. So much work. And check out this birdhouse and the Purple Martin birdhouses. 
but you have these fun purpose birdhouses. I really do love Caribbean Beach. Hey, look. Since we're talking about the Purple Martins. I did a whole very educational short about the Purple Martins if you want to check it out here on the channel. But you can see, look at the birds hanging out right here. The female is a light brown with a white chest. The males are a dark purple. Uh, and right now they're up here probably to late August and then they will head back to South America. Let's see if I already know it or not. Go ahead. Humans play an important role in providing nesting habitats for purple martins. In fact, the population that nests east of the Rocky Mountains is almost completely reliant on human provided housing. And that's right, we're nice to the birds. That's, it's just very impressive that it's almost entirely reliant on us. You know what? We're pretty awesome, us humans. So I'm not gonna brag. I, I don't want to build a summer. Out I don't want to brag, but like we created fire, the wheel. Yeah. Now we house these birds. They were just homeless before us. Yeah. You know what? We got to take care of each other out here on this planet. <laughs> uh, this is where they do the campfire. You can get a little beach volleyball going. There's uh, three hammocks over here, and I'm telling you, I want to do the scavenger hunt because there's something on that volleyball net yeah. for a scavenger hunt. All right. I believe this is the Martinique area. The purple Martinique? The purple Martinique area. Well, this is the light blue Martinique. Color blind, don't play it. <laughs> Honestly, I, this is the furthest from the Skyliner, but it's the closest to Bar Riva over at Riviera. So like so trade-offs through Riviera to that Skyliner that station. Skyliner yeah, technically, yeah, this isn't bad. You're right. This is a closer Skyliner station than- I would, the I would agree. Station. Yeah, just take the Riviera Skyliner. Brilliant. Yeah. Although if you're going to Hollywood Studios, you do have to change. Yeah, but you're gonna- well, It's still not bad. It's fine. You don't have to walk though. I do like how you were looking at the glass half full, which is very nice. All right, so this is the very last section of Disney's Caribbean Beach. You can actually see the other side. So that's Old Caribbean Beach on the other side as well. I believe that's the Aruba area. And both of these, that's the Riviera Station, but anyone's welcome to it. But now we're gonna go check out Disney's Riviera Resort. One of the newer resorts here on property, although it's been around a few years. It is a DVC property. It is gorgeous, but it is pricey. I don't think I've ever seen it for cheaper than like six or 700 bucks a night up to like 1500 or 1600 a night, like something crazy like that. Serve a glass of water. It's a quality this glass is, of water. This is, a, this is much larger than the traditional cup of water that you get. Well, they probably looked at you like this guy needs a cup of water. Well, yeah, I saw. I saw that Ferris got one. Ferris also got one this size. I'm proud of both of you. And I saw it, and I was like, "Oh, that looks so refreshing." So then I got my own. I was gonna wait until to lunch to grab one, but. I'm, I'm just want to say I'm very proud of both of you for consuming water in this hot environment. I don't. I just. I've never seen anyone celebrate with a jumping jack, but it's kind of funny because you said Lauren. Like, what? That's great news. And then does a jumping jack. Uh, here's the Martinique pool. Like I said, there's six <laughs> pools here, including the big main pool we showed you a few minutes ago. Also just one but these, is very funny. <laughs> that's what I'm saying. It's hysterical. <laughs> uh, like I said, not nearly as crowded. So if you're looking for more of that quiet vibe, the different pool areas, and you can explore the different ones too. So, I mean, you don't have to be staying in Martinique to do use the Martinique pool. You could go over to Aruba, all the different yeah, pools. If Aruba's a little rowdy, you can go to Martinique. Yeah, we've done that. We, uh, when we were staying here, me and I say we, by like there was a group of friends of ours, uh, a bunch of us. When was this? I guess it was right after the pandemic. We kind of wanted our own pool, so we just pool hopped. It was at night. It was like ten o'clock at night or so, and I think they were up until eleven. So we were like, let's go find a pool that's completely empty, and that's what we did. All right, we're making the turn. Geyser over here. <laughs> I don't know if I'd call it a geyser, but a beautiful water element. You got, you do have a beautiful white sand beach as you enter the Riviera. Which has been used today, because I'm pretty sure they comb and, may, and they, uh, what they, how would you say this? Reshape or 
manicure the sand every morning? I, either every morning or every night. But it really is a gorgeous view from this beach, looking out over the water. Absolutely gorgeous. Also, since we've talked about the masters many times on this channel. Ah, yes, the masters. I learned about their sand traps. It's not traditional sand in their sand traps. What's in their sand traps? Quartz. Wow. Because it's the only thing that is brilliant white enough for them. Also, I want them to look immaculate at all times. Yep. Um, I was going to say the same thing a, about their grass. It is a byproduct of uh, quartz mining. So it's actually like a recycled uh, quartz. They don't just waste um, quartz. They're it's not actually, just chopping up quartz. Yeah, they're not just breaking up quartz for their sand. It's actually a byproduct of a quartz mine nearby. Uh, but they do purchase it and ship it in specifically just for their sand traps. It's pretty impressive. Oh, snap! The kid has arrived! What's up, Steven the Kid? Do you know Ryan? Ryan, Steven, aka the Kid? I have to say, let me give props. Uh, I've been loving your videos. Do you want to plug your 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 videos? Yeah, uh, Steven the Kid on TikTok and Instagram. Uh, basically, what I've been doing is like... Uh, Aesthetically pleasing videos. Yeah, he cruises around the resorts, shows you some of the little highlights, but it's fun. It feels like you're like hanging out with him. Yeah. Um, I love what you do with your lighting effects. I like the music. It's a succinct and beautifully edited video. So I'm just saying that's coming for me. I love him. Go follow Stephen the Kid. I believe that's two D's. Two eyes. Sorry. I mean, yes, that makes more sense. We all have two eyes. We don't have two D's. All right, so we're here at the Riviera. Here's your splash pad for the kids, your play area. This is your main family pool area. And a hot tub. There's a hot tub. They also have a gelato stand in the pool area straight ahead. And then there's a quiet pool area or adults only kind of vibe straight ahead. We're waiting for Marquita and Ferris. Oh, yep, you can't miss them. Wearing those bright shorts. Bright shorts, are bright. <laughs> yeah. bright shorts. Walking the same speed. I think we might take a quick stop at Bar Riva and uh, just have a little sit down for a second. So why not? What? Oh my God, I love it. Oh, please, let's talk about this, how bad you are. Um, when I was talking earlier about who I dominate on the basketball court, it's this is the guy. This guy is so easy to defend. Is there a six? We got a sixer or a fiver? Let's do that. Yeah, further back. But also, yeah, it's better air conditioning back here. Also, look at that. There's some plugs, some USB ports. I love it. There's uh, two more plugs right underneath. We have five. Is it okay if we use these two? All right, thank you. Oh, feels good to sit. I want to be on the. I also have to use a restroom or an opera. Yeah, I'm gonna get up in a second. I'm gonna I'm gonna go over there anyway. It's facing that way. It's on. We're live. Gotta hydrate y'all, you know what I'm saying? Gotta hydrate the dehydrate. <laughs> Look at how much bigger this cup is. Yeah, that oh, cup they is. They hooked them up. I just left Magic Kingdom to get the last like, couple shots that I needed. So like, New TikTok coming soon. How long does it take you to edit? This one, it's taking me like two minutes because it's like. See, like, I'm Magic telling you. Kingdom, no one appreciates the edit, but it makes or breaks the video. You've actually never been here. All right, we got to talk about it. This is my favorite quick service at any resort. No, look at this menu. It is literally here. I'll tell you what. You can walk them through it while I go hit the opera and tell Marquita and Ferris where we are. Okay. I don't know how you want to do it. You can aim it at yourself, aim it at the menu, do whatever you want to do. I'll be aim back. it at yourself. Yeah, well. Okay, yeah, we can, we can flip it around. I got I to gotta raise this. You're taller than me. <laughs> I got I to gotta get up to kid height. Yeah, man. Milk and vegetables, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Eat, eat your veggies, kids, mm -hmm. if you want to grow up big and strong like kid. Yes, sir. Bumpy, Bumpy worse than me at basketball. <laughs> I, let him, I let him win, so it boosts his morale. 
He's already got a big enough head. Yeah, literally. <laughs> a lava cake? I like chocolate desserts, bro. Like, I don't know. Oh, chocolate desserts are definitely the best way to go. Yeah, like, I don't know if about you, but like, I'm not one of those people to get like fruit. Like, no, I feel like fruit, I mean, I love eating fruit, but it's definitely not a dessert. Although I do love like a lemon dessert. I love a tart. Lemon? Yeah. Like a, like a lemon meringue pie. Lemon meringue, yeah. Yep. Mm-hmm. Or like uh, my mom used to make some really good lemon bars. I never had a lemon bar. What it is, what it do, how it should be. What up? Chilling like a villain. Hey, brother. Chilling, like bro. Which face your camera going for? Facing us. It's that way. You want to face? No, she doesn't oh, want to be on. You don't want to be on camera? Good, good. Isolate. Magic Kingdom had to finish the video. <laughs> My name is Chad. I'm gonna be taking care of you today. Awesome. Thank you so much. Um, but back to the menu, I guess. I don't know. This is some more menus. Oh yeah, no, we got plenty of menus. Bacon cheddar burger. Five total. Yeah, he he just wants to use the rest of it. Absolutely. Thank you. Yeah, no, I literally, I left Magic Kingdom and I was on the monorail and then I hopped in the stream and I was like, yeah, let me slide over real quick, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah, this is our seventh resort. And then what's next? Riv- Riviera? Or this is So Riviera. this is Riviera yeah. and then we're going to top on the, uh, the Skyliner over to Boardwalk area. Going to do Boardwalk, Yacht, Beach, um, Swan and Dolphin. Make sure you bring up jelly rolls and dance hall. Yep, got it. We are, we've dance already brought up dance hall. The running weekend, yeah, race weekend. Uh, what day do you even go besides Sunday? Uh, uh, Saturday. I mean, I used to go down Saturday, but if somebody was going to dance hall, like, I wanted to go dance hall, I was going to go down Saturday. But uh, so on the menu, oh, we've yeah. got some shareables. We've got a, a mushroom arancini. Uh, a baked brie, some some it's sticky awesome. chicken wings. The baked brie is good. Uh, apparently the baked brie is good. And then they have a burrata salad. I love burrata. In a salad? Yeah. Or is it just like, you know, is it like with the tomatoes and the... Okay, yeah, I'm yeah. thinking like lettuce and... Yeah. No, right, no. Wait, say less, say less. <laughs> no, the, if you want a more traditional salad, I believe that the, the tuna uh, nishwa. Is that how you say that word, Marquis? I didn't even see it. Tuna Michois? Yeah, M-I-C-O-I-S-E, Michois? Probably. Yeah. I don't know, you were just in Le- France. Nicosi. Nicosi, that's a good restaurant. Nicosi, yeah. Uh, and then they have a Greek salad, which is probably the most traditional salad here. They have a spicy Italian sandwich, grilled chicken sandwich, bacon cheddar burger, some vegetable skewers, and salmon with orzo. Does this count as a quick service? Yes. It is a quick service, yeah. With a server? Eh? Nice. Where, it's nice over here. They have an extensive drink menu. Oh, yeah. Yes, they do. I was telling them, is either I eat now or wait till the house tonight? Might as well wait till the house for us with the stream set. <laughs> or do both. Nishwa. I think you should do both. Do both? Do both? No, it's facing us. You wanted to face you? There you go. Hey, viewers. It's me, Pete. Like and subscribe. Alright, what's going on, guys? Chad, are you okay to be on camera in case you're on? Yeah, that's totally fine. Thanks for being here, providing that. We're going to just use this table so we don't have to take another table. Can we move that back for you? Take it if you want. Yeah, that way another, I mean, I'm not going to watch it next to us. That's right now. Yeah. <laughs> Sandy has his bag. He's got to carry this. He's got some more stuff. Oh, that man got weight in there. He's been carrying that for four and a half hours. <laughs> yeah. Dog. He's going to get some jack kids. You do a terrible job. I score every time. Well, it's because he's wearing the backpack still. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I wear the backpack when I guard. Yeah. All right, what are you guys doing? Let's let's talk about it. All right, sorry, Chad. I'm taking up your time here. All right, what are you guys getting? I don't know yet. <laughs> okay. I read the menu one time. I didn't get to, to uh, Then I'll wait till you guys are ready. I'm sorry, Chad. I don't think we're ready yet. 
Chad, do you also agree that this is the best quick service restaurant at any resort at Walt Disney World? Oh, this is a table? Oh, okay. Well, I mean, I'm just saying, like, but it feels like casual. Like, you don't, like, you don't, like, need a reservation. You just kind of walk in and hang out. Like, I just love the vibe. The open air. I think it's some of the best food. The best pool, for sure. Yeah. That is true. We'll call this the best pool bar on Disney property. Thanks, Chad, for clarifying. People in the chat will get mad at me, so I appreciate that. <laughs> If you want to walk us through some stuff, sure, let's hear it. So, the El Tramato is going to be our most sweet cocktail right now. I know it does say it has some turmeric in there, but it's not say, savory at all. It's very, very sweet. Good to know. Sweet would be the Lipitee floor right here. Pretty refreshing, get a little bit of citrus in there too, but again, it's not going to be very sweet at all. I sent you the Oh, they're so good. So good. Yeah. Also, you might have the greatest grilled chicken sandwich on property with the roasted tomatoes, mozzarella, spinach, artichoke spread on the toasted focaccia. It is so delicious. It's might be the greatest grilled chicken sandwich in Orlando. It's so good. All right, I think we're gonna need just a hot minute though, Chad. <laughs> <laughs> I love you doing this. Yeah. Turn on the live stream. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Turn on the live stream. Well, no. His probation officer. I'm still in the state. Turn on Pete's live stream. <laughs> Drinking water. All right, so what is, what's everyone thinking? Honestly, are you eating or no? All right. Marquita, what are you thinking? I don't know. The lava cake. What do you see? I don't want that. I want green All right. So what are you thinking? What are you? What are you between? All right. I'm thinking. Are you guys doing shareables? Yes, doing your own entrees. That's a, that's a big question. What? Are you guys doing shareables? Yes, doing your own. Well, that's entrees. why I want to know what everyone else is doing because I might just want to share something. I might just do a little something. <laughs> See, I'm here for the other two shows. Yeah, the other two is where I'm at because I'm about the, oh, the sticky wings are so good and the arancini is so good. But I mean, everything here is good. But I just don't know if I can just eat cheese right now with the temperature outside. Well, also, yeah. What does baked, that have to do with it? Well, baked brie is just a baked cheese out. dish, and it's so hot out. Like, you ever just like eat? You know, when you used to serve like the the cheese over in um, Norway, like they used to carve it off. Mm -hmm. Like on a hot day. It's just, it's heavy. It just makes you feel like you need to take a nap. Down on the yeah, you, feel like you, you, got, backpack, you right? got to take a nap. It makes me feel like you're carrying yeah, a backpack. He's wearing yeah. the backpack on the inside. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> on my stomach. Uh, and I want to take a nap. The kids do you have any other portable charger? Uh, I do. Here. I don't know if I have a cord, though. Uh, oh, I might. I don't have a cord. I have this. Uh, but Ferris but has a full-size charger, and there's plugs. Yeah, and he, well, Ferris has my fuel rod and another charger. Yeah, I do. You, did. you got an actual charger? Yeah, yeah, you have the full. There you go, there's a charger down there. I have 15 though, so if you have 15, you're out of luck. The seat. The Pro Max does the job. The man. iPhone 4? Yep. <laughs> I'm, still rocking, I'm still rocking the original Nokia with a snake. I got one tip on the I love stealing Pete's phone to play Snake. Snake is the greatest. <laughs> snake is so good. All right, so I was corrected. I keep calling this a quick service, but apparently this is a table service, which makes sense because there is a server. Also, so I forgot, yeah. But the greatest pool bar is the best way to put it. What were you gonna say, Ryan? I'm sorry. I think that means we might get pass holder discounts. Oh, no, maybe we do get wrong. a pa maybe we do get a pass holder discount. Maybe we do. Also, by the way, we hit 200 likes, so thanks to everybody who's hit the like button so far. Right. If you Two haven't, the goal. Yeah. the goal, I set a crazy goal of 300. I, I, it's a crazy goal. That ain't crazy, that's cool. Uh, I mean, look at the, we Steve and the kids says I could do it, so I feel like I could do it. What? We were at 200? We hit 200 last night? 
Oh, man. All right, well, maybe we can hit 300 today. It's a nine-hour stream. We're not even halfway there, so maybe we can do it. If you haven't hit the like button, I would totally... Uh, I, I mean, I don't see why you wouldn't. I hope you would. And I mean, we're, we're going to start getting the after work crew coming in and joining the stream. Which, or the people who are leaving work. Thanks for watching the work, by the way. We're gonna get Your bosses don't care. Lauren yeah. <laughs> Lauren is currently uh, doing her workout over at the boardwalk and going to meet us there. So she's got to do a 45 minute workout twice yeah. a day one indoor, one outdoor. She, she did her indoor a one a little while ago that yeah. she was starting. She did her indoor one this morning at 5 a.m. and she's doing her second one now at the boardwalk. So when she wraps that up, we'll be pulling right in. Just in time. Oh, we got to say hi to your mom? I love it. I want to meet your mom. Where did you grow up? San Antonio? Mi español es un poquito. Lo siento, lo siento. Gracias por being here. Um, <laughs> you're my Tayama. Mi amor. Uh, <laughs> no, it's mi amor. <laughs> I know what I'm saying. I know what I'm saying. He knows what he's about. That is true. We're not at Coronado. That's That would be more appropriate. Here, where are we? The French Riviera? We all have to be like, eh. Listen here, uh, I have, I'm so bad at accents too. I just this is my whole French impression. Yeah. Actually, I gotta hold my cigarette backwards. Why? I just feel like it's a French thing to do. It's Francy. All right. So go All right. Yeah. Let's let's focus on this, and I'll catch up with that. What is everyone getting? I honestly like I don't need to eat, but I would share something with someone if they wanted to. If I don't eat, I'm not gonna be a nice person. All right. Marquita needs to eat. So it's always going to share the shareables or like, what, like how you guys want to do this? I, I don't care. Like whatever you guys want to do. Like if you guys want to like, you guys want to share yeah, wings. I, I honestly, I'd be happy with like one wing. Then I can eat at his Springs. I can eat a little bit everywhere. Yes. But I'll do whatever everybody wants to do. I just thought this was a good stop because everything here on the menu is delicious. There's nothing I don't like here. And Ryan's never been here. So he's got to try something. I'll split the wings with someone. I'll split the wings with you. You want to split the wings? Yeah, let's split the wings. Let's split the wings. Done. That's right. See, this, never mind. I just feel like this is the way the world should work. People should be able to have a quick conversation and boom, we worked it out. We're, we know what we're eating. Everyone can get along. Can't we all just get along? Are you getting anything? I'm good. All right. Steven, you getting anything? I got my coat though. All right, Marquita, what do you want? I'm not eating the cake. Why would I'm I? Second, I'm gonna do those uh, wings. I'm gonna split them with my friend here. That's cute. a good amount of wings. It's a good amount of wings. Uh, yeah. yeah that's fine. We'll, we'll grab some more later. Yeah. I mean, we're live until 9:45. Yeah. No. So we're split. We're gonna split the wings. We're just doing a little afternoon snack. Sorry, Chad. That's why I didn't want to take up too many of your tables. Are we still going to the fillable or no? Is that the fillable or no? That's okay. That's nice. He wanted to know if he could check it or not. Yeah, he was like, do I have to make this Coke last the whole meal? You just carry that cup. No, I gave up soda like 15 years ago. The only soda I have is, the only soda I have, yep, is when it's in a mixed drink. Is when I have a ginger ale and normally I do like a Captain and Ginger if I'm going to have like a little drink. Or like a uh, Red Bull vodka or something like that. I really, yeah, I just, I can't, I drink and eat too much to eat soda, uh, eat soda, to drink soda and eat dessert. That's the two things I had to give up. I mean, soda is delicious, desserts are delicious, but you have to pick and choose in life, and I can't do it all. Wow, is that what you made today? That is so nice. But it looks very fancy. Yeah, let me show everyone. Look what Marquita did. She's taking a baking class, and she made these. Also, they're Central Ice of Colors, where I was raised, home of the Musketeers. Let's go. Shout out to CI in Long Island. Here, I'm going to hand this to you. Uh, hello, Lauren. We're live on the stream. I couldn't hear her. I can't hear her either. Hello? My phone is the quietest phone. Yeah, what's up? 
Not Ella was fire, but the one was. Alright, do you want to come good. over to Bar Riva and just say hi? We just ordered, we're just, no one ate yet, so we're just grabbing a quick bite. We're literally sharing wings. Alright, so. Yeah, I was like watching right, a lot Hold on. Um, All right, we're at 200 likes, which is 100 two, less two than thirds, two less thirds than, of the way. Less than 100 likes away. So make sure everybody likes, comment, and subscribe. I've also been enjoying it. Everybody, comment down below your favorite um, resort at Disney World. Can I get another quote, please? I finished already. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, I did. Um, what's your favorite resort at Disney World? My favorite resort? No, Animal Kingdom Lodge. Oh. Bone was my favorite place to eat for breakfast, so. I've oh, never, I've never been to dinner. Fantastic breakfast, lunch, dinner. I've never been to dinner, though. Just as Should good. Just as good. It's a little bit more expensive, but it's just as good. What? Uh, Boma? Is it all meat, right? There's plenty of meat. Yeah, meat. Yeah. There's, I mean, there's vegetables as well. There's good sides. Kid, what's your favorite resort at Disney World? It's a good choice. That's, that's another great choice. Yeah, I mean, Lapu Lapu. Lapu Lapu, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There you go. That, that, that drink is really good. And yeah, with the 151 floater on it. Oh, it's, it's a really good deal for what it is. Marquita. Well then, wow, everybody has different choices. Do you have a reason why? I mean, I would say, that, the they, I would say that the best, Wait, your favorite resort has, has the best lobby. The best yes, We're talking about the best club level? No, we have the best resort. A favorite resort. I uh, think that Wilderness Lodge has the best lobby. Mm, that's my personal opinion. Oh, 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 oh Grand's pretty nice though. Grand's pretty nice too. Though. I mean, look it's at tough. Look at uh, the Animal Kingdom Lodge lobby though. Yeah. It's just as it's just as grand as Wilderness Lodge. I'm true. This is true. And you got that bridge that goes across. I'm gonna say Fort Wilderness by a landslide, but it's just that's I mean, it's a campsite. It's very hard. It's hard to compare if like to uh, different uh, resorts. Is that a resort? It's a campground. It's listed as a campground. Oh, so then I'll have to go to Quinaro, Quinaro Springs because it's the best the best place for its buck. I, I, would, I would say that it's best value for money because it is a moderate, so you do get, you know, some hot tubs and a quick service and all that, but it's cheaper, top. cheaper than art of animation most days. Yeah. And you get a rooftop bar, you get a direct sporting bar, and it's also a Mexican restaurant inside it, oh, and three bridges, and three bridges, and three bridges too. Three bridges. Um, there's, a lot, there's a lot of stuff there's So, but do you have one that zooms? Like, like, like a transition that zooms. Yeah, yeah. Pete. Because if you zoom from this shop, uh -huh. it'll zoom to the He's talking, but we'll get his favorite resort as well. Please, everybody comment your favorite resort. And you gotta tell us why, though. You can't just say resort. You gotta tell us why it's your favorite resort. Alright, so In terms of like scale, I really like either uh, Animal Kingdom Lodge or Wilderness Lodge because they're gigantic. Like the scale when you walk in, you're like, wow, this is crazy. Brandy is claiming that they have the same architect. They do. That makes sense because it's very similar when you yeah. walk into both. It's got and that, also both. That very grand multi-story. Yeah. And both during the holidays are amazing because they have the tallest Christmas trees oh, absolutely. at a resort in See, both their lobbies. I also Good love question. Animal Kingdom Lodge even more because you get to see the tree from up high on that bridge. That is true. So wait, what was everyone's favorite resort? I missed it. Animal Kingdom Lodge, Holly, Fort Wilderness. Wilderness Lodge. Coronado, because Fort Wilderness doesn't count. So, Coronado. Wait, because the what doesn't count? Fort Wilderness. We, we uh. saw. Because he said he said favorite resort. So, so Fort Wilderness doesn't count as a, on a technicality. Okay. Yeah, those are all great choices. I really, I don't think I can pick. If I had to, like, because here's the thing: is I haven't stayed at all of them. Whenever I came down, I used to stay at Value Resort, so I've never actually stayed at any of the resorts we just mentioned. Like All Stars or Pop. Yeah. Or like the Clarion on next to Kitties. 
<laughs> That's right. Yeah. Also, Robert D in the chat says, G, wonder what mine is. We all know Robert D uh, has taken up residency at the Grand Floor. Yeah, there's a, there's a room with his name on it. Legitimately, like, honestly, it's not a joke. Robert D, the valets there know his children's names. They ask how they're doing. Like, he knows, like, his daughter has grown up going to the Grand Flow. He's there pretty often. I mean... Where's that? Oh. See? That's how you know I don't go to the Grand Floridian. I didn't know that Sugarloaf was at the Grand Floridian. Would you say the answer would, have, like, would change if you were like, to go with the family or, or you wanted to go like, with the couple? Like, so, I mean, for me personally, like if you said I could stay at any resort for seven days and I it was free, I'd probably Wilderness Lodge only because I like their pools. I like that the second pool area has the cabanas that you could hang out at, the locker rooms. I like the uh, DVC areas. They're beautiful. Um, I got a chance to go visit uh, the Garvey's when they were there. And they had an awesome room with their own like plunge pool on the water. You have boat access to the Magic Kingdom. So like I like any resort that has like a second mode of transportation other than buses. So like at Wilderness Lodge, you can take a boat to the Magic Kingdom and then take a monorail from there to Epcot if you want or whatever it may be. Animal Kingdom Lodge is so unique, and I love it. The only issues I would say that it gives it a slight notch down is that it's so big, and that like you can get a room that is like a half a mile walk, but you're waking up to animals. Like also, it's crazy. Also, the other the other thing that knocks it down is it's very far away from everything other than animals. It is, and it's only it only has buses, no second form of transportation, and it is it's very close to Animal Kingdom, but it is the furthest ride from any other park. Uh, you got to allow, I would say, at least between waiting for the bus and getting there, usually at least a half an hour to get to like Magic Kingdom uh, or any other park if you're going at Animal Kingdom Lodge. But again, you're waking up on a savanna. You're you're looking at animals. You have uh, one of the best restaurants on property, Sanaa, but definitely the best bread service. Yeah, yeah. Jico is fantastic. Yeah, Jico is also was very fantastic. good. Boma has a great breakfast, tons of flavor. They have a great lounge there too. If you want to hang out, work on your laptop, watch TV. Uh, the what is it called? It's like the waterfall. It's right near Boma. What's the the lounge over at Animal Kingdom Lodge? Yeah, the one with the waterfall. There's the waterfall that trickles down. The waterfall lounge. We're gonna call it that. Uh, also though, Riviera, like where we are now, gotta be top. At least I think top three, if not pretty close. You're off the Skyliner. You can walk to Caribbean Beach. You have two amazing pool areas. You have this as a best pool bar. An amazing, you have Topolino upstairs, which I still haven't done. One of my three restaurants left. Everyone Absolutely loves Topolino. Fantastic. Nobody has said a bad thing about Topolino ever to me. It wasn't for my birthday, and it was probably one of the, probably the best. Yeah, everyone says Topolino's amazing. I haven't gone yet. It's crazy. One day I'll go. I know. It's one of the three left of, of all the restaurants on property. Uh, so yeah, this I well, think would definitely be up there Riviera too. It's Riviera as an entirety thing. So it's French and Italian Riviera. All the Rivieras. Because and I mean it's even it's even kind of uh, showcased on the the menu. Let's see it. Because uh, you know mushroom and cheese. Oh, I think you were like show a map, no, but you were like, oh, the mushroom. Dish, yes. And baked brie is a very French dish. And then sticky yeah. wings. And very, wings. very Mediterranean, fun stuff. Riviera, French and Italian and then they also flavor like styles. Greek salad, so. That's what I'm saying. Mediterranean flavors and yeah, it's beautiful. It's opulent. I mean, the only thing is, again, it is very expensive to stay. Unless you're buying DVC points oh, or yeah. renting I mean, DVC we points. I don't think we were factoring in price. No, that's what I'm saying, is that, but but still, if I had to, if, if someone said you could have seven days at any Disney resort, you could pick the room or like, you know, or the area, like obviously like presidential suites will rule those out, but like a nice room, I just think Wilderness Lodge would be it for me if I was spending a week out of the park. I mean, you have boat access, you have beautiful, you have those two pools like I was talking about. Uh, yeah, I've, no, Wilderness Lodge. No, oh. I see, I stayed at Wilderness Lodge and I did love it. And you have you have multiple uh, you have don't, isn't that isn't Artist Point there too? Yeah. And you have uh, what's the place with the ketchup? The 
uh, Whispering Whisper Canyon. Canyon. Uh, you have the lodge, uh, not the lodge, the bar lounge area over there, which is good too when you go down that ramp. Yeah, yeah, they come off. Yeah, and then you have Geyser Point, that great quick service right over by the water. Beautiful. Geyser Point also pumps in the firework oh, music so you can sit there at night. We do love Fort Wilderness, and we will be there a week from this weekend for Hallow Spring. So you want to make sure you subscribe for that. Uh, oh, I, there's a lot. It's gonna be crazy. I'll tell you. No, no, no. There's a legit bird that just landed right next to me, and then the bird landed. that's amazing. That bird just came right next to us. Well, the bird wanted some uh, table service. Not, not a bad move by that bird. I'm gonna say hi to some chat real quick, and we'll uh, see what everyone else thinks here in the chat about these opinions that we've had about Stephen resorts. Noon. Coming in clutch, knowing the names of places. Steven who knows it all. Uh, That's Victoria why he's the Falls. MVP. Victoria Falls is the waterfall bar in Animal Kingdom Lodge, for those who want to know. Uh, WWPOV says we need to guess uh, the number of steps Pete is going to take today. Yeah, that's a good call. Pro a good amount. I would, I would say I told them to remind me at the end of the stream because I'm wearing an Apple Watch. There you go. So my step counter might be a little bit more accurate than the phone that's on the gimbal. Also, I love that Tomorrowland Traveler responded to WWPOV. It's very funny if you know what's going on, and you should subscribe to both of those channels. They're great. What's going on? You got to find out, or you got you to get funny in there. Jokes. Um, wow, a lot of big guesses going in. 48,000 steps, 42,000 steps, 39,000 steps. Um, Pete's tummy. Going to take, uh, uh, Landy over to baseball practice. Well, thanks for hanging out so far. We'll see when you get back. Izzo says, Jamaica have a bobsled team? If they did, I would be there. I'd be feeling the rhythm, feeling the rhyme. We'd be getting on up. What's going on, Moon Rover? Great to see you. Gen V, we're going. Says happy 9,000 stream on a gorgeous Disney day. This I'm working and lurking. We uh, we just passed 9,000 subs. So we're working our way to 10,000 subscribers. Uh, Bar Riva, technically, oh, Stephen Noon is saying, it's technically listed as a lounge where Primo Piatto is the quick service, which we've learned as well. But Primo Piatto is the best, he says. I agree. I mean, the, all the food here is so good. Uh, Lauren is on her way here, so she's going to be visiting us any minute. Oh, how exciting. Yes, she's uh, on her way she over. Look at us while we eat wings. Yeah. There we go. I love it. Uh, Peaches says Riviera is... Who? Look at that. We're going to have a party. Peaches says Riviera is bougie it's and expensive, but once you stay there, it's hard to stay elsewhere. Yeah, last time Peaches was staying here, we all hung out at the pool. Me, actually, Jess from Fort Wilderness. Uh, we had a great time. Do you think the resorts are worth it? Like, yes. like... So this is what I was going to say. Only worth it if I think if you're staying. Or first of all, it depends on your financial situation. If you can afford it, good for you. Yeah. When I was coming down from New York before I lived here, uh, the first time I took Lauren, we stayed at uh, Port Orleans. But I always stayed at like All Stars. But then when we started coming like three or four times a year, we were never in the room, and I was tired of spending hundreds of dollars per night. So we stayed off property. We took a $12 Uber to the parks, and we were in the parks from sunup to sundown, and all we used that room for was to pass out at the end of the night. Um, so we were staying at, you know, nice resorts. We just weren't on Disney property for like $130 a night instead of paying $230 a night on property, and we got an extra 100 bunch a day to spend in the parks. Yeah, over by Disney Springs. Yeah. Cypress is gorgeous. But that's also a little pricey, too. Yeah, the wings. Oh, here comes the food. Oh, it's still on me. Whoops. Honey, chipotle agridolce on top. Oh, yeah, look at that. Fried garlic. Enjoy. Are you trying anything else right now? Those wings are so good. You tell me it looked like that. Yeah, the wings are so good. You can have one of my wings. And then there's the fried arancini balls, which also are so delicious. Whoa. Look you at this. Just your phone off the metal leg in the chair. <laughs> no case. case. No. Yeah, I never would have a case. Wow. All right, let's get into it. Let's get into it. <coughs> we'll let, I'll let Ryan have the first bite. It is Ryan's first time here at Bar Riva, so. And I got to catch up some chat. And I can't do it with a wing in my mouth. 
Yeah, I mean, I don't know if you can touch your screen after these wings. No, but they there are sticky wings. wings. I do love for the wings. Some cold towels. They do provide washcloths that are uh, beautiful, moist towelettes, but they're legit and they're nice and cold. It's wonderful. Yeah. Uh, Colleen asked if this is the place that has the garlic parm fries that Lauren likes. Yes, it is, which is why we didn't order any, because if she sees them, she'd be very upset. Lauren's on a very strict diet right now. She's doing this thing called 75 Ooh. Hard. Yeah, aren't they delightful? They are. They got every flavor. I don't know why I just used the word delightful, but they just came to my mind when I thought about them. Delightful. They're delightful. <laughs> they are splendid. Nice to see so Cargo and Dawn in the chat and S uh, CJL. Uh, Dawn does know that all of my accents do lead eventually to Jamaican. I can start out as Scottish. I can start out as English. They all end up Jamaican. Because it just, uh, it's where I'm from. <laughs> What's up, Brianna? Great to see you. Yeah, Dawn says he's Irish Jamaican. That's right. You, you know she can hear you, right? You know, that's not like I'm on mics, like everyone can hear everything you're saying. <laughs> Look who it is. Hey, babe. How are you? Lauren's here. Not great. Lauren, we didn't order fries just for you. You can sit here. I'm about to take a lot of way to do that. All right. What? You can have whatever you want. We got sticky wings. Because I know you like the smell of wings, but you don't eat them. What a crew we are assembling. Look at this. We got Marquita here, Steve and the kid, Ryan, Lauren. Farris just went to take a lap. He's going to go record some stuff. He's working on an awesome TikTok. Steven's editing. Farris is recording. Farris hugged me and I was like, ooh, I'm sweaty. I know. Well, you also just finished the workout. How was it? Where was lovely. Which route did you do? How was it? around the boardwalk and a little bit by Swan and Dolphin. Too loud. Very nice. It was nice. I'm gonna put the only. Oh my gosh, it's still on me. I'm so sorry. Yeah, like, what time are you at? We're almost there. Do you remember what day it was when we did the tour of Art of Animation? Because it was you had already started 75 Harvard. I thought it was in the beginning. Month. All right, so there you go. You two are on camera, by the way. Great. All right, here, I'll put it over on Lauren while you're wings. eating wings. <laughs> I'm eating wings and I have a mustache. Lauren, tell everybody about 75 Hard. All right. Uh, 75 Hard. Go ahead, keep going. I'm very proud of you. We got wings. That's why I'm having you talk so I can eat wings. <laughs> yeah, talk about anything you want. I'm eating wings. Um. Those are good, right? They're so good. Look at <laughs> look at kid's face. He's like, these are good. It's got like it's got like a little bit of everything. Like, I was gonna say, I get a little heat, a little barbecue, a little smoke, but there's like this sweetness. Mm -hmm. There's a little bit of tartness in it. Yeah. The kitties are gonna have some competition over here. No doubt. Lauren's having half a quest bar. Hooray! To be fair, it's the same price at Disney. But she's on day 56. She's so close. Yeah. 
So we'll be so, celebrating until Sace de Mayo. No, I can't just, I'm working. Don't tell you never going to go do a set of Look at you. So can you have the mint julep from America because it's not alcoholic on May 4th? Oh my gosh. Or every day? Yeah, go ahead. There's no alcohol in whatsoever. But you'd have to count the. Yeah. They're weird. Really? Yeah. Sorry, we're having two conversations on the stream, which is not good for anyone's stream. No, no, no. How was your day at school today? Well, now that kid's gonna fail. <laughs> How dare you stiff a teacher? I just feel like I would have never have done that. Like, oh, okay, that's nice. I was, I was gonna say, like, if I asked a teacher for extra help and then didn't show up after asking for extra help, that teacher would definitely hate me. Like a no call, no show to a to a to a to an extra help. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like, you have to. It's not like you're like required. You're asking a teacher to stay late, work extra time. Yeah, it's nice that he let you know. Um, I don't, I use non-licensed music for my TikTok. That's why I asked what your editor you use. So I don't use the TikTok editor. I edit in a separate app that has all non-licensed music, or I should say free music to use. And then I pick that and I put it on YouTube shorts, TikTok and everything else. Or reels or whatever. Yeah. You're, you're smart to put it everywhere because it works on all fronts. And it's weird because something will crush. Like something that does terrible on YouTube will like crush on TikTok. And something that does awful on TikTok will crush on YouTube shorts. You can have that. Go for it. Okay. Everyone's saying hi. What is my TikTok? My TikTok is Adventures by Carney, just like this channel. Um, Faris also has a TikTok, Faris Films. And then we were talking earlier about Steve and the Kid with two eyes. We're going to keep it on Lauren because she's the prettiest. And it's better than my face. But I'm going to read some chat. Uh, everyone says hi, Lauren. David says hi. Oh, that's right. Dawn, I forgot about the last time we were here at Riviera. We also hung out in the hot tub. Uh, me, Jess, Dawn, and everyone else in the hot tub here at Riviera after our night at Ogus. That was fun. There's been a few fun times here at Riviera hanging out in the hot tubs late at night. And during the day with Peaches. Huh? Are you this weekend? No. Not for, no, no. I'm going to Savannah. It's our Adventures by Carney weekend. Lauren will be at the events on Friday, I hope. But then Lauren is leaving us Saturday and Sunday to go to Savannah. I know. I'm just letting everyone know. I feel like I'm so sorry. I have this wing stuff over my lips. Sticky wings. It was good. A quality wing. All right. Let's see what else I missed. So we're gonna try to get all caught up here. We're gonna pay the tab. We're gonna keep moving. Thanks to everybody who's watching. If you're coming in late, um, it looks like I'm wearing lip gloss now. But um, we are celebrating. My lip gloss is popping. My lip gloss is cool. We are celebrating 9,000 subscribers with a nine hour stream today, but we are pushing to 10,000. So if you're new, please subscribe. Uh, when we hit 10,000, we're gonna do a 24 hour live stream here at Walt Disney World. Uh, and also please hit the like button. I set a lofty goal of 300 likes. We're at 204 right now. So we're on our way. Fingers crossed. I, I believe in everyone watching. What's the plan? Like, where are you going next? 
So, yes, I was about to say, we've already hit uh, all three All-Stars. We did a deep dive into all three All-Star movies, sports, and music. Then we went over, we did Pop Century, we did Art of Animation, we did Disney Caribbean Beach. So we're at six, and then right now we're over here. So our seventh resort of the day. We're gonna tour this a little bit, and we're gonna hop on the Skyliner, go over to the boardwalk. We're gonna go hit the Beach and Yacht Club, the Swan and Dolphin, the boardwalk, and then from there, we're gonna go hit our next set of resorts. We're just gonna see what time it is at that point before I decide which way I wanna go. We are ending at uh, the Polynesian to watch Happily Ever After on the beach, the Polynesian. Okay. Like, That's uh, Polynesian's our last, our last stop of the day. We well, we just did the contemporary when we did it. So for those who are new to the channel, we just did watching every fireworks in one night live, where we ran from fireworks show to fireworks show, and we watched the fireworks from the contemporary for Happily Ever After. If you missed that stream, we literally went from the contemporary Happily Ever After over to Epcot for Luminous over to Hollywood Studios for Fantasmic. It was a wild night, but we got it done. Definitely worth watching. But so tonight, since we've watched fireworks the contemporary, we're gonna watch fireworks tonight from the beach of the Polynesian where they pump in the music, beautiful views. Uh, and look at that, Kristen just said I followed the TikTok. Thanks so much. <laughs> and also shared your stream. Thank you so much, Kristen. Yeah, yeah Kristen. <laughs> Um, we also were just talking about resorts, so I'm going to just go over what some of the people said about Lauren. What is your favorite resort on property? If you could stay anywhere on property, where would you stay? I was actually just thinking about this before because I was walking past the Yacht, and like that was my like number one that I wanted to stay at. But I think I might switch it to uh, Wilderness Lodge. That's what I said. It was my number yeah. one. Uh, I think I think it I think it changes once you live here too, because like. Beaching out's a super fun place when you're from out of town. And like, we both love, well, when we were out of town, Lauren has new issues with this, but I love Epcot. I love being able to walk in and out of Epcot real quick. Like, if you're staying at Beach Club, you could go in and out of Epcot all day long. Like, here's my wallet. Take all of my money. International Gateway is the best. So the reason Lauren now has issues with Epcot is because living here, you do tend to spend a lot of money when you're at Epcot, which is fine when you're on vacation, but when you live here full time, it is, it's, you're just dropping hundreds of dollars, so. And that's why Lori doesn't go to Epcot as much anymore, because, I mean, you're right, but you could use restraint. I mean, I do pretty well. I mean, we've been on, I mean, last night we did pretty well. What do we, had one snack? Yeah. Yeah. Bye. Animal Kingdom, you do love it, and you've always loved Animal Kingdom. Animal Kingdom. Talk to your friend Ferris, okay? He has issues. It's his least favorite, but the man. Ferris hates Animal Kingdom. He doesn't hate it, it's just his least favorite. Animal Kingdom is my most favorite. I love Animal Kingdom. Animal Kingdom and Epcot are both in my top two, and the only reason that it's close to Epcot is that I love that Epcot changes every day, and I love the live music. Um, but the entertainment at Animal Kingdom is, is unmatched between Festival of Lion King, Finding Nemo. Also, that breakfast sandwich. The breakfast sandwich was very good, the new breakfast sandwich. Yeah, they have a new one. It's nine bucks. It's uh, like eggs, pancakes, a spread. It's like delicious, and it's filling. At Animal Kingdom, they sell it at two. Yeah, we started at two locations. Yeah, because it's like eggs and pancakes and stuff. Yeah. This is so nice. It's just so cold. <laughs> yeah, for the wings. Yeah. This is what I'm saying. This place is the best. I love Bar Riva. Yeah, it's a nice giant big washcloth. I can wipe all the suntan lotion on my face. I put on suntan lotion today. Yeah, crushing it. But now it's all gone. I'm sorry, we're going to get the check and get moving anyway because we, we're running. We got to get, 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 get moving. We got to get moving. So then I'm going to... No, but hang out until we leave. No, I know what I'm saying. I know, but we haven't also toured the Riviera yet. So you can hang out with us at the Riviera, and then you can leave. We can't just let you go now. Uh, yes, uh, our other friend is Steven the Kid. That is correct spelling, Peaches. With two eyes. You get the Peaches? Never. Never. Um, yes. Anyone else want anything else, or should we grab the check? We're good. Do you do any discounts, pass holder, DVC? No. Oh, a really good smile. <laughs> Fun facts. Cast member. They do? 
Uh, we don't have any discounts here right now. I'm sorry. Uh, this is this is this is the Riviera. You're gonna spend thousand dollars a night and get a discount? Today. Honestly, the and the, the oh, so yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, I the wings were reasonably priced too. No, they were, I think they were like fourteen bucks, which isn't bad because those were big wings and we got six of them. Um, what did you think of the risotto balls? Marquita says they were good. She got the risotto balls, the arancini. Arancini, but they're the mushroom arancini, which is why you never got them because you're not a mushroom person, but they're very good. Uh, Rebecca Dolan says, the, my favorite place I've ever stayed is Wilderness Lodge. Uh, Dawn says, I love too many resorts to single one out. I feel the same way. It's like picking children. Um, and mine would probably change based on the time of year and once I've stayed somewhere. I also love, like, I really love Port Orleans, both like French Quarter and Riverside. Love it there. Forest or Wilderness Lodge? You mean Wilderness Lodge? Yeah. But I just guys are yeah, guys are pointing the fireworks, good food. Uh, Peaches also says I love Wilderness Animal Kingdom Lodge. Uh, Riviera wins though, only because the Skyline are so convenient, which I agree. I think having a second mode of transportation is really nice. And again, if you if money is not an option, Riviera is a great spot. Uh, Dawn says convenience wise, Boardwalk's great because then you could walk to two different parks. Which is, yeah, you could walk over there, uh, to Hollywood Studios or into Epcot. Uh, Dawn says Territory Lounge or uh, Wilderness Lodge at Hidden Gem. That's what I was talking about before, uh, Territory Lounge. That's uh, like the little lounge that's yeah. when you're going down the ramp. Yeah. yeah. We did, I think we I went in there with you. We did. This is back when we had Tables in Wonderland because we were going to all the lounges and it was so great and I miss it. If they're going to take away... Fast passes and airport transportation and all this other stuff. They better give us our tables we more back. We're trying to spend more money. Yeah, it costs one hundred fifty dollars, and then we spend more money at bars because we're getting twenty percent off. I'm trying to. I'm trying to help the stock price. Uh, Kristen says she cannot wait another one hundred eighty-seven days, but at least there's a countdown. That's the good news. At least there's a countdown. Uh, M. Cisco says Pete must be from South Jamaica. Yeah, I mean, that area. I appreciate it, y'all. Thank you so much. Absolutely. Um, Farris with his $5 Coke. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> he went to go film. Hey, Shelly. I feel like I don't want, I haven't said hi to Shelly in a while. Uh, Suzanne, I agree. The towel is fabulous. It's a great thing to do for guests. And hi, Alyssa. And look at that. I'm all caught up in the chat. We're ready to rock and roll. Yeah, the towel was fantastic and very necessary. Um, I don't know. Yeah, they have all the towels. Well... Do you want to take the cash and use your card, or just put your card in for whatever's the difference? Uh, yeah, I can put my card in. For yeah. And then Farris owes you uh, six bucks. Very nice. <laughs> I think this shut off. Does that mean I'm fully charged? Uh, probably. Let's see. Hold on. It does it have like the a brick. No, I'm at eighty-four percent. What? It's like a brick. It is. It's a good charger. Yeah, I mean, I miss he, my he charged all of his devices all day long, <laughs> and all of my devices all day long, and all of everything. So, all right. I did a four-day camping festival charge. My watch, my headphones, and my phone every day. He also plugs this into his car before he starts it, <laughs> runs his whole car on it. <laughs> yeah, I uh, actually don't have electricity. I live off-grade. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. This power, my toaster, Everything, my yeah. oven. I'm glad you're here. Lauren's here. I'm glad everyone's here. What a party we're having with Marquita. Kid is here. Ryan. Farris is running around. I think he's running around recording. They want to know what charger it is. Um, it's one of the Anchor ones. Anchor makes free chargers. Uh, Anchor is spelled A-N-K-E-R. I used to have one of these, too. I don't know which model this is. They would like to pay for the shout-out. 
Yeah. 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 With anchor, yeah. <laughs> this is a good one too. Who makes this? I got this off Amazon, and this gives my iPhone four full charges before I have to recharge it. This is a bad. And it's uh, a little thinner. So this is the big one. But this is, I used to have one like this. Two ports, a super speed charger. This is great. This is Ryan's. I used to have one very similar. I went for the thinner model because it fits in my pocket in my bag, and it's also a little bit smaller this way. But, uh. Cash first and then the card. So yeah, we got chargers galore, and I got fuel rods out. I have two fuel rods and chargers out to people everywhere. But if you're just joining us, thank you for, uh, well, if you've been here, thanks for letting us take a quick little food break. We needed it. Uh, we needed to get some, get some, energy. get some energy and yeah, sit refuel. down for a minute, refuel, and head back out. We're gonna give you a little tour of the Riviera, and then we're gonna hop on the Skyline or head over to the Boardwalk area to show you the beach and yacht club, Swan and Dolphin, the Boardwalk and then we'll see where we go from there. We are ending the night, but we are live until 9.45 tonight. Nine hours live. We are finishing the night on the beach at the Polynesian for happily ever after. Do you know there's chargers on here? Chargers? Yeah. That's so nice. Also, uh, since we're uh, always talking about Lauren's 75 hard. Let's keep and, talking. And burn boot camp. Yeah. Uh, I was texting Alessa today to bother her. Oh yeah? Because she's saying that she's trying to get her double on yours. I, I know. That it, they're very easy. No, they're not very easy. It takes a while. I know. I've heard about you, the double under wonder. I've heard all the about it. Double under wonder. But you should see him uh, doing tag team sit ups. It's a lot of fun. Yeah, right. sometimes I just throw the medicine ball oh. the wrong direction. He Or just break into laughter and fall on the floor <laughs> laughing. Yeah. After I throw the ball. But yeah. I PR'd in double unders today. I got a 41. 41 you had 41? 41? Yeah, 41 on Wow. Three. That's incredible. That's more than I've ever done on board. That's unbelievable. Okay. So you can I, sit back down. I mean, to be honest, I've ride. never been unbroken. I've just been a broken person. <laughs> I don't, I don't uh, yeah, I, I haven't very, done I it in a very long time. No, it's fun. I'm very upset. But it was on a core day, and you didn't show up to a core day, so maybe that's why. I don't work core. When we, we did a plank, and then Ryan just at one point made me laugh, but he just goes, I'm so weak. <laughs> It was like, but the plank's hard. Like, we were getting, we were deep. We were doing it for, what was it, like 15 minutes plank. It was yeah, crazy. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. No, it was <laughs> minutes crazy. Yeah, yeah. We were at least 12 minutes into the plank, and uh, that's when it broke. <laughs> I love that. But Ryan always does it too. He goes, I don't do core. <laughs> Come on. You gotta do core. No. I've built up my he core. He is. Up. He's doing great. He motivates Good. me. You worked out today, and I. Um, I worked out today that. before a nine-hour stream. That's great. Yeah, and then uh, I mean we're doing nine hours of walking around basically. Yeah. So that's no, a whole nine-hour. Lots workout. of water. Thank you so much. That's great. Yeah. Appreciate it. Thanks, Chad. You were awesome. Go with some waters to go, or anybody want water to go? Okay. I'm gonna just keep working. I, on this. I have I this and this. What are you drinking? Water. Water. Oh, this is the problem with sitting and eating, which is why I don't do it at Disney, is now I just want to take a nap. <laughs> you have so much time ahead of It's you. just like when you're out in the heat, like when I'm going, I'm, I have no problem just going when I'm going. But then when you stop, it's sleepy time. That's why it's hard for me when I get in the car to drive home because it's like 35, 40 minutes and I'm like, I want to go to bed. Chad. It's good in the morning for you, but coming home it's like... Yeah, sleepy time. Yeah. But I'm very proud of you. Then you come home and you get an exercise in. Gotta do it. Gotta do it. Almost done. Can't even believe it. We just watched, if anyone's looking for a great stand-up special on Netflix, if you're into comedy, what Neil happened? Brennan's new special is awesome. Yeah. yeah, go for it. Does anyone know if Farris lives? Farris is allergic to water, apparently. No, he's doing well Ferris today. That's his. He's had a few waters well, there. He's had a little bit of these, and he's had one. But right now, he's all coked up. Yeah. Okay. On Coca Cola, Steven. Jeez. It's okay. I have one of these. I have one of these. Oh. Energy drinks are coming out of the bags okay. everywhere. No, so ah, a little heart attack sleep so cup. Yeah. yeah. So good for me. It makes me feel good. Aren't you proud of me that I'm not doing an energy drink today? Very proud of you. This is why I'm falling asleep right now. No, you'll be okay. You'll 
Once you get walking and moving, you'll be good. You're full of energy. But see, look. It's got zero sugar. Yeah, because there's all garbage in it. Zero fat. Yeah. I don't think it's garbage. Zero if garbage fueled colors. people, then we'd have a very sustainable society. A transparent label. Let's read some of the actual fun ingredients. Let me see if I can pronounce these. Yeah, exactly. They don't need artificial coloring because it's in a can. You don't. It doesn't matter what it looks it's like. Clear. Yeah, we just look here. Of course, but we're waiting for you. Here yeah, we are. We're ready. Here we go. Let's go. Ferris. We're ready. Ah. Did you get all your filming done? Yeah, but I'll, 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 you'll Ryan six bucks for a Coca Cola. I got The most expensive Coca Cola yeah. ever. Yeah. Yeah. Is it uh, huh? yeah, that was it. Was... Six bucks. Lauren, you know, this is the person that I used to always dominate in basketball. We guarded each other at the Bay Lake Bowlers. You would go for a shot, I just go for it. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, sure. Yeah. We'll go I'm, with that. It's interesting. But I also right. still think it's awful. Just so everyone knows, I want you to see the height difference, and this is who I dominate. What do you use, Ryan? Dominate. He doesn't score. (laughs) But I play defense. Neither did he. No, neither of us scored. I'm not playing defense for what? (laughs) Neither of us scored. (laughs) Got to save all the energy for offense. Isn't there like 500 milligrams of caffeine in here? I believe 200. That is insane. There's 200 Celsius. But I like that there it's Carna Pure. That's just because it's similar to Carney. Yeah, that's fun. It's because they take a little bit of my blood and put it into the energy drinks, and everyone's able to go. All the stats. All right, should we go toward the Riviera? It's not good. It's not good. It's great. Let's move. As far as other concerns, let's do it. Hey, Ferris, do you want your Yeah. Well, thank you, Bar Riva, for a beautiful meal and experience. We're heading back out. We are at Disney's Riviera Resort, if you're just tuning in. Here is the main pool area. There is a gelato bar inside, a nice big pool area, big water slide, a splash pad for the kids. We'll show you the adult area over here. We're going this way. Primo Piatto is the quick service. It is fantastic. I would say also probably the best quick service on property. We've been calling Bar Riva the best quick service, but... This place is so good. Just This is a quick service at Disney. Tell me this isn't ridiculous. Yeah, but just, I mean, this is it. This is where it's at. I mean, what quick service at Disney has decorations like this on the table? It was pretty fancy. This is nicer than almost everyone's apartment in Orlando. <laughs> <laughs> you get yourself some fresh coffee. They got the Coke Freestyle machines. So funny you should ask. They have a spicy Italian sandwich. They have uh, ham and cheese sandwiches, burgers, chicken sandwiches. They have all kinds of salads, a tuna niçoise, the Greek salad, the vegetable skewer, the margarita pizza. That grilled chicken sandwich is so good though. Everyone, it, it, it is the greatest grilled chicken sandwich on property. They also have some snacks, some croissants, some baked goods, wee oui, wee. Oui. More of a breakfast area, and they also have some grab-and-go options, too, if you want to grab something quick, eat by the pool. And they have snickerdoodles. All right. (laughs) We're heading outside to go back inside. They have a bocce court. They got Connect Four. They have the swings, the chess, the checkers. What I love too is the last time we were here, they had uh, just Disney characters roaming around out here, which was was super fun. Yeah, Yeah. bocce, you ever play bocce? Oh man, you're missing out, I wish there was more time, but you throw the Bellini, which is uh, this little white ball. So let's say you throw it down the other end, right? right? You have to try to get your color ball as close to the Bellini as possible, but you keep knocking each other further away. Wow. Oh I mean, the Watch form, I didn't get it on camera, Watch but. Just pause. Ah, see? Honestly, pretty close. That was. Uh, Not bad. Where's, where's the green one? Let me see if I can get this. All right. I don't know if you get points deducted for bouncing off the back wall, though. Oh, for real? I don't know. No. I'm just making stuff up. No, Normally, there's not a back wall. When we're I'll hit it. After that. Oh, baby, we're is inside. That, is that same? So I'm closer, so right now I would be winning. 
Wow, he's going way. I don't know. It's a bold strategy, Cod. Let's see how it plays out. Not even close. So you throw again until you come in, until you're inside of me. Until, well, right. until you are the closest. No, I'm going the same way. I'm yeah, you might hit your own ball closer. No. Still, you. I don't got any more. You got. You should have one more. Is that it? Oh, that's it. So I'm the champ. But I'll throw these down there for the next person. Just being awesome. Now oh, watch. I'm just gonna park them all right there. Watch this off the wall right in front. See, that's what I was trying to do. There's Look at that. Ball. That is yeah, sexy. Cheated, right? well, listen, I'm, don't be mad. This is just like basketball. But also, I'll tell you what. It's your first time you're playing, so we'll give you a little bit of grace. They do have the rules here as well if you're learning the game. Let's go inside and check out the beautiful lobby before we go hop on the Skyliner. By the way, Topolino, the restaurant we've been talking about, is up on the top floor on this side of the resort. Uh, everyone that I have talked to has nothing but nice things to say about it. I have not been yet, though, so I can't give you a personal review. There's only three restaurants at Disney I've not gone to. It's on the list. Thank you. No problem. Congratulations. Thank you. Friends. There they are. So while we're down here, before we go up to the lobby, down here is where you could find the recreation room where they have uh, a lot of fun activities you could do all day long. They call it the event the room. So there is a Skyliner scavenger hunt, which we're going to do on a future stream. Uh, I forgot who was telling us about that, but that's awesome. And then they have arts and crafts here in this room all day long, painting on the Riviera on Thursdays from 1 to 3, which we've done. And that painting hangs in our bedroom because Lauren likes it. <laughs> uh, they also have a mosaic here. Daytime trivia on Tuesday. I did paint it. Oh, geez. So here's your... Rec room where you can do all these fun things. They got mosaics. Look how cool these are. Painting on the Riviera. This is the one that we were just talking about. 55 bucks. But there's lots of other arts and crafts you can do as well here at the Riviera. Decorate some glasses and ceramics. You can make your own Skyliner. Oh, that's fun. You can make your own Skyliner. So they have the small ceramic, a canvas, animation cells, coasters, a large ceramic, sugar scrubs, tumblers, wine glasses, steel. Andrew. What's up, Andrew? I'm Pete. <laughs> Welcome to the stream. It's Andrew, everyone. And they have a little lounge area. That's Lauren. Nice and all the tables. Also, it's not done yet, but So that is the eventy room. If you're ever here at the Riviera, or if you're stopping by, you don't have to be a resort guest to go do some arts and crafts. You can just come on in and do them, like I have here on the stream. We're going to head up the stairs. Look at these beautiful views. The Skyliner to the right. You got the bocce court over there, the main lawn. Look at this crew we got now. So that we've grown from me and Ryan. We got Faris, Lauren, Marquita, Andrew, and Kid. We're growing, and I think there's still more to join. We're making friends wherever we go. So this is your main entrance. If you were to come in the front, this is where you get dropped off by your buses, your Ubers. You come in here, your check-in area, your lounge. They have La Boutique, a very fancy little store here at the Riviera. Let's go check it out. This is a DVC property, so you see a lot of Disney Vacation Club stuff inside. A little bit smaller than other stores, but bougier stuff. Bougier. And then also they have a much larger collection in their yeah. freezers, fridges and freezers. Also, I love this. This is so cool. I've never seen that piece of artwork. Oh, yeah. I believe I saw it at the Festival of the Art a couple years ago. I kind of want to get it for Robert D. Ryan? What's this? She wants to cheers you. No, he won't drink coffee. <laughs> I 
Then they have Le Petit Café, a great spot. This is where I've got, uh, I've come and grabbed some espresso in the morning. But you have a little coffee shop, and they have some beers as well, and some cocktails. You can do a limoncello margarita here, a rosemary blood orange old fashioned. I didn't even know they made that. That's crazy. Pomegranate paradiso. You would think they would have an espresso martini on this. I'm tripping. I think they do. I can't read. They have to. Oh, we're going in there for sure. Look at these desserts. I just want to find out. Honestly, they look almost fake. I like I like this one right here. That that one's looking good. Like that is the trois chocolate. You have the seasonal cheesecake, the honey pistachio entremet, the orange coffee ganache tart. <laughs> yes, yes. Oui, oui. I'm pretty sure that's possible. Chris, there's no way you guys don't have an espresso martini, right? See. Oh, is it the, like the Jamaican? Okay, the cold brew martini. Got it. I just I couldn't find out. How gotcha. The There's an elderflower spritz. Honestly, that rosemary blood orange old fashioned sounds amazing. But yeah, not just coffee, some cocktails. But really, I'm with Ryan. The room I love is you walk through here, and there's this cool little library, hangout lounge. I gotta keep my voice down. Oh, I love it. The old Mickey. I know. It makes me want to be quiet and it makes me want to work on something important. They call it the Voyager's Lounge. And then you have old pictures of Walt on the wall. I love this so much. Walt was an avid traveler. That's a great pick of Walt. This looks just like he's in France at Epcot. There's Walt and his wife, Lily. Oh, All yeah. right. More great pictures of Walt. Here's Walt at SeaWorld. <laughs> That's Walt at the opening of the new penguin uh, poster. <laughs> and then if you were heading up to Topolino uh, or heading down to Premio Piatto, you could use these elevators right here to the right. But lots of gorgeous artwork. Look at that view of the castle. And they also have water fountains and the water bottle refill station here as well, where they've 54,000. So this, this is the Voyager's Lounge, it's kind of like the work lounge. Like a, oh, okay. Nice, nice little spot next to the coffee shop or cocktails. Happy birthday. Oh, thank you. Uh, by the way, this little coffee shop and cocktails and desserts open from 7 in the morning to 9 at night. Let's head on out this way. Also, what's nice on either side of the stairwell, they have these little plaza balcony areas. I'll show you the one on this side since there's no one on this end. You can kind of just come out, relax, and take in the beauty of Disney's Riviera Resort. We just came from Primo Piatto. You can see the bocce board. A couple of games out on the lawn. You can see the chess board. They have a uh, resort map there. And then this is the adult or quiet pool. You can see right now, super quiet. But people just hanging out. There's also a couple of hot tubs in there as well. They're kind of hidden right behind this bush. It's like right over here. But they have the loungers, a couple of little spots in the shade. Beautiful pool area. And we are going to walk straight through that gap. There's two beautiful mosaics. And we're going to head to the Skyliner, which is right through that wall. But you can see the Skyliner right here. We're going to be heading a different direction, though. We've already traveled that away. We are heading towards Epcot. But we're not going in. <laughs> Thanks again for hanging out. I hope you're having a good day. Nine hours. Here we go. To the Skyliner. You know, so you should just at least. No, no, teacher things. Teacher things? Yes. All right, teacher things.
I know, we gotta head to the Skyliner. Where'd you park out this way? Okay, let's go that way. Let's go to the Skyliner. Yep. Headed to the Boardwalk Resorts. We're gonna go do Beach and Yacht Club, Swan and Dolphin, and the Boardwalk Resort itself. We are staying live until 9.45 tonight, celebrating 9,000 subscribers with a nine hour stream. They also have a nice fitness center here as well. It goes from here all the way over the Athletique Fitness Center. Oh, uh, well, you can kind of see it. It's beautiful. And it lasts, goes all the way over here. You can see they also have the, Lauren, look at these. Lauren, which has free weights. You, they have bars, they have waters. Yeah, hey, let's, let's, get, let's get a quick couple sets in here real quick. Yeah, let's do it. I, well, I, we already worked out today. Going to every gym I have twice, but I'm like... Do you call walking around Magic Kingdom? Um, also, these restrooms are also <laughs> locker rooms. They have full showers and lockers if you want to go in and shower, change, and get ready for the parks. Look at this beautiful group. What was today's education about? Savings. About what? Savings. Savings? Oh, yeah. Importance of water in your body. And now we're talking about water. I know. I heard. So I moved on. Ferris does save for, like, the next occasion and then spends it and then saves again. We're just trying to be, Like, he saved up and now he's going to have a sick resort next weekend and then he'll be broke again and then he'll save again. And then I'll be broke and then I'll be broke. See, my dad follows me in Trinidad and then Andy Barbados as well. I said, how does he not take me to Trinidad? <laughs> Unbelievable. I want to go to Trinidad. One of my favorite mosaics. So I know. I love these two mosaics. So, fun little fact. A lot of people don't know that these two mosaics exist. But when you're going towards the Skyliner from the Riviera or exiting, and again, you don't have to be a guest here. If you get off at the Skyliner here at the Riviera, they have these two beautiful mosaics that go up and over. The first one from Tangled. You can see the lanterns. At last, we see the light. And these are tons of tiny little tiles. Which make up this gorgeous mosaic. And then, Peter Pan over here, Lauren's favorite. What happened? And there's a little bridge which connects where you can see both. For those of y'all that don't know, anybody that uh, takes pictures for Instagram, this is a picture spot, you know what I'm saying? That's what you were just saying. <laughs> for anyone who doesn't have eyeballs. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, just like that. That's what everyone does. A big, a big surprised face. Yeah. Peter Pan. What does this mean? It means they're uh, happy to be there. Look at this. Look at this. Check it out. See what everyone's talking about. Uh, so just so you get an idea of where we are, here's the Riviera Resort. Right now we are walking to the Skyliner, so we're right here. We went through the mosaics, which is right over here. There was that adult pool we showed you. There was the main pool, here's that splash pad. We ate at Bar Riva, which is over here. And we did this walk from Caribbean Beach. And then we showed you the lobby here. Uh, I'm sorry, the food area here and the lobby here. The rest of rooms, which uh, we can't go into because we are I'm not a guest here today, sadly. But it is an absolutely gorgeous resort. A little bit pricey but absolutely gorgeous. Next up, we're headed to the boardwalk area. We're gonna take the Skyliner. Lauren, where'd you go? That way or that way? Okay. So, were the wings 10 out of 10? Yeah. 
Nine point two. <laughs> Lauren's just trying to change his life. <laughs> All right, so if you enter the Skyliner this way, you're heading to Hollywood Studios. If you want to go to Epcot, we got to go the other way. So we are heading this way. I like that Lauren is telling everyone here they have to listen to what she says, and I live with her. <laughs> And that's when he said 85%. Can I listen to 85%? He's like, I'm still going to have to say Isn't it so beautiful? I say that all the time. I say, look how gorgeous this is all the time. <laughs> so there it is. We just left the Riviera. Disney's Caribbean Beach. All around the rest of the water here. You see Club Wyndham in the background. That's one of the Bonnet Creek resorts. And it's a job you like. And we're going to go hop on this skyline. They're going that way because we want to head towards Epcot, which will get us to the boardwalk. We're not going to go into Epcot right now. Because today we're trying to hit as many resorts as we can. We've already done seven. So we're going to go ahead to 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Sorry. He's got a big water bottle now, too. Yeah, I'm proud of that. Yeah, I go through that almost every single night. And if I don't, then I go through at least half of it. So let's see the Skyliner times for today. For Hollywood Studios, well, for all the resorts, they open at 7.30 in the morning and they run to 10.30 at night. We got a little bit of a line here. All right, Lauren. Thanks for visiting. Lauren saying goodbye. The rest of us move on. Lauren's a busy woman. See you later. Thanks for coming to visit us on our nine hour stream. Six more to go. Yep. I should be home by, I should be home Monday night. Love you. See you later. I'll be home by Monday night. That's her dream. Yeah, I know. little bit of a line the only issue with the Riviera headed to Epcot is that anyone who changed the Caribbean Beach or that's coming from Art of Animation Hollywood Studios Pop Century or Caribbean Beach Station they kind of have the right away if the Skyliner cars are full there's nothing we can do uh, if it is super busy times of the day like end of the day early in the morning they will max out the cars they will put you with other people but in the middle of the day like right now they're gonna wait and give you your own car. So we're waiting for the empty cars to fill in with everyone that's here. Everybody gets one car to themselves? No, your party. So like right now, like if we're two, four, six of us, they'll put six of us in one. But if this was like in the morning and there was only two people in a car, they'd say two and six, eight of you in there. But they'll keep you and your group together right now in the middle of the day. During peak hours, they're packing everybody in. So let's learn more about Andrew. How do you know uh, Steve and the kid? Well, we want to know how you know him first. Okay. I don't, I don't like that Cheesecake Factory because it's not attached to the mall. And it scares me. It's, it's a lot of options. A lot of options. No, it's got to be attached to another building. It can't be a standalone. It scares me. I know a lot of standalone Cheesecake Factories. Summer House on the Lake together. Oh, nice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We were there opening day. You can go catch that stream here on the channel as well. Summer House on the Lake opening day. Really nice spot. Nice California fair over at Disney Springs over on the West End. Cookie bar, man. The cookie bar. People love the cookies from over there. Giving Gideon's a run. Oh, yeah, nice. We've been giving them a run. What they was 
Look at look at kid representing as if he owns like stock in Summer House. Like he's like, you know, we're way better than Gideon's. Are you on the website? Wow. Let's see. Pull it up. Let's pull it up. Got it? Oh. Go to the website, click on Disney Springs. Oh, that's Disney Springs right there. And then, woo! Wow! Oh, thank God they cover you up. Oh, no, never. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And then you got to click this on guy. make the reservation. Oh, wow. wow. So this is why they're saying it might possibly close. <laughs> Already? <laughs> they put Steven on the website. No one can make a reservation. Nobody wants to touch his face. <laughs> Everybody, sometimes. Six. Ooh, like, 007. Like, like, uh, like you're that guy. It is a good pick. Do they uh like tell you what to wear for that? No, I just you're just rocking the denim that day. It's we a had good a media team come in to specifically update website's photos. Wow. Our uh, manager, she asked me what, he, what I think we should have wore as hosts because it was like cold at the time. So I was here we go. Party of six. Have a great day. Thanks, Carlos. Up. Oh. Is it okay? We joined okay. it? It's okay. Okay, we're all friends. Sorry, hi. Are you okay to be on camera? <laughs> we're gonna end the camera that way. This is like my second time riding the Skyliner. What? I love the Skyliner. I like how it's two for y'all and three of us. Yeah. You rode it before? Yeah. You've never ridden the Skyliner? No, it's only the second time. I love the big people's out on the side. That's right. That way, when we come in that crash landing, we're good on this end. Yeah. <laughs> I know. I feel bad. Sorry, we we crashed your Skyliner. He put us on. Yeah. We tried. He said you got it. Yeah. We had no choice. You forgot you were scared of heights. Yeah. How do you walk around? He lives in the heights. <laughs> Do you, to, I don't go do you want me to sing you a song? Yeah, go ahead. Little Steven, we're not that high at all. Don't look. <laughs> <laughs> and if you look down, like, we might fall. <laughs> so if we fall, is because I look down? So yes, <laughs> don't do it. 100%. <laughs> There's no reason no you to be afraid. afraid. If you get scared, Ferris will come to your aid. She's like, she's like, I have plans. <laughs> nope, I want to meet my people. Just stick with us and follow the plan. I'm looking straight ahead. If you need, Marquita will hold your hand. Now the highest point is 60 feet. Now the highest point is 60 feet and over by Caribbean Beach. This isn't even that high. Oh, for real? It's over there. This is, this is actually not even that tall. I can tell. What do we think is worse, hitting the ground or hitting the water? Oh, definitely ground. Water will absorb your shock. Yeah, I'm cool with the water. The right height is concrete. Yeah, but it's still. Most forty feet. Yeah, but 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 you know what's like concrete? Concrete. He's not scared of heights. He's a little worried about it. No, he's not. Hey, when are we going to Tower Throwing it? Five minutes to never. I yeah, got I'll go you. ahead. I'm going to go get some chicken tenders and fries over there. I'll meet you all come down. What about um, if you were hired? What if they said, hey, listen, for one night only, you get to do the ride Tinkerbell does out of the Ooh. out of the castle. Would you do it? Do I get what she gets paid? Yeah, you get fourteen dollars an hour, okay. and it's a <laughs> and it's a twenty second ride, so you're gonna get like a, a dollar. I gotta put on the green stuff and everything. Yeah, we have to. <laughs> also, yeah, I hate to break it to you, but how are we gonna see you in the middle of the night flying across the sky? <laughs> <laughs> you gotta wear the green. <laughs> All we would hear is just a loud man crying across the line. No! <laughs> yeah, you gotta wear the neon green. Spandex. Would you, but you wouldn't want to do it? I feel like everybody would want to do that once. Maybe once. If I knew for sure 100%, like, I'm like, like someone's nope. gonna catch you? Yeah, like, then, yeah. Like, 
Get a oh yeah. Let me let me get let me just let me get this straight. You think that all the Tinker Bells are like I'm only doing it if there's a 100 percent chance? Of course it's safe. It's not like they're like listen, Tink. Tonight's a 50-50. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> like I know we hired you last minute yeah. because we uh we lost the last one. Hey We're Tink, uh, good and bad news. Uh, something's not right with the wire, but you should be fine. You're still flying tonight, regardless. Yeah. yeah. You still weigh under 95 pounds, right? Okay, you'll be fine. I feel like people would pay to do that. You wouldn't even a hundred percent. There would be a waiting. You could make that a thousand dollars. Be a waiting list for months. Here's what I want to do. I want to do a Disney Plus show where I do all extreme stuff at Disney. Like, would you bungee jump off of Tower of Terror? Like, I would love to do that. He's like, I'm not even going. I would love. I would love to like attach like a carabiner to the line for the Skyliner and just like. Try and zip line it. Zip line the Skyliner. I do want to see how tall it is being on top of the Epcot ball, like how they have Mickey on. Uh, oh, the yeah. Screen. Well, that would terrify you. If you're afraid of heights, oh, that yeah, no, would I be would the probably... scariest thing. Yeah. yeah. You're yeah. going to be 200 feet in the air. Knee shaking. I mean, you're over six foot, so you're going to be 206 feet in the air. Six foot by 206 four inches by into the air. Well, that. the ball's got to be under 200 or else there's a red light. So... <laughs> so we gotta shrink you down a little bit. What what uh what is, do you think is the scariest ride you've ever done? Like ever in any theme park? What oh, about like any theme park? Yeah, like any roller coaster, uh, any theme park? In in uh, Texas in San Antonio, uh, Six Flags has a ride called the Iron Rattler, and it's like a either forty five or ninety degree drop. It, Very big angle would differences. Ninety would be straight up and down. Ninety would be straight, straight up and down. down. Ninety, yeah, so, 90 so you should go straight down. Yeah, like you go all the way up and then it's just there's like, gotta be some like some English so 45 is like a yeah, playground yeah. slide that's acute <laughs> <laughs> no no look it up Iron Rally right? also acute would be less I've, I've been on roller coasters with 116 degree drops <laughs> there you go man you're welcome you're, you're upside down you're welcome what is uh what's Sorry. the angle on a rip ride rocket Going up is 90. Going up straight up 90, up right? 90, yeah. And then going down is like what, you think? 70 something? Yeah. Porch 70 or 80. Yeah. yeah. Rip ride isn't that bad, though. A lot of people oh, if you can do rip ride, then you're not really that afraid of heights. No, Because that's not a height. That's just. You got music going on. You but got, can you do like. Uh, time out. Well, if you about, just said that's not really heights, it is. You're actually going up about, into the air. What about Miko? Miko is I like that you're like, I'm not afraid of heights if there's music. Uh, <laughs> You're like, heights? oh, there's music going on, so I'm not afraid of heights. No, that one's heights. That Do you like heights. airplanes? Yeah. I, I bring That's my music. High. All right. Oh. <laughs> yeah. So really, music. we figured out you can do any heights as long as there's music. Yeah, we just got to get you some AirPods. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. As long as there's music. That's music. why I was trying to sing you a song when we got on this. So <laughs> Keep you calm. And it worked. Right? She's like, what channel are y'all on? I yeah. do not Shut know what this is. So, so all we got to do is not take you on Tower of Terror, but take you on um, Anything uh, else Guardians over well, in California. I was going to say, because there's music on the one in California. He'll yeah. be fine. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> You're like, hey, hit me with your best shots playing. You're like, this is a great ride. Yeah. This is awesome. It'll take my mind off of like what's really going on. And, like, <laughs> yeah, nah. But the thing that helps me get on some rides sometimes is I'll see like a little kid smiling at me. I'll be like, man, if he so I, used to, anybody, I used to do that with Lauren and it never worked. I'd be like, Lauren would be like, when we first came down, she wouldn't do like a lot of rides and she would like start crying. And I would, I didn't, I didn't try to bully her, but I'm like, Lauren, do you see that six year old laughing coming off of the ride? You're older than that. Like, you'll be okay. This ride runs all day long, 365 days a year. You're going to be all right. It didn't work. We're actually the key to getting her on every ride, which she's done now every ride. Believe it or not, just being nice and accepting her decision. And I was like, all right, you don't have to do it. Then she'd be like, all right, I'll do it. You tricky. It. Here. Tricky, well, tricky. It was her decision. Exactly. I'm learning. I'm growing as an adult. All right, here we are. This is us. Everyone, let's go. Hooray. Thanks. All right, our next stop, even though we're so close to Epcot, we've been here a lot this month and we'll be back this week. So instead of going left, we're gonna make a right and head to the Yachts and Beach Club, first being the Beach Club, then the Yacht Club. 
Then we're gonna go show you Swan and Dolphin. Work our way back. Go ahead, you can scan it. You know where we'll be. I'm on YouTube. A Viking coffee is so far away. Thanks again for hanging out with us. I hope you're having a fantastic Tuesday. I can't believe it's already six o'clock. We got under four hours left. We've officially passed the halfway point of our nine hour stream celebrating 9,000 subscribers. Thank you so much to everybody who subscribed and thanks to everybody who is subscribing today. I really appreciate it. We're on the road to 10,000. When we hit 10,000, we're doing 24 hours live. So that'll really dwarf this nine hour stream today. But we're having a good time. We're mixing it up. We normally do a lot of the parks. We're here pretty often. So I thought it would be fun to try and do as many resorts as possible today and utilize all of the Disney modes of transportation. Have a lot of friends here today. It's going really well. And you're here. So thanks for hanging out with us. No matter where you're watching from, I appreciate it. Uh, I love the fact that uh, we're only watching about by 80% or so from the United States and the rest is international. So big shout out to everyone around the world watching, but also everyone around the country as well. It means a lot. If I could ask you a big favor, we haven't hit the like button yet. That would be really awesome. And if you want to follow some of the fun we have when I'm not live streaming, you can follow my social media. My Instagram is at official Carney. My Twitter is at your WDW guy. My TikTok is Adventures by Carney. We have an awesome Discord full of amazing people. That is also Adventures by Carney. You can use that from your phone or computer. And we have a website, adventuresbycarney.fun. That's also where you can find a bunch of fun stuff. The links to everything I talked about, our channel sponsor, SJG3 Collectibles, our itinerary for our awesome meetup this weekend, which is very exciting. Starting this Thursday, we'll have a bunch of friends in town. Everyone is welcome and invited. Yeah. A Surrey bike? Why do I feel like I'd be doing all the work? Me and Ryan. Yeah. <laughs> I feel like Steven would be in the back, like, faster, faster, like, like yeah. Santa. Wait, we would feel his feet yeah. come up in between us. He would yeah. be like, on Ryan, on Peter, on Marquita and Ferris. Andrew too. <laughs> We'd be like, we're going as fast as we can. Ferris would have to sit in the little children. We would have to pull Marquita on skates behind us. I'm here for it. <laughs> Actually, I, could probably skate I was going to say, Marquita could probably pull us on skates faster than us pedaling. Yeah. For those who don't know, Marquita, a world champion speed skater. All right, a national champ. National. National champ. What skating? Yeah. On ice or on? A world on roller. A world qualifying. International qualifying. qualifying speed skater. Like the same as world. It is. Yeah. It's amazing. So is, so is um, scootering. That's crazy. Power walking. Hear me out. How much cooler would it be if you saw the speed uh, walking event around the world showcase? Like if they just, I'm okay fun. with it. Like, you know, like you can't have two feet. Like you. Like it's like specific. You can't run. Yeah, you have to have like one foot planted. <laughs> yeah, you can't roll your feet. Nope. I'm pretty sure the only rule is you have to like your guard, like trying to get to a bathroom without anyone knowing. You have yeah. to be like, ooh, ooh. You know what? You, you have to do it with the rules, though, bro. You can skip like nobody's business. You can skip the path and skip right there. Ooh, really? Brian. Yeah. Who could have skipped it? Internationally recognized skipper. Yeah. And not on a boat. And you can speed walk faster than you can skip. I guarantee you that's wrong. We are now at the beach club. They got a cool little beach volleyball set up over here. Beautiful beach. You can see the boats, look across the water at the boardwalk. They do a movie under the stars here at night. And also we're approaching Stormalong Bay, which is one of the coolest pool areas on property. It's shared by beach and yacht. You do need to be staying on property to get in. It's not even close. They keep somebody right up front to give you a wristband to check your room key because it's super cool. There's a lazy river, a sand bottom pool, zero entry, and this giant water slide, which goes across the sidewalk. You can see the tube right here. And I believe there's about to be a contest. You guys are about to do what? I don't even know. So you're speed walking and Ryan's skipping? 
All right, this looks like a 25 yard dash. Uh, Andrew will be representing the Speedwalkers. Ryan will be representing the Skippers. Let me get a bunch of Speedwalkers in the chat. Hold on, let's wait for it. I'll call, wait, we'll call it in one second, wait. All right, ready, on your mark. Make sure you tap the hand. Oh, you got one but coming up behind you. On your mark, get set, go. Oh, you're not walking like you want to win. <laughs> Ryan, yeah, I think only took five skips. See, now let's see if I skip and I beat you. Okay, I mean, I'm, I'm still holding back. All right, you can skip back to the garbage pail. Yeah, let's go to the garbage pail. Ready? On your mark, get set, go. Oh, skip, yeah, skip, skip. This is the funniest contest I've ever seen, ever. This is hysterical. Honestly, how do we not turn this into a short? You and me? No, I'm not muted. We're watching this. No, this so is live. You and me skipping? Oh, I'm not skipping at all. I'm watching. I'm filming. <laughs> no. <laughs> I just love the enthusiasm between both of you, really giving it your all in the skip. <laughs> the campfire is starting soon. You can come roast some marshmallows down here. It's pretty remarkable. Let's go into the beach club, see what it looks like. Let's go have a good time. We used to uh, start a lot of our streams over here. We start at Boardwalk now. <laughs> but uh, we'll give you a quick little tour of the beach and yacht. No cap, I've never been in here. Wow, first time. Kids never been in the beach club. Welcome. Thank you, sir. It's got a very, the reason I think Lauren likes it too, it's got a very like Long Island vibe. This is a Long Island by a lot of beaches. Yeah, that's where we're from. Wow, you are bringing your A game today. Hey, man. Yacht and beach club, you just said. <laughs> we're going to do the beach club, then we're going to do a little yachty. Dang, Lil Yachty? Just a little Yachty. Not a big boat. <laughs> no boat. Just a little Yachty. <laughs> no, he got stranded on an island. I believe it was a sandbar. I, I don't know if the name of the show was Gilligan's Island. Do 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 do. Oh, I missed it. What is it? I want to see it. Oh, it's a good shirt. Nice work, pal. All right, here we are at the beach club. So we're going to go a little backwards to go forward because there's one of my favorite areas to hang out at this way here at the beach club. So here's your main lobby check-in, beautiful lobby, Cape May Cafe. We're going to come back here. We're going to go kind of out of the way and back because I want to show you a little hidden gem here at the beach club. One, this is your fuel rod swap right here. Yeah. And follow this whole way. Like I said, there's a Disney Cruise Line model at every moderate and deluxe resort. So this is the marketplace. Uh, there's an entrance right there, but also another entrance here on the right where you can go in, grab all the other stuff that we've seen in all the other stores. Yep. Stop it. <laughs> Nobody. Shh. Everyone be cool. There's a baby sleeping in that stroller. Nice job. Thank you, sir. Nice work, pal. Of course, bud. So there's a little hangout area here. Cute little seats for the kids. Nice little area. A beautiful spot right here. But I like this walkway over here. Oh. Nice lawn. So straight through those doors that you're looking at on screen, that's where that marketplace is. Same as a lot of the stores we showed you today. Last minute items, a couple of Disney merch, some food, some drinks, grab yourself a little item. But these are the Beach Club Villas, a Disney Vacation Club property. And you got a little statue of Ariel. And what's cool about the Beach Club Villas, the reason I took you here is that there's a breezeway to a pool area, we'll show you in a minute, but I like the drafting room and I'm already noticing a major, yeah, look at this, up, oh, someone's on the phone, but there's a pool table 
little lounge, TV, a workspace. Yeah, so they got a pool table in there, cool little hangout. Well, someone's in there working. Also, Pete and I are already pool now. <laughs> yeah. Um, uh, and if you head out here, there's the second pool area. So Stormalong Bay, uh, like I said, one of the hardest pools to get into because it's probably the best pool on property. But over here, yeah, I just, I like this space over here a lot. Like I said, just real cool vibes. You got a little spot. It shows the beach club there. But there's a second pool out here with its own set of restrooms and pool towels and it's nice and quiet, beautiful spot. And it has its own hot tub out here as well. So hot tubs, what? Oh, I'm sorry. It's okay. I'm holding over here, bro, you're good. <laughs> that was all I was showing. There's the pool. I wanted to show the pool, this room, because it's beautiful, and the drafting room in the DVC area because it's awesome. Look at this little nook. Lauren loves this nook. So how many hours do you think a day you spend at your resort? Not having sleep. Well, that's what I'm saying is it depends how many hours you're going to stay. How long your vacation is and what day is. Also, one of the greatest secret restrooms on property. So clean, always empty. As a matter of fact, I'm going to partake. Someone else can take over the stream. Is this called, uh, I'm going to the opera. The opera, I heard that. Oh, yeah, we've graduated from the dentist. <laughs> That's hilarious. <laughs> I wish I could have gotten a picture of that. Um, how does it like Here. extend out? Let me just, uh, let me help you out with that. Q&A. Can we see the chat in this? Or uh, we gotta go in through another phone? You might wanna go through another phone, but look at that. That's a nice That's nice, that's nice. We can go through the chat right now. Hold on, we gonna get a little chat update. Is it muted? Oh, can you hear us? Don't tell me we've been muted for I don't know how to mute things, so I don't think so. Why would you think it was muted? Go check it. I don't hear any sound on those. Let's go see. Is it muted? Nope, oh, it's okay, now we're good, we're good, we're good. Say less. We were just, we were, we, we were doing our, uh, our silent act. Did somebody say margaritas? They all just want us to drink. Shout out to Colleen for posting all the TikToks and the Discord and all that. Is that our Colleen? No. Okay. I was going to say, because we know a Colleen. So, yeah, shout out to her. She's done that. Well, anyways, yeah, yeah. We're just reading some comments. Um, Andrew C says hello. What's up, Andrew? What's up, Andrew C? Yeah, Robert D. You got D. a good name, I do. His name's Andrew, too. Robert D, yes, we did have to use our inside the Grand Floridian voices. We did. I'm sorry. Collectibles rock. I feel like I should go back up. Sorry if we can't respond in the chat because it doesn't pop up right here. But yeah, uh, Stephen the Kid taking over the stream. You know what I'm saying? Resort hopping, nine hour stream. If you weren't from here from the start, <laughs> he said, hey, Aunt Andrew. <laughs> but she's saying, hey, Aunt Andrew C. Yes. I'm Andrew B. Andrew uh. B for Andrew Better. And Colleen, Andrew B can't get can't get a what's up. No, it's okay. It's okay. So what oh, was we're your, up here at 220 likes. 220. That oh, is trying, trying to get to 300. We just need 80 more. Yo, send out the stream if you haven't been watching the whole time. I'm glad you guys are here. Um, shout out to Pete. Shout out to the gang. You know what I'm saying? We're going to keep it rolling. The boardwalk is one of my favorite spots to walk around in. Absolutely. It's, it's one of the best there. smelling resorts. Oh, yeah. It's a nice date spot too, you know what I'm saying? Like mm -hmm. you pull up, go to Abercadabar. You know what I'm saying? I know, I know exactly, yeah, yeah, I know exactly yeah, what you're yeah, talking about. Yeah. I know because I've also fumbled that word a million times. You say it three times really fast. I can't. <laughs> Abercadabra, nope, see? Abercadabra, Abercadabra, Abercadabra. I've never been there before. What? Oh, it's really cool. We're going to go in there. Yeah, we'll, we'll have to walk in at the very least. And drink this. I think I might have seen like videos. You know the, you know the mirror? The mirror? Yeah, the mirror on the way to the bathrooms. Mm -hmm. What about it? So most mirrors, you see a reflection of yourself. Mm -hmm. That mirror, because of the way it's angled, it shows you what you actually look like. <laughs> Bro. Wow. So it's like how other people see you. Oh, no. oh I can't wait to oh, see God. that. Because right now, I think I look, I look cool, man. Um, let's see. The car on the second floor of the boardwalk in the afternoon around 2 p.m. is the place. The bar. Not the yes. Bar. Hi, Ryan, coolest. Coast. 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 Yes. 
Yeah, so I'm, I'm on the streams a lot. So I've, I'm, I've become the unofficial co-host. What do you like better, streaming or vlog? Uh, streaming, because there's no editing. But I don't like editing, though. I don't know if I became a freak or what. But, like, I really love, like, that. No, it's so, like, some people some people enjoy it. It's, it's like, uh, it's relaxing for some people. You like streaming or vlogging, Pete? Mm. Better. What's the difference? Well, no, like, one live, one edited? Mm -hmm. No, not. Robert, Robert just, he wants just, to know which... about some summer house food. Oh, what you want to know, Robert? He oh. wants to know about appetizers specifically. Appetizers specifically, boom. We're going to hit you with the truffle fries. Truffle fries are fire. Yeah. Truffle fries, make sure you get the, um, get an extra side of truffle aioli. Um, the warm jalapeno cornbread. It's good. Uh, what's the butter on it? Honey, honey butter? butter? It's a honey butter, yeah. yeah it's a honey you butter that comes on the jalapeno cornbread. I've never been there. You're right, though. I, listen, jalapeno oh, cornbread you know, it goes with honey one butter. type of butter. Yeah, it yeah. is spicy. We got it, and we didn't eat it when we were there. Right if you get the cheesy dream puffs, make sure you ask for a side of marinara sauce. It'll change the whole dish. I should have done that. And the cheesy dream puffs have right? good days and bad days. It depends on how they I was going to say, I also think that they should give you like at least one or two more. We do seven. We do seven. We're supposed Is to do it? seven. Yeah. yeah. Oh, then maybe I got a smaller one. Did you get shorted? <laughs> well, no, we, because they met, so it was opening day, and I guess certain items we ordered either weren't available or they were having trouble, so they substituted other things for us to say, sorry, try this on us and whatnot. So we tried like a little bit of everything. I will say, we'll continue Summer House in a minute, but since there's no one in these restrooms, what? they are the nicest restrooms ever, and no one's in there. So I'm gonna show you, I, restrooms are big for me. Um, I'm big on cleanliness and everything else. First of all, look how awesome these water fountains are. Even the doors look like you're going to church. Look at this restroom. And I know it's not everybody's cup of tea, but just look how clean this is and the colors and how beautiful. It's immaculate. This is a beautiful restroom. And I know you hear the toilet flushing. No one's in there. It scared me before, it's empty. Uh, beautiful restroom, you know. I know it's not everyone's cup of tea, but everyone, I'm pretty sure watching, uses a restroom. All right, that's all. I just wanted to show you why I love that restroom so much. It's always empty. It's gorgeous. All right, let's head over. Where'd everyone go? All right, I'm going to start going back this way. We got resorts to visit. Hi, Kita. They're following. I'm going to catch up with some chat while they're behind me. Hi, Lady Kirk. Beautiful day for streaming. It absolutely is. Colleen says, we haven't had a bathroom tour in a while, right? I, I mean, some people were like, oh, bathrooms, but they're important. And I'm, like I said, I'm pretty sure everybody here has to use them at some point. So when I find a good one, I like to show it off. Lady Kirk's of the Summer House Cookies are the best. Co-host Ryan killing it. What's up, Andrew C? Great to see you. Look at this. We're at 223 likes. The goal is 300. I, it's lofty. I don't know. I'm net nervous, but please, if you haven't hit the like button, let's... Let's see if we can make 300 likes happen. That would be really, really amazing. So here's the Beach Club Marketplace. This is what I was talking about before. So we came down this hallway and then made that left. So we're just gonna pop in here instead. They also have a kitchen here that you can order as well. They have pulled pork sandwiches, foot long hot dogs, baked mac and cheese, uh, which you could also add bacon, pulled pork, chili to. They also have a plant-based chili. They have a half roasted chicken dinner served with mashed potatoes, gravy, vegetables, and cornbread. They have a garden salad. So yeah, a nice little food area here. Also, lots of grab and go options. And like a lot of the other resorts we've seen today, of course you got your plenty of Disney merch. Look at the Disney keys. Marquita, I got a hat for you. <laughs> Hangry. <laughs> we found a hat for Marquita. Oh my God. <laughs> soda pin they were looking for at Animal Kingdom the other day. Found it. You got your magic band plus over here. 
Oh, no. We need Ferris. Ferris, I don't know any of these, and I feel like you know all of them. I don't know if he does. Well, who directed High School Musical? Zach Okay, who is in the band Zenon? Xenon. Xenon. I don't know. All right, in Descendants, what is the name of the kingdom? Wow, this is hard. No one, these are all Disney Channel questions. I do know that's a skeleton, but I don't know That's it? I know it's Disney, but I also know the name. In Camp Rock, her mom is like the camp cook. That's what I'm saying. Skeleton. 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 Skeleton.
Just want to show you a quick view of Stormlong Bay from the Beach Club side. But again, this lasts the length of both resorts. And you can see the top of the water slide there on the other side of that uh, walkway that we were on earlier. Uh, this is the number one pool on property, but it's the hardest to get into. How? Just hop the fence. <laughs> you can't just hop fences. They give you a wristband. So they literally wristband you. Also, if we're looking at the arcades everywhere, we got to review the arcade. Honestly, I think the arcades to be are at All Star. They're open late, they're big. All Star, no, All Star, we got to go at night. They're open till one in the morning and there's contests and they're just as big. Yeah, contests every night. So these are the main showers and restrooms for the pool area, which means that there's a locker room inside. So there's a place to put your things. You can shower, change. Yeah, love the tile. And here you can see, like I said, this is the pool in which you must get a wristband if you are a guest to get in because it is so popular. It's open from 10 in the morning till 11 at night. And you can see the cast member here. So sorry. Giving out. Oh, so sorry. Look at all these pizzas coming in. Because it's the most popular pool and the best pool on property. It has a lazy river, a sand bottom pool, beach volleyball, the best water slide. May, must I go on? Coronado is also a half the size of this. This is gigantic. It's still going as we walk. This is Yacht and Beach Club. We're not close. Hey, Old Key West is the one with the golf. Old Key West does have the golf course around it, yeah. So you can see here some of the guest dining. We're gonna head inside. No, Grand Floridian's more expensive. We were just re we were just saying that inside about their pricing. No, that's over at Old Key West. So this is Yachtsman. Now we are officially inside the Yacht Club. How's it going? Uh, and then you have the Cruise Cup Lounge. So I will say, again, we're very positive on this channel. I personally think that there's better steak on property at this price point. Yeah, it's been a little pricey, and I wasn't blown away by their steak. Very strongly agree with that. Yeah, I would say go. there's a better steak at California Grill and Flying Fish and many others. Uh, and here at the Cruise Cup Lounge, though, is fantastic. You still get the bread, which is amazing. The salad, the wedge salad is fantastic. The shrimp cocktail is good. The charcuterie is great. The lobster bisque is great. And the prime rib sliders are so good. So everything that's really good from 5 to 9.30 is served here at the Cruise Cup Lounge. And you don't need a reservation. You could pop in. I'll show you a quick view. Still get that vibe. Fun. Awesome vibes. I don't know. And everyone says, Pete, try the Yachtsman again. I will try it again one day. It's expensive. And that's why I'm not just going to try it again. But it could just that I had one-off experience. Again, I love steak. I just think that there's so many amazing restaurants on Disney property. For the price point, if you love steak, I would say I can give you 10 places on property with a better steak. Just saying. Yes. And I'm not saying it's bad. I'm just saying I know better places. Or equal quality at a yeah. lower price point. Even, we're going to go over there in a little bit, but over at the Swan and Dolphin, Shula's is a great steakhouse as well. Let's, Let's talk about it. Ailing Compass. Compass. We love Ailing Compass. We dined here on a live stream uh, with Robert D. A few, uh, a few weeks ago. Then I also had a great dinner here with Mike Graney and his fiance. We love the Ailing Compass and the Ailing Compass Lounge. No, no. Yachtsman is very expensive. You gotta have a yacht This also has a very good breakfast. The bread also. Oh, I thought you were going to say bread when I heard the BR. No, breakfast. <laughs> we'll show you a little preview of the menu here. Great cocktails. The entree for breakfast, which you were just talking about. Yeah. Your standard breakfast fare. But it also has an additional buffet of some For breakfast. Yeah, this, it's a items. great breakfast, and it's, it's a, a lot of food. Yeah. On top of the entree. Dinner, which we've had uh, now twice in the last few months, is also unbelievable. Love the roasted buffalo style cauliflower. The blue crab bisque is so good. The roasted garlic shrimp is fantastic. The Parker House rolls and spreads are so good. I took them home with all the spreads and kept eating the bread for days. 
Uh, the short rib French dip I had recently, that was very good. Uh, the New York strip is very good. I love the New England seafood pot pie. That is fantastic. What I was so presently surprised at, the Cabernet Bray short ribs might have been one of the most delicious things I've had in the last four months. Wow. It is so delicious. It falls off the bone. It is scrumptious. And there's a Disney pin trading board. And right next door, if uh, there's no reservations, from noon to 11 p.m., you can come to the Alien Compass Lounge. They have small bites. You can kind of just hang out, pull up a table and chair wherever you see fit. They have this whole lounge area out here. And then behind the wall is the bar, which you can belly up to, and a few more tables back here as well. I like it. It's got that dark, mysterious lounge vibe. And the air conditioning felt great. Let's see what they have bite wise. Oh, you can get the you can get the rolls with the uh, the Parker House rolls. Yeah, it's so good. So you can get the Parker House rolls. You can get you can the. Also get the Buffalo style pie. I was gonna say on the flatbreads. Let me find a better lighting here. There we go. So you have the hearth oven flatbreads with the barbecue chicken or the vegetables. The Parker House rolls and spreads. The roasted garlic shrimp. The cauliflower. The burger and the blue crab bisque. All available here in the lounge. Of course, you have a ton of beers, cocktails, classic cocktails, wines. And you could watch The Big Bang Theory. All right, let's keep exploring, shall we? We are now in the main lobby of the Yacht Club. So again, it looks just like the Beach Club lobby. They're very similar, they're matching resorts. We walked over, seamless transition. You'll also see a, a lot of people wearing name tags. Uh, the Yacht and Beach Club has a lot of convention space, which is utilized. So you'll see a lot of companies here. There's this awesome area up here, which I don't show too often, so we'll show it now. But you could literally take the helm, grab the wheel, and steer the ship. More hangout space up here. Again, a great view of the lobby. You can see those chairs across the way. Just a nice spot to hang out. It is bustling, a little busier now, uh, more than normal. <laughs> Look at this China cabin. And then another beautiful little chill spot up here on the second floor where you could look down. All right, let's head back down. Thanks for hanging out with me on your Tuesday night. I really appreciate it. If you haven't hit the like button yet, I would really love if you did it. It would be so cool. We're trying to hit 300. It's kind of crazy. I set up this insane goal, but it would really help. Look at this. When you spot the Max photo prop, take a picture with him and head to the front desk. And look at this. There's Max. You take a pic, you head to the front desk, you get a special prize. I wonder if that's what Marquita's doing. Are you doing the Max picture? What'd you get? All right, let's see what she gets. I know what you're doing. With all the lobbies, they have a little kid area. They could watch some movies while you check in. Another big pin trading board back there. Marquita's going to find out what we get for taking a picture with Max. And while she does that, I'm going to... show you more things. Restaurant is located down there. There's another little shop down this way. So I'll show you kind of uh, an idea of where we started and where we ended. We came in to the beach club from Epcot. This way, we walked over, we walked around. We went up in here, we showed you the beach club. We went around, we showed you the beach club villas, the DVC area, the pool, the drawing room. We this little area, there was the shop. Went back through, walked around past Stormalong Bay, made our way back and head back out towards the marina. 
also traveling by boat that heads to Epcot as well as Hollywood Studios. So here goes the next button. And this is the market at Ale and Compass. So for the Yacht Club, they have their own market. Oh no, we're losing the crowd. We got to get outside. All right, we're back outside. Sorry, we lost some service in there for a minute. But here at the Yacht Club, there's also a full tennis court. Oh, hey, little friend, just ran up and said hi. Hey, bud. How you doing? You blend into the concrete so well. Look at you. He just came up to say hi. I played tennis the other day. I did not realize how... Um, it is hard. Robert tennis and pickleball. But they have a court here, which, by the way, is very nice. Go ahead, Robert D. I was asking uh, for an update on steps. Do we want to give them an update on steps? 6,245 is my guess. Yeah, everyone... so far off. I, I mean, I could guess. Let me think. It's definitely higher. I think we're like double that. I'm gonna say I'm gonna say we're closer to twelve or thirteen thousand. I think we're at like thirteen thousand right now. I know what you're at once I add it. Once I join, we're at fifteen thousand seven hundred. Wow! 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 Put this on right before getting into the car to drive to the start of the trip. There we go. Uh, Seven point one four. Since I joined, we're at 5.3. Yeah, we're at, we're at a little over seven miles. No doubt. So besides the pickleball and tennis court, which is fantastic, they have another pool area. So if Stormalong Bay is a little too crowded for you, just like how Beach Club has their own pool, look at this squirrel just hanging out with us. This, these squirrels, it's because they see you and they know that they can mess with you. <laughs> Ma'am, can we see what you're doing? <laughs> <laughs> but I was also working. Uh, there's another pool, just like Beach Club uh, over here. I actually got to work with some pretty dope people. And you can still, you can still stay in the castle, right? Like that's still a thing? Uh, you can't book a stay in the castle. You have to win a stay in the castle. So they do a lot of charity auctions and stuff like that. That's the only way you could stay there is if you win a win. I wonder how much one night in the castle. They don't, they don't sell it for that reason. I mean... Let's think, let's think about this realistically, right? So what's the most expensive room on Disney property? That's Grand Flow, right? Probably. What's the most expensive room at Grand Flow? That's what I'm saying. What's the, uh, all right, so most expensive for, uh, room, uh, the most expensive night? Yeah, at Disney. What? No, way more than that. I mean... Oh, Riviera is a thousand dollars on the off season. Really? Yeah. No. Look it up right now. Try to book a room at Riviera right now. I guarantee some of the rooms are a thousand dollars. Not like the. There's different levels too. Keep in mind. I'm saying it's probably like fifteen grand, something like that. We're going up that way, but we're gonna go. We're going the non-conventional way, but we are going to. So look, you can go up that way. We're gonna take this road here because we're headed to the Swan and Dolphin. I bet you the most expensive room on the most expensive night. Keep in mind, these are talk these are big suites. Oh, all right, we're not, so not standard room, but suite. Not standard room, I'm saying. At oh, Disney, yeah, the most Disney. expensive room on the most expensive night. Oh, probably it's like 2000 then, probably around there. 15 grand, I bet. What? That's what? my guess. I'm guessing. Look up, not a wedding. Look up try, to, try to book up, try to look up New Year's Eve for this year now. Well, look up, look up New Year's Eve or look up or Christmas Eve. And just and then sort by most expensive on Disney. I want to say it's around ten to fifteen grand a night. If we include, but you're talking the most expensive suite, presidential, presidential Four suite. Seasons. Oh yeah, Four Seasons ranks in at a thousand seven hundred ninety. Uh, no, that's not even the most expensive room. The most expensive room at Four Seasons is fifty thousand dollars a night. There you go. And that's not that's on just New Year's the base Eve. price. That's the base. See. And then the base price for these is Riviera five eighty three. Grand Flow, 561. I think that's right now, though. Yeah, th so that's no, this week, which is a slow week. 
Search for New Year's Eve or Christmas Eve. New Year's Eve or Christmas Eve. This is a very slow week. There is nothing going on tonight. The run weekend is coming up this weekend. It might go up, but right now, this has been like the slowest 10 days we've had in four months. Are we counting four seasons? Sure. This says uh, 23,000. There we go. 23 grand a night. Four, four seasons. seasons. And then let's go on property, like on on property. <laughs> if you want to stay, just say. Yeah, let's do that. Four seasons resort, 1,984. Standard room. What about for the suite? I'm just looking at... Look yeah, you're looking at standard. Price. I'm saying I bet you it's even more expensive. Well, if that's the base price, then you could... I mean, I believe that the bungalow's base price is 3500 a night. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. It's not even close. I guess. I mean, if you got it, like, I guess. You know what I mean? <laughs> that's what I was trying to say. When I'm like, I'm not, it's not about hundreds. It's about tens of thousands. So here we are. We're at the bridge. We're heading over towards the boardwalk. You see the Atlantic Dance Hall here. We walk that boardwalk all the time on streams if you watch. And then there is the Yacht and Beach Club, which you just explored. Now we're heading over this bridge to the Swan and Dolphin. And I will say the Swan and Dolphin is beautiful. Now, technically, are they Walt Disney World Resorts? No. But are they on Walt Disney World property? Yes, and we don't explore them enough. That's why I thought today would be a great day to explore them. This walk at night is gorgeous. Come down here after the sun sets and just walk around the Swan and Dolphin at night. The way the palm trees are lit up, the whole resort is absolutely stunning. The story which I was told, which I'm pretty sure is accurate, is that uh, when Eisner was building the Epcot Resort area, and then also uh, Disney Hollywood Studios needed rooms, needed hotels, but money was tight. I mean, building two resorts at the same time and developing two resorts at the same time, crazy. And also rushing to do it because he was trying to get Hollywood Studios open for uh, Universal, open their Universal Studios because he wanted to have the first studio park. He wanted to beat him to the market. So it was just money, money, money. Cold as friends. Uh, I believe it was the Mara family, same family that owns the Giants, but they uh, own a bunch of hotels, said, hey, listen, what if I gave you like a really sweet lease and I let you put two hotels on Walt Disney World property? We'd work something out. We'd all be friends. You would own the hotels. We'd get a little cut. You'd be on property. We'll provide boat transportation to the parks. It'd be the most exclusive offer ever. They, of course, jumped at the offer and hence the Swan and Dolphin happened thanks uh again to the brilliance of eisner because there wasn't money at the time and uh luckily he had friends with a bunch of money who owned hotel chains that's the story as i know it i'm pretty sure it's accurate but if i'm wrong you can let me know in the chat spokesman with the super chat shout out to my man chris it says keep doing your thing pete how many resorts are we in so far so right now we are, let's see, we did all-star movies, music, sports. Then we did pop century. Then we did art of animation. We did Caribbean beach. We did Riviera. We did yacht club. We did beach club. And now we're headed to the Swan and Dolphin. So this is a, uh, we didn't do Borok yet. So this is 10 and 11, Boardwalk will be 12. And it's a uh, quarter to seven. We're doing all right. The goal is to be over at the Polynesian by 845. So I think after we do the boardwalk, we will most likely head over to the monorail resorts, do Grand Flow, Contemporary, Bay Lake Tower, and then finish on the beach of the Polynesian. So we'll finish up, hopefully, let's think, 12 plus four, 16 resorts today. And every mode of Disney transportation, bus, boat, Skyliner, and monorail. Thank you so much for the super chat. Uh, if you guys don't follow Spokesman, not only an OG of the Disney YouTube community and uh, has a ton of followers, uh, puts out great content, but he's been killing it on TikTok and on his Instagram reels. Go follow Spokesman. Just does great content. And thanks so much for the uh, super chat. I appreciate that, brother. I appreciate that, brother. 
All right, do we cross the bridge first and come back here or do this and then cross the bridge? Cross the bridge first? Okay, I like it. <laughs> They're not gonna make it. All right, we are headed to the dolphin first. And I know what you're thinking, Pete, those aren't dolphins on top of the hotel. They're dolphin fish. Uh, these do get rented out a lot for conferences and uh, conventions. So like right now you have this Go Beyond banner up. It's most likely because it's on a rent, like someone bought it out. And I've seen crazy buyouts here where they have legitimately painted buildings, the pillars, floors, and then they just paint them back when it's done. I think we did one live stream once where they were providing golf uh, cart transportation to and from like Epcot. So I just like hopped on, I'm like, yeah, I'm part of the conference. Popping some Disney music out. So this walk at night is absolutely gorgeous. Again, I recommend everyone do it. Plus, if you're looking for some fun after hours activities, there is karaoke at the sushi bar here at night. So when you're leaving Epcot, we should go do that one night. We haven't done it. We should do it. Yeah, but what am I going to do with Will as a partner? We saw what happened last night. So I guess this is the Marriott U.S. and Canada HR conference. Look at that, spokes, Maine. U.S. and Canada coming together. I don't know the answer to this, but maybe somebody does in the chat. There is rumors that this is way higher than 200 feet and everything over 200 feet in Florida is supposed to have a red blinking light. That is why all the castle, uh, Tower of Terror, Spaceship Earth, uh, the Tree of Life all sit between 195 and 199 feet so they don't have to have a blinking red light. Legend has it, this is higher than 200 with no light. Why do they get away with it or do they just take their chances? I don't know. I don't know the answer. It's something that I want to know. I'm asking all of you. I know you love Canada. I know it's nuts. I was just saying they paint the grounds, the walls. They go all out. It's crazy. When they do, when they do buyouts here. You want some camera time, bro? You, you, you want some no, I'm good. We're, we're having we're having a good time. Actually, yeah. If you want to carry for one sec, I might get it right back. Get some camera time, man. Oh, I don't want to be on camera. Oh, you don't? You don't? That's all right. I'll just say hi to everybody. Hi, go everyone. Ahead. I'm the red faced man who's been talking to you all day. <laughs> Pete Carter. Hey, I'm my friend. Hi, I'm Farris, Nikita, Andrew, Ryan, and Kid behind the camera. Thanks for hanging out. I yeah, let the kids use like two yet. hands to hold the camera. No, he's doing it so serious. You gotta be oh, professional. I don't wanna be like. Yet. It's really easy and it costs nothing. It'll be in the world. We're trying to hit 300. We're at 236. 236. We're also on the way to 10,000 subs. Nine hours to 9,000. It's on speaker right now. That's fine. Oh, that water just hit me. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> that felt great. I love it. Pete, I finished editing my video. Uh, tomorrow, I'm throwing it up live at uh, Stephen the Kid. Or an also follow Pongo with Pete, Adventures by Connie. Pete Carney, to be exact. See, Pete, you never did a live stream like this where you don't even got to worry about holding it. It's just... Hold on, say it. <laughs> and honestly, that's everything you need to know about Walt Disney World. <laughs> Pete, you know, <laughs> Bro, fire. Everyone talks about Blue Zoo. Amazing. Have you been there? No, I haven't. Dude. Everyone says it's so good. It's amazing. The story I heard last week, or two weeks ago, but is that apparently there's plenty of to come in here for years and they got rid of some dessert or whatever, but uh, Shula Steakhouse has this great dessert that they love. So they took the server here at Blue Zoo, which, hey, we love that dessert from Shula's. So they literally went over to Shula's, got the dessert, and brought it to them at the table here at Blue Zoo. And that is the level of service that, that, is, you get. that is the level of service that you get on Blue Zoo. That's like, you don't get that's that. Like, that's like Michelin but, star. And also the newest restaurant, Rosa Mexicano, I haven't done it yet. But I've heard so we're gonna do it soon. Oh, the, the fountains are, uh, yeah, like they're quick service. It's just, it's Lady Kirk says love Blue Zoo. Yeah. Also, is it me or is that like falsely advertised where it says it takes two to mango? I, I thought that was gonna say it was two for a mango margarita. <laughs> That's where my brain went first. Two but it takes two to mango, man. It takes two to mango. Oh, that must be the drink special. All right, let's go upstairs, show you around. Thanks for holding the camera. Of course, like brother. Stevie, keep it on me. You, know, you feel I mean, me? Nah, bro. This is beautiful. 
I know, I know. We but don't lose subscribers. We're trying to gain subscribers. We just gained another like 237. For you. Your name is the it's because I hide behind the camera. Now you gotta change it up sometimes. I mean, I was on radio, so that makes sense. I, I've been saying that my whole life. Honestly, I know I have a face for the camera because it's bright red. <laughs> hey, you were talking about Shoeless earlier. Yeah. Here's Shoeless Steakhouse. So I was talking about uh, if you want a really good steakhouse, forget that. Oh, it's the National Achievers. Shoeless. I wonder where they get Fantastic steakhouse. Uh, and apparently makes great desserts because that family that I was talking to said they got one from Luzu from Shoeless. But I love this lobby. This lobby is fire. I got you. Let's go. Let's go. Yo, we gotta hit. Go left. We gotta hit the coffee bar, man. And because he's so tall, he gets the good end. Yeah. I, know, I love it. I need a tall camera person with this kind of enthusiasm. <laughs> Yo, fuel. fuel. All right. I know that you're pumped up fuel, but let's go to this beautiful lobby real quick. Come on. It's nice that they brought the fountains from outside, inside. <laughs> How much is that? The chandelier. I don't know, but I think based on what I asked you with the most expensive room, you were like 600 <laughs> well, that was 40 bucks. <laughs> 49 <laughs> I saw that on, uh, what is it? What's uh, Oriental Trading? You can get that on Oriental Trading. No, this is thousands and thousands. But you can get lost in this. You look up at this? And you know you can control it extra with the joystick right there, right? Really? Yeah. I don't want to mess it up. Like, whoa. Oh, this is tight. And then you can go up and down, angle it up and down, too. <laughs> Did you guys like and subscribe? <laughs> yeah, I shook it again. <laughs> but let's check, out, let's check out this fuel. Yeah, let's check out fuel, man. So, Yo, we're going to go check out fuel, dog. That's where you get, get re-energized? Yeah, man. So fuel, basically, they got all different types of coffee. It's basically like Starbucks, but better. Um, I only know this because I went on a date here, and uh, we stopped in here to get uh, let's get all some coffee. Fuel is a great store, so yeah, they got pastries, sandwiches, salads. You can eat. Look at this. Literally, completely made out of sugar. You can buy bottles of wine. Yes, good, good call out, Robert. So imagine staying in your room. Oh, I don't want to go out to the liquor store and you just come to fuel. This is what it looks like on the inside. Oh, they got a Froyo bar over there? Oh yeah. Chill out? It's oh a yeah. Time little shop. This is fun. They have a mix and match beer and seltzer. So mix and match six pack. It's either $10 each or $21 and you can pick six of them and take them up to your room. Wow. Did you see the sugar? Yeah, we just did it. Um, yeah. That's, honestly, that's an insane deal that you can get six for the price of two, basically. Do you think that's worth it, though? For 21 actually, that's not too bad. Especially on Disney property, because generally Disney is $10. One drink is a... Yes. <laughs> mix and match. Like, so you mix and match. Mix and match, six pack, $21. That's great for $10 a game. Or $10 for one. Or is the $10 for one not? We're at 238 likes. Keep running it up. Appreciate y'all. Make sure you share the stream out. Uh... Still making it through till fireworks. Check out this though. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I'm telling you, this is this will not. You know what grocery store is good when it carries Jones soda. Jones soda, I've never had it. What is it? So it's a small batch soda. I'm not a soda person, but I'll... Is and it? all of the photos on these are submitted by people who enjoy Joan Soda. What? And whenever your photo is selected, they'll send you a case... Of, of Jones, yeah. Of Jones with your photo on it. Oh, my gosh. Hold on, we just got a... Shout out Spokesman. Shout out Spokesman, man. Spokesman out here with the super chat. Appreciate you, Spokes. Shout out to Pete, Ryan, Ferris, and Steven. Mostly because that's the only members of the crew I know. <laughs> And Marquita, she right yeah, there. Shout out to Marquita as well. But he hey, didn't want to your name. No, that's fine. I appreciate you, I Spokes. I, I, I got to, like I said, the, them boys didn't motivate me. I didn't edit the whole time while I was out here on the vlog for them, man. So, and bro, three dollars and seventy-five cents per pound per one fourth pound. How much is that usually? How much that's is? Like, that's twelve dollars. That's not a bad deal. 
That's that's about the same as you're gonna get in uh, Universal or Disney. Uh, it's actually probably a little bit cheaper um, than inside the parks. I don't, I've always thought that candy is the one thing that isn't bang for your buck wise at oh, Disney. Yeah. You're not gonna get too bang for your buck here as well. But it is fun to have the kiddos pick out a bag. And oftentimes you're not gonna reach that one pound mark. Yeah. Um, so, you know, anything under $10 in Disney is a pretty good deal. Look at the squad over here, man. So if you're. Pete, spokes, spokesman gave a super chat, bro. Spokesman. Spokesman gave a super chat. Love it. Yeah. Spokesman. So shout out to Pete, Ryan, Farris, Steven, mostly because the only members of the crew that I know. Well, <laughs> thanks, spokesman. And yes. Said, hey, Marquita, he came back and said, hey, Marquita. Yes. And that's Marquita. Oh, wait, I got to turn it off for me. That's, oh, God. Wait a minute. Both of us are hitting a pound of candy, but a kid can be toned back. Oh, because you saw the candy in there? Yeah. You can yeah. Buy it by the pound. Yeah. Oh, it's dangerous. That's why I stayed out here. I gotta, I gotta, I know what I should and should not do. Yeah. But I was very excited. They have Jones soda in there. I love Jones soda. Yeah. So they got Jones soda in there. Those Joneses. Those Joneses. Keeping up with the Joneses. I believe the Jones soda family lives inside living with the lamp. You can see it on their mailbox. Um, before we move to the next resort, let's all just take a minute and sit for a moment because one, I'm tired. But also, <laughs> let's catch up with some chat. So from here, we're gonna head over to the Swan. I'm gonna show you the amazing pool area. A lot of people don't realize this. We've done it on other streams, but we're gonna show you. One, there is a ridiculous gym here. Two, they have a fantastic pool area with its own grotto, waterfall, multiple hot tubs, water slides, pool volleyball, then they have a ton of activities, an amazing pool bar, and you can order cocktails and food to your seat at the pool area here, and a lot of games. So we're talking shuffleboard, table tennis. Uh, there's also things you can rent for the pool and the marina. You can take a swan boat out. So we're gonna show you all of these things in a minute, but real quick while we're here, I'm gonna say hi to the chat. Yeah, talk to the chat, man. They, they, they've been reaching out to you. I know, we gotta give some love to the chat. Do you wanna sit? There's plenty of chairs. Squatting. Just pull one up. Chair, yeah, I mean, pull up a chair. Okay. Hang out with us. Folks has two different twenty dollars cats. I know two oh, different super chats. Yeah. The first one says, "Keep doing your thing, Pete." How many resorts are we in so far? So this. This is, is why Spokesman is awesome. He did the first one, and obviously it gave love to me, but then said, "No, no, no. The I gotta give eat. love to everybody." Yeah. Yep. Shout out, Spokes. Uh, but this is my ten, right? This is number ten. We are at. One. Yeah, because when we finish boardwalk, we'll be at we'll be at twelve, and then if we do the four over there, we'll be at sixteen. Yeah, that I think we're gonna hit sixteen resorts today, which is impressive in nine hours using only Disney transportation and giving pretty uh, elaborate tours. And we had a stop at Bar Riva, and we're having a little stop now to say hi to everyone. And that's what I'm gonna do because everyone needs a minute to sit. I'm watching everybody. We're limping around. It's hot out there. So. Dawn in the chat says, I swear they made up that dolphin fish story. No, that's actually, uh, it's a Victorian era thing. Hold on, let me put the camera on you. Go ahead. Oh, wait. Nope, that's a special effect. Hold on. Do you want to be, do you want to be in black and white? Yeah, please. Yes. Hold on. That way, you next to Ferris, no one will know who's who. Hold on. All right. Go ahead. Oh, wow. This is fun. Yeah, so it is actually a uh, Victorian era, golden era um, thing. Uh, it predates us calling dolphin. Sorry, I'm. I love this story, but I'm having so much fun with these filters <laughs> right now. Right now, you are an old-timey like imaging. I'm gonna put you in a documentary imager. Go ahead. Absolutely, yeah. yeah. Hold on there, I'll show you. <laughs> hold on, hold on. Like, I'll show you some of the following. Right now, he was just under the sea. Go ahead. Yeah, it comes, it, it just, it, it predates <laughs> us calling all the dolphins. Dun, 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 so that is what we used to refer to when we said dolphins. Have you ever seen a dolphin fish? No. But I've seen a dolphin. I've seen a fish. 
but I've never seen a dolphin and a fish combined. I mean, dolphins don't use like a rod and reel, but dolphins love fish. I have All right, enough with the filters. Let's get back to some chat and the, and the madness. We're having some fun. This is what happens when you've been live for 370 minutes. We start to have a little fun. We're getting a little silly. Uh, so the crew right now, Lauren has already left. Uh, Lauren did stop by, but right now with me, I am honored to have, we have Andrew, Steven the Kid, Ryan, Farris Films, and Marquita, Cocktails with Kita, uh, with me, and uh, I am Pete Carney. And I'm very lucky to have uh, all these friends around me and all of you watching. Thanks so much for hanging out on a Tuesday night with me. We have been live for 370 minutes, roughly since about 12.45. We're going until 9.45 tonight, nine hours for 9,000 subscribers. And that's thanks to all of you. I can't just, you know, make that up. That's crazy. What's the like on that? Hey, Pete. We're at 238 likes. We're, we're pushing for 300. No, I, I gotta catch up. Hold on. He's very frustrated. Yeah, he really wants to. I don't. I don't have any money for drinks on property today. I. I oh, he's yeah. so nice. All right, well then I guess I'm going to get a drink. Uh, he wants you to get the smoking joint. I remember seeing that. I mean, if the man Venmoed me and wants me to get a drink, who am I to say no? At the bar over here, Finn. All right, here it is. Robert just sent me a Venmo notification. Uh, yeah. Thank you so much, Robert, for the Venmo. Says I gotta go to Finn's and get that smoky drink. All right, yeah, is this Finn? You guys are killing me. Is this Finn's? Where is Finn's? That's Finn's. Hey, 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 it is Finn's. Uh, for those who, I'm losing my mind. I'll show it to you, hold on. But also the whole point was to catch up with some chat really quick while I'm That's seated. Oh, you can't see it, let's see if we, there it is, Finn's. How about this beautiful lobby, though? Come on. That's hilarious. What? Fins? The spelling of it? No, like dolphins, hence Shula Steakhouse. Dolphins, like go fins. Wait, what's, why is Shula? Shula was the head coach of the Miami Dolphins when they went undefeated and won the Super Bowl. Oh. So, so when the Miami Dolphins, back in 1972, I think? Go sports. Uh, yeah, so I'll explain to everybody what's going on. I, I'm surprised. One, it's kind of fun educating you guys on this. But NFL, fun fact, there's only one team who has gone undefeated and won the Super Bowl, and it's not the Patriots. Hey, we don't it's, talk about that season. It's the other team I hate because I'm a Jets fan, so I don't like the Dolphins or the Patriots. Let's go Ravens. Uh, they're still AFC, but sure, go. Uh, I'm a Jets fan, but whatever. Go every other team because I'm a Jets fan. Shula... Don Shula was the head coach of the Miami Dolphins when they went undefeated and won the Super Bowl. So Shula Steakhouse is Don Shula Steakhouse. Hence the bar here is Finns, like Dolphins, but also not like the Miami Dolphins because guess what? We're at the Dolphin, everyone. The Dolphin, the Swan and Dolphin Resort. But it makes sense that Shula Steakhouse is here at the Dolphin because he was the head coach of the Miami Dolphins. You're welcome. So this You're welcome. Robert D. also said it's a big presentation. We want to Okay, so we got to do the whole thing. Well, should we catch up with the chat first? All right, let's. I mean, I'm going to catch up with the chat real quick, and then we're going to go over there and we're going to see this drink. Uh, and thank you so much to Robert. But I want to give everyone a little bit of love, and just sitting feels nice for two minutes, and we won't be seated again for a while because we have two more resorts to show you before we're on a bus. All right, let's just see. I don't know where I was, so I'm just going to start. Here. Helder, what's up? Uh, says, good luck on doing nine hours. Thanks so much. I miss you guys. I actually, I we need to talk. We, I mean, just because I miss you. Not we need to talk in a bad way. Like, I miss you. For those who don't know, Helder is uh, one of my best friends in the world. He is married to my cousin, Laura, and they have two amazing children together, Joey and Mia. And I say amazing, but sometimes we just want to, you know, leave them at the beach while we go drinking. But we stay with them because we love them. Uh, Robert, you said he loved Yachtsman. I'm just saying. Compass, Alan Compass is awesome, though. Uh, Andrew says it's called the Paca House Rolls. Paca House. If you say it like you're from Boston, you got to have the Paca House Rolls. Dawn says she had one really good Yachtsman experience and one really bad Yachtsman experience. Inconsistency is not the hallmark of a good restaurant. 
I'm just saying, I don't want to say it's a bad restaurant. I know a lot of people like the Yasmin. I'm just saying there's a lot of other really good steak options on property. That's all I'm saying. Like, literally anywhere. Uh, <laughs> thank you to everyone who's hit the like button. We're only 60 likes away from our goal of 300, so thank you so much. I appreciate everyone in the chat saying hit the like button. Uh, let's see what else is going on here. Uh, <laughs> Izzo says, I don't like flat breads. I prefer carbonated breads. I see what you did there, and I like it. Uh, Dawn says, I can go get those rolls at Stop and Shop right now, yet we always end up ordering them. Whoa, whoa, whoa. It's presentation is everything. Okay. And the butters and the spreads. Yeah, I mean, they just, they, they taste like they came out of the oven. They're warm. They, they, when they break apart, you just see. Somebody said, holy moly, people from Florida don't know Don Shula. Yeah, I mean... I'm not from Florida. I said young people from Florida don't know who Don Shula is. There's only one of us here who's from Florida. Yeah, that's right. Oh, you're not from Florida? You were a Dolphin Jersey? Did you know that? Like, you've been a Dolphin Jersey? Did you know about Don Shula? Oh, yeah. Do you even know who Don Shula is? I'm only a fan because they invite us out. He knows the Miami Dolphin. He was very honest about that. No, he said that. He literally was on the field. He says he's a Dolphins fan. So for those who don't know, Farris Films, a very big deal. Go check it out on TikTok. The Miami Dolphins invited him out, paid him to come, was on the field, gave him a jersey with a Farris Films jersey, was on the field, and just his presence still made the Dolphins better than the Jets. And it's a shame because what is happening? Uh, and that's not the only one. He's, I mean, the Orlando Magic. But they were better than them. They treated you right? It's that Miami lifestyle. Let's see. We're going to get this drink uh, that Robert D. recommended. So thanks again to Robert D. But I want to just give some love to everyone else. And if I didn't say hi to you, didn't give you a shout out, didn't answer your question or comment, please drop it again so I can give you some love. Because I appreciate everybody being here. Lynette says we're lounging in House of Blues. Oh, hey. You worked there for a little bit. Hopefully, yes. Kevin Sparrow, what's up? Since I think I just saw you by Cruise Cup. I turned around and you were gone. So sorry, but hi, Kevin. Uh, when we passed by Cruise Cup, which is right next to the Yachtsman, which I say is a great spot to go into next to the Yachtsman. Great bites, good food, cool vibe. Tyler says, sorry I'm late, but hey, happy Tuesday. It's all good. The beauty of YouTube is you can go back and watch us whenever you want. It is a very happy Tuesday. It is. Yes, it is. Yes, indeed. All right, hold on. Let's just see what else is going on. We're going to get this drink. Do, 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 what is do, four, do, roses? That's a four Roses? Four Roses is a bourbon, which I think we're about to go try, which is good. means it's going to be time for Pete to get crazy. Let me see which Four Roses is. Suzanne Ritchie, loving the ABC Entourage. Pete is like the Pied Piper. I feel like I know a lot about a lot of things, but I don't know about the Pied Piper. And I feel like I have to look it up now that there's been a comparison. Robert E says, Blue Zoo is so good. Lady Kirk says, love Blue Zoo. A lot of high marks. So again, not technically a Disney restaurant, so I haven't gone yet. Chris, thank you so much. Chris just sent a Venmo, $50 Venmo. Says, have another drink on me. Thanks so much for doing this. Thank you so much, Chris. So many generous people out there. Thank you, thank you, thank you. It means so much to me. Phenomenal Brandy is back. Uh, Robert D agrees that Fuel's a great store. I love that store. I don't even walk in it because I just want to spend money when I go in. Yeah. I just, everything in there looks like fun. The Froyo. The Froyo, the candy. It's just a lot of bad decisions that I want to go spend on. Uh, Spokesman did say hello, Marquita, as well. I just want you to know that. All right. All right. We already spoke spokesman about it. Well, no, I'm catching up here. Uh, spokesman said, Farris is out here looking totally unamused. Farris, cheer up. He is tired. I did have to wake him up at like noon. No. Farris and I, we always say this. Farris and I are morning people. Like, Farris is like the only person who will text me at like, I'll see him at one or two in the morning. No, but he's the only one who will text me at like 6 a.m. Like, what are you doing today? Like, after, after I saw him at like 1.32 in the morning. And you and I go to the gym around 6 2. I'm just saying, with Farris, to give him credit, I mean, if you follow him on, and he's got a great follow on YouTube, TikTok, Instagram, the man's out all night. You'll see him doing bottle service, sparklers in his mouth, women all over the place. What a life. For fa no. oh, okay, sorry. But the man wakes up four hours later and gets to work. Not 
Oh, I'm not saying like women in a bad way. Like you see his sisters and his mom and like all these, yeah, all these beautiful, amazing women in his life. Women of, with power. What are you guys? You guys are shorties. Yeah. No, I don't call this family shorties. No. <laughs> also, their average height. Everyone's short to you. What's You're six height? four and a half. What's average height? What's average height yeah. for a male or a female? Male. Five, I think it's five nine. No way. Yeah. I think it's. I honestly, I think it's. I think that's out of here. Female. I'm five eleven and three quarters. With shoes on. Heels. <laughs> <laughs> so the average height for women is what? Five five. five, five four, six five, four. Five, and we're still doing heels. Six, eight. <laughs> All right, let's go get this drink. I think I'm caught in the chat. If I missed anything you said, drop it again. We'll, we'll catch up with the chat again in a little bit. Let's go do this. Thank you so much for my little break. I appreciate everyone giving me a break. Why did she not take that? I don't know why she didn't. She won't make 10 million... I mean, maybe an endorsement. Well, well, probably, probably, yeah. Probably an endorsement. Endorsement, oh, yeah. she will. But, yeah. Uh, her contract is three years or four years, three hundred and seventy thousand dollars. Yeah, it's like that's what kid makes on TikTok. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Does anyone remember the name of this drink we're supposed to get? Um. There was like some. How you doing? Oh yeah, we have to find the name of the drink. It's like an old fashioned with smoke, smoke. and all the whole thing. Yeah, that's what we need. One, please. I love that spokesman and Robert D in the chat are like just matching you. I love it. Yeah, you guys have a battle. I love it. Yeah, find it out. Oh my god, find the hot bartender is there. It's her. <laughs> that's why he's. <laughs> yeah. That's why he's. Robert's over a here. smart man. <laughs> Also, what we're looking at, uh, maybe this is just the beer head in me. I love seeing 10 awesome tap handles. Uh, Freak Show, I believe, is a wine. Uh, is that the cab on the end, the Freak Show? The cab is very good, and I've never seen it on tap. That is impressive. Then, what else do we have over there that's good? Yeah, Proof Brewing is good. I mean, High Lie, Bud Light, you've had that. Walk trees over in Vero Beach really cool brewery I've been there super cool Sam everyone's had Sam's summer and then yes we're already in summer and it looks like they have a Finn's house beer for those who don't know I worked in the craft beer industry for many years the house beer is usually made by a local brewery uh, and they get to like their say on what they want it to taste like or feel like or the vibe typically house beers are fun if you want to try them but I wouldn't say it's gonna be your best beer on tap Typically, house beers are more affordable to make the house a little more money. But they're fun to try something new. So it's worth a try in, like, a beer flight. But you may not want to go for a pint of it, unless it's your style. Like, if that's the only Pilsner on tap and you want a Pilsner, then I'm sure it's fine. They do have two wines on tap. There's a Pinot Noir on tap as well from Bone. I don't know if I've ever had that. But the Free Show Cab is fantastic, and I've never seen it on tap. He said, better honey. That's coming. Oh my God! They're having a bed mode. I, battle. Uh, there's a battle. Robert, he goes. Yo, they're just I, fighting over bed mode now. I. This is. This is like I. There's like a guilt factor because of who I am, but also this is exciting. Hey, I mean. Uh, lots of TVs here as well. You see the four screen, the four box over here, and another four box over here with different channels. So I love that you can see all your sports here at Fins. This is a, this is a fancy, fancy place, man. Yeah. You gotta have a suit just to order. I was gonna say, I, I, I turned around, I thought you were a part of our crew. We got a, a new friend. And then when you said Oh, we're doing one right now. Here we go. Look at this. Look at this. It is. Although we're live on YouTube, so it's freaking adorable. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But it's fine, you're good, you're good. You're good, you're good. It's freaking adorable. Everyone film it. The TikTok special. Here we go. It's all thanks to Robert D. Big shout out to Robert D. I appreciate that. This looks nice. I gotta borrow this guy's jacket to drink this. All right, here we go. Shall we open the door? Anyone home? All right, here we go. Let's do this. Let's 
smells good. <laughs> it's like Fort Worth, this is my face. <laughs> yeah, I want to close it just to enjoy it again in four minutes. <laughs> just keep it in there. All right, here we go. Let's do it. That smells delicious. All right, here we go. What kind of wood was that? Wait, 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 what'd you smoke? Applewood? Yeah, that's good. You could be in it. You could be in it. All right, here we go. What is the name of this? Smoky Roses. Like Smoky it. Roses Wait, can here I have at it Finn's Bar. Have... Yeah. Smoky Roses here at Finn's Bar at uh, the Swan and Dolphin. We are at the Dolphin here at Walt Disney World. Go ahead. Marquita's going to take a picture of it for her Instagram, which is uh, Cocktails Marquita. We share the wealth here. Sorry, everyone. You have to edit this. I was thinking season. I appreciate it. I, might, I want to use this as a short. Phenomenal brandy. Very funny. It's no, this is actually, box. this is not brandy. This is perfect. All right, here we go. All right, we got the Smoky Roses. We are here at the so, Dolphin at Walt you? Disney World. And uh, I'm excited to try it. Let's, let's get into it. That is very good. Shout out to Robert D. This is very good. And because I'm me, anyone who wants to try it can try it. But please take small sips. $10. Cheers to the stream. Nine hours. How thanks, many hours thanks Robert here? D. Thanks, Robert D. Uh, we are about six and a half hours in. That was nice, right? And then the after? It's nice. It's so smooth. Yeah. Want to try it? I want to try it. I want to just smell it. Like you. Yeah. I I am just growing into being a bourbon person, and this is delicious. Look at this crew, by the way. Everyone follow us. Take a group photo. Someone will take a photo. This might Arquita, give go the Edison this way. Wait, go right there. Take a picture. Ready? One, two, three. Someone Somebody screenshot it. it. There you go. That's good, right? That might be better than a smoke patented at the end of the day. That is delicious. That might be one of the best drinks I've ever had. And... Let's, let's just experience this again. Oh wait, come on. Everyone get close, everyone get close. Is it still in there? Of course. Oh yeah. I don't know you, babe. <laughs> <laughs> you see that hot one? Just get in there, smell that. Oh, breathe it in. That is so nice. So Ryan, to answer your question. It's that applewood. That's what's in the back. <laughs> okay. This is delicious. Thank you so much, Robert. I mean, this you is know so it's good. High end bar when they have anything past the eighteen. Yeah, I bet you they pissed when somebody orders something from up there, bro. <laughs> I doubt it, because I bet you everything up there is so expensive that they don't mind climbing that ladder. I mean, they have Macallan twenty-five, Macallan 18, 15, 12. and the rear cast. That needs to go in there. They have the rare cast. They have the rare cast. Bears, you want the portable? This one charges. You want this charge? So I'm, I'm good. I'm ready to go. I'll go for the day. I'm excited. This is the heaviest backpack in America. We've been carrying that since uh, 1230. Gotta get, gotta get the traps going. Grab it by the head. That's, that's actually going. pretty light. No, that's lighter because it's around six beverages lighter than it was. Mm. Yes, yes, a yes, lot yes, of yes. water. A lot of water. It's a lot right, of water. Water. Bro, as soon as y'all said, yeah, I knew. What are you talking about? about? What are you talking about, Steven? So how is this? It's good. <laughs> I wish you could try it. I wish I could try it, too. Uh, Ryan is allergic to alcohol, so he can't try it. Ferris, do you try it? Do you want I, to? I got to, uh... It's I got a good caramel I got to do an allergy It's test. really nice. Well, we won't do it on a live stream. What? Four roses one time. Jeez. <laughs> Not my type, but it's strong. It's good. Look, look, nice. Look at the text I just got. There's your screenshot. Oh, nice. Shout out to Lex. Thanks, Lex. Yeah, shout out hey, to Lex. Payment. Do you guys anyone else getting anything? What's up for Robert? <laughs> yeah, thank you, Robert. I just missed the screenshot. I did a bourbon tasting. Also. Dang, this is what I look like? Uh, stubby? Hey, he's stubby, my man. Yes. He was saying he did the bourbon tasting on the Disney Dream. I've also done that tasting. It's fantastic. 
on a Disney dream? Yes. Well, I did it. I don't know if I did it on the dream, but all of the Disney Cruise Line bourbon tasting is fantastic. Pretty good. Did you just say that? <laughs> <laughs> um, if you're on a deserted island and you can only choose one Disney drink, what are you bringing with you? Let that let that sizzle one on your brain. Dream? One Disney drink oh. on a deserted island. It's the only one you can have. Here. What? Captain Kirk, it doesn't disappoint. It's still there. Because it's on the... Um, we're at 243 likes. Keep it running it up. We need to get the 300. Uh, we're how many hours away from fireworks? We are... What time is it? 7.30? Yeah. So we got... An hour. An hour. Less than 15 minutes. An hour, hour 15, 15 minutes. minutes. So we're going to go do the pool area here. We're going to go do the swan. We're going to jump over to the boardwalk and then take a bus to Magic Kingdom. And hit go hit those monorails. I said if you could pick one Disney drink to take with you on the island, what would you take? He said anything from Opus. And you can't modify it, it has to be one drink. Can I make my own drink? One Disney drink that you buy from Disney. Alright, I'll just take a bunch of these. Hey. That's it. This is the I'm doing the Viking coffee. Oh. I mean Tipsy Ducks and Love is good, but I don't know if I can drink that all day and night. This would be a great Good night and good morning. Oh, also, excellent choice with the uh, ice champagne. Do you want the cherry? Where'd he go? Oh, anyways. I'm new to this live streaming thing, you know what I'm saying? I'm not really used to it, but, you know. Shout out to everybody that's came through so far. Been going strong for six hours? For 400 minutes. I went to school for basketball, so I don't know. What's 400 divided by 60? Well, what's 360 oh divided by 60? Oh six. There you go. And then another, so that you take minutes. subtract 50, then 40. So six hours and 40 six minutes. Six hours and 40 minutes. Oh, okay. This is how the math genius, not a lot of genius. You can look at me for a lot of people. Steven, never look at me for math. I will not be any help. Never <laughs> All be any All right. Help. We're going to go head over and show you more of this beautiful resort. You do realize as my agent filmer and all the above, if I don't have an answer to the question, I'm going to look at you. <laughs> Uh, that was dangerous. Yeah, I did yeah, not know there was a drip there. <laughs> Can you bring the box out? <laughs> Run it back. He's doing great. I'm liking the shirt. Me? Hey, shut up, yo. If y'all ever want, if y'all ever want some cheap Disney shirts, Target, Walmart, they got them. Slide through. Go pick up your Disney shirt because that's where I get the majority of mine. Or the Lost Bros. No, you're plugging all the wrong people. Adventures by Carney. We have a bunch of awesome shirts. Look at this sweet shirt. Look at this shirt. Don't you have lost her? Look at this shirt. That's <laughs> You want to celebrate 25th? And you can party with Pete. Also, he's got the Adventures by Carney hat on. Do you guys have Adventure by Carney phone cases? Not yet, but you could be the first. I will. All right. Tonight. It'll be the first phone case he's ever put on his phone. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, you can have all the fruit. All right, let's get moving. Whoop. Thank you again, Robert D. Really appreciate it. That was fun. And I didn't know that existed. So first time, Robert showing me a whole new thing. Pete Stomach says he's got the gear. All right, let's keep it moving. Are we ready? There's a lot to see and do in very little time. It's already 7.30. Holy moly, let's get moving. Sweet, sassy, molassy. Can't wait to go to Chili's. What the heck? All right. So this part of the resort, mostly convention space. I want to take you back towards the pool area because I think the pool area is gorgeous. I want to show you that uh, as well as the fitness center. And then we're going to walk over towards the swan. I don't know if it's the bourbon talking, which I'm teasing. Uh, but seriously, <laughs> I mean, just, then I messed up a word. Seriously, I just want to thank everyone so much for spending uh, however amount of time you did today. Nine hours is a crazy stream, and it's way too much of me. And yet, you're here, you're hanging out, uh, people are watching, and it means the world to me. So thank you, thank you, thank you. Just want to take a quick moment. The, the crew is behind me, but 
I know there's just there's so many options out there and content and nine hours is crazy. So thank you for being a part of it. No matter how long you've watched today, it means a lot. You've helped out. You put a smile on my face and it's been a really awesome Tuesday. So thank you so much. Thanks to everybody who's super chatted. Thanks to everyone who's Venmo. Thank you, Robert, for the drink. That was super cool. Let's head this way. Everyone, you ready? All right. So first we're going to pass the fountain eats and sweets. This is a little like dessert bar. They also have some cocktails. You can check out the full menu online. Also, Rosa Mexicano is down here as well. This is the new restaurant. We can't wait to check it out. We're gonna come back and check it out. We can't tonight, but I've heard really good things. They serve breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Breakfast is from seven to 11. Lunch is from 12 to two and dinner from five to 11. I'm excited to try it. And I heard they have a really good margarita. And you know I want to try that. Fajitas? Yeah, of course. Also this way is the Peekaboo Bufateria. You got to follow Peekaboo. So this is the way to the pool area, the cabana bar, the game room, laundry, the fitness center, and peekaboo. Peek and here's peekaboo. Peek They're not open right now, but this is peekaboo. And look at all the options. Oh, it looks fantastic. But there's no time. We must hurry. If you just found our stream, how are you doing? Thanks for being here. We are right now at the Dolphin Resort at Walt Disney World. We're doing as many resorts as we can today. We're doing a nine hour stream for 9,000 subscribers. This is resort number 10. We're gonna hit 16 resorts today. We've done a lot of modes of Disney transportation. Here's the laundry room. By the end of the day, we'll, we'll do every form of Disney transportation. And really, we're just hoping you're having a good time. This is a celebration. This is a big thank you to everyone who has helped out, shared, hit the like button, help. No, we're going in. This is one of my favorite gyms in all of Walt Disney World, and you guys will see why. I love this fitness center. It's honestly one of the best. Tell me it's not. So you walk in, first room, cardio. You got your bikes, your treadmills, your ellipticals. Then you got a few machines in the middle, leg press. You got your dips here. They have towels. They have water. Look at this. They have refrigerated towels for you. This is one of the best fitness centers. Refrigerated towels. They have locker rooms. More here. Then there's a cross training room where you could pick your program and do whatever program you want. You want to do a... A body stretch, a body burn, an upper body and core, a squat. You just put it on, it goes on the TV, and look at all the equipment in here. There's a heavy bag. There is weights. There is ropes. There are yoga mats. They got uh, everything you need. Balls, yoga bars. Weighted sticks. They have what I call a jungle gym. And then the TV, if you want to put on... Your program, uh, there's the yoga mats. Then, this is the cross training room. They're on the cardio equipment. Yeah, then additional equipment in here. A free weight room. Tell me this isn't a legitimate well, fitness center. This is like, this is like an actual gym. And a Peloton, too. This is my favorite and a Peloton machine. Let me see if anyone's in the men's room. Hold on. He's 
All right, we're going to see if I can lift these. These are uh, two tons each. Two tons. <laughs> two, count them, two marshmallows. <laughs> One. Someone said I've seen a few guys in there. Maybe they were pissed at their wives. No idea. Two. Yeah, I'm putting these down. Those are too heavy. All right, no one's in here, so I can show it. Captain Chad. I'll show it real quick. I know, again, bathroom's inappropriate, but it's just nice. You got a scale right here where you the sliding. You know it's legit. Full lockers, towels. Two showers with a staging area for you to change in and out of the shower, including shampoo, conditioner, and soap, handicap stall, benches, urinals, and a beautiful sink. You got dryers, you, got, you can take care of your needles. Like if you're Steven, you're juicing, you can put your needles in here. <laughs> your paper towels, your hair dryer, and look at this. Oh gosh, yeah, that, get a super close up. Thank you, Ooh, you look good. You know what I'm saying? It's hard to compete. And then you come out here and then you get a cold towel. Yeah. Ooh. Put that cold towel around your neck. Oh, yeah. How's that feel? I'm not holding that Let me just dab. Well, that does feel nice. <laughs> that does feel nice. But one of my favorite fitness centers on Walt Disney World property. All right. Time to hit the pool, gents, ladies, friends. Farris did. Hit the pools. There they are. The good news is, based on both of your shorts, we never lose you. Like, you have the most <laughs> brightest colored shorts. <laughs> we might take a swan boat, but also, how cool is just like looking at that? No one's even there, but that fire going right there on the beach? It's crazy that there's no one monitoring. I mean, they're a little farther it's away. surrounded by sand and water. Well, no, it's fine. Like, uh, you know what? Children not, shouldn't be trusted around fire. Ah, uh, come on. Here. One, get the swan boots. Screenshot it. Hashtag swan and dolphin. New thumbnail. Let's Third. go. <laughs> so it's a little quiet now, but we've Walk seen this. Down, we've down. seen this pool area bumping. We'll go right. Please do not be We've spent some time here. Ferris and I have spent some time here. So there's a pool bar there, but also that pool bar serves food and drinks. The food is so good. Ferris and I love hanging out here. But also, no matter where you're sitting, you can scan the QR code, put in where you're sitting, and they will bring it to your chair, whether it's food, a beverage. So this is one of the pools, but it gets better. Also... We are about 55 likes away from 300. What's up? They have a basketball hoop. All right, let's go. Let's show everybody right now. Watch how I dunk on Steven. They have a ball over there? Bet. I'm, I'm, I don't want to do this on camera to you, but but I will destroy you. You have to ask them for the ball? They got a hoop back there. If there was time, we got to do this on another stream so another pool here all these seats again you can order food and drink from a little kids waiting area which is fun and i don't mean waiting as in they have to wait to get in the pool waiting as in w-a-d-i-n-g you can walk through the pool this way we're gonna go this way because it's a little more fun and show you some of the other amazing features of this fantastic pool area so many hot tubs here's hot tub number one One of my favorite days. Farris, this is one of my favorite days when we played volleyball here for hours. So the net is down, but these two posts right here, one and two, uh, they put a volleyball net up, and we ran <laughs> pool volleyball games all day long. We were bringing family members. We kept making even teams. We had a blast. And it's just a beautiful pool area. Look at this. And we're going to keep going. So there's a bridge over here. Again, plenty of seating. Another hot tub over here. Lots of water elements. You see the waterfall behind the hot tub. They have a water slide, which exits right here. This is the main pool area, kind of quiet right now. You can see the grotto with the waterfall that I was talking about earlier. If you want to go to the grotto water slide, you actually go up 
this walkway over here. Go down the water slide, kid. <laughs> we'll head into the grotto. Because I think everyone here knows I don't tan. This is where I hang out. And they have their own restrooms in the grotto. There is a men and a women's room here and you can hang out under the grotto, by the pool, order your food and drinks to your chair. It's a great, uh, today's been a great weather day. Great weather day, another hot tub, more waterfalls, more waterfall, another bridge. We're partying. Look at this family having a great time. Surfs up here at Swan and Dolphin. Another bridge. The pool just keeps going. Honestly, one of the best pool areas here on property. I gotta charge my phone in a minute. You need the portable? Yeah, do you have uh, the one I gave you before? Oh, don't worry about it. No, no, I, no don't worry about it. Hold, hold on to it. I'll do it over here. And you can see this pool area just keeps going. Look at this crew. Oh, the one you said that needs to go in the back right? Well, we've also done this pretty recently, so I'm not going to do it. But if you took this trail, it would take you to the Swan Reserve. So the Swan and Dolphin were built at the same time. The Swan Reserve is pretty new. And across the street, Fantasia Gardens Mini Golf, where we've also done a recent stream, and home of our third annual mini golf tournament this Sunday at 2 o'clock. Which, if it's not on stream, it will be a edited video. Yeah, we're going to... But that's why We might go live. We might go live. <laughs> you got to ring the bell so you know when we're live. Also, I love that there's uh, activities down here on the beach. The kids are grabbing some marshmallows to go roast. They're making s'mores here at the fire. There's also beach volleyball set up. You could rent a swan boat. That's the path we just walked right over there. There is a playground here, two hammocks on the water. Let's head over to the other half of this resort. So we just did the dolphin. Let's head to the swan. Here's our other walkway over to the Swan Reserve, that new hotel that was recently built. This doesn't look straight to me, so I'm gonna straighten that out. There we go. You can see there's a spa, playground, grotto pool area, <laughs> Swan Reserve, Fantasia Mini Golf, Dolphin, Swan, water taxis, boardwalk. I feel like I might have messed that up. There we go. Another hot tub, but this one's closed. Getting a little love. An outdoor bar. This is normally open and closed right now. It is a little quiet right now. You got your billiards table, your table tennis. You got a hammock, another pool area, and another fitness center right there. Suzanne Ridge is the best pool because you can always find a chair and it's such a huge pool area. I agree. I love the Swan and Alpin pool. In my opinion, this is the pool I would go to before any other pool on Disney property. So we would normally walk in the front, but what we're going to do is we're going to walk in the side here at the Lakeview room and cut into the Swan here at Walt Disney World. I see a lot of chat. I'm going to catch up on the chat in a minute. We're just trying to keep it moved because we want to get to at least 16 resorts 
before fireworks at 8.45. And it's quarter to eight now. Yikes. We got an hour. The good news, we just have to do this. We'll cut through boardwalk. We just did an extensive boardwalk tour recently, so we won't go too in depth at the boardwalk. We'll show you some fun things. Then we'll take a bus over to Magic Kingdom. We'll go show you a contemporary in Bay Lake Tower. Seeing how much time we have, we might do Grand Flow, but otherwise we'll head over to the Polynesian. We're gonna watch Happily Ever After Fireworks on the beach. I'll show you this real quick because I just think this is a beautiful, it's closed right now, but this is a buffet they have here. And just look how gorgeous this is. Come on in, let's we'll walk through here. What is this? This is one of the dining spots here at the Swan. This is their buffet, Garden Grove. Garden Grove, not even Garden Grove. No, Garden Grove. And uh, just a few moderately beautiful cakes. I mean, this one has gold on it. That's gold leaf. <laughs> and silver. Silver and gold. I know. We got an hour till fireworks. We got to keep it moving. I heard good things about this place, but I've never been. So I'm going to say this. Well, one, Kimono's is great. So this is where you can do karaoke at night. We have to come here one night. Kimono's is a sushi place I heard here. Some of the best karaoke I've ever yeah. Heard. So when you come in, sushi bar on the left, this is the karaoke stage right here. And they have the TVs for the lyrics right there and here. Love the karaoke here at night. It's so much fun. And the sushi is really good. What's going on? Great to see you. Some of the best sushi ever right here at Kimono's. I got to come back. I'm, I love sushi. What's the, what's the uh, omakase? What are you doing tonight? What's the chef special? Jalapeno roll. Kimono roll Kimono roll? That's the big color right there. What's your specialty? Anything I want. Oh, my God. All right. We got to go end this stream and come back. All right, I'll see you at the fireworks. We'll be back later, guys. Appreciate it. Anything I want. No, all right. This is the sushi chef of the year. So I do like kimonos a lot. Uh, again, we keep things very positive here on the channel. We like to spread positivity. I will say, as a New Yorker and as someone who loves Italian food, I was left a little disappointed. No, disappointed with Il Molino. It is an Italian restaurant that even says New York underneath it, which you would think is literally catered towards me. And uh, Lauren and I both dined here and we were both let down. Sadly, we did not uh, enjoy it, but that's just our review and everyone is welcome to their own opinion. You can cut through to the lobby here. You can see the beautiful Swan water feature. That side is where you would enter for the Swan parking. There's a beautiful Swan courtyard on both sides. You can see it outside the windows right here. And behind us over here, I'll show you real quick, but we are in a hurry because we gotta, we gotta get some stuff done. I know, I'm just showing the courtyard. There's a beautiful courtyard over here. There's a beautiful courtyard over here. We won't miss the fireworks no matter what because we'll be over there. I just, it's how many resorts we get done. All right, let's keep it moving. Boardwalk. 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 And as we just discussed and you heard Ryan saying, ports. karaoke and sushi at Kimonos. These it is a super fun after hour spot for Epcot. Maybe, maybe even this Saturday night for the meetup, we'll come here or dance hall, who knows? Our Adventures by Carney meetup is this weekend. I'm very excited. Ooh, you can see it starting to happen. So remember I said this is so beautiful at night. The lights, the way they change and dance and play off the palm trees is absolutely beautiful. Zach, everybody. <laughs> Zach is here. Look at this. I love it. Zach, do you know everyone in the group? Ryan, Steven. The sun is setting. Look at how beautiful the sky is. It's that time of day. So here's one of the friendship boats. These are the friendship boats that make several stops where you can go from Epcot to Hollywood Studios and all the resorts in between. And by that, I mean, if you were to come from Hollywood Studios, you get to get a stop here at Swan and Dolphin, which is right here, the shared stop. Then there's a shared stop over at Beach and Yacht. Then there's the Boardwalk shared stop. 
and then you park over at Epcot, turn around, do it again. And now we're headed to Disney's Boardwalk. Come to the show place of the shore. As Ryan just said, you might have heard it behind me, but I'm gonna re just say it again because it was great. Yeah. Look okay. at this place come alive at night. And look at that sunset. Beautiful. I like it because we're getting to see some of the lights come on here at the boardwalk. Oh, the boardwalk is the best at night. It really is. And I said, so is the Swan and Dolphin. I love the Swan and Dolphin at night. Plus, a lot of time you get that, uh, like, this might sound weird for people who, like, I used to be uh, in sales and go to conventions. Like, that convention at night energy where everyone's like, what are you drinking? Like, they're just like, everybody wants to have a good time. Oh, absolutely. Yeah, because they just worked all day. <laughs> they just worked all day, and they're like, now's my fun time, and I'm away on not a vacation, but yeah. I'm going to pretend it is. Yeah, this is a business expense now. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Also, I'm pretty sure that's not a flight, but that might be one of the boosters returning to Earth. I'm just saying, what is that? What is that? That's an airplane. <laughs> if that's an airplane, I don't want to be on it. That is wild. Look at that trajectory. What's fun about living in Florida now compared to New York, I'm from New York for those who don't know, is you see these uh, random fun flights in the sky. All right, we're headed to Disney's Boardwalk. I will never forget this sign What? I'm gonna go show uh, Atlantic Dance Hall and this area over here, and Marquita's gonna speak to Pete for a minute. All right, yeah, go show all the fun places. So right over here is Atlantic Dance Hall. We might be going here on the Saturday meetup day. It is free cover, live DJ, Thursday to th Sunday. And then right across the way is Jelly Rolls. I don't know what their cover is right now, but it keeps getting higher. I, said, I talked about Jelly Rolls. I said I don't know what the cover Yeah, is. we got Jelly Rolls. It keeps getting higher. Atlantic Dance Hall, a lot of fun. No cover, 21 and over. So you can see they're remaking the Crest of the Wave area here, which conveniently is right next to the now shuttered Big River Brewing. We don't know what that's going to turn into. They did have a food truck here since they closed Big River, but that is no more. Big River Brewing was never actually supposed to be a food place here, right? What you're looking at right now. Uh, it was supposed to be a retail location. That's why they never had fryers or ovens. What? What's a fun fact? I just literally said all of that. One of the best burgers. It's not. It was actually some of the worst food on property and it smelled terrible. And also it was never meant to be a dining location. Here's a fun fact. It was a retail store. They never had fryers. They never had ovens. Everything had to come out of a microwave or a quick prep kitchen, which is why it didn't do well. And then most of the space was dedicated to beer making and the beer wasn't bad, but it wasn't the greatest beer you ever had as someone who has been to 500 breweries. So we were also here on the last night to try all the beers one last time for Big River. Any other fun facts, Steven? No, I was messing with you. Because they don't have a fryer. Because they were never meant to be a food establishment. It was supposed to be a retail shop, and last minute they were like, we need another dining location, so they put you in Big River. There? No, probably a, another retail shop, like that wasn't Threads, but I don't know. I said it's curious, so I was talking about it. The only reason I'm teasing is because as I was saying all this, you're like, you wanna know a fun fact? And I just said the whole thing, <laughs> is that everything next to it has fences up, so I'm wondering if they're going to actually turn it into a real restaurant or 
what that is going to become. What is the Can we do a heist? A Can heist? Steal this for me? Oh, you want the big wheel bicycle? I want the penny farthing. Is that what that's called? Yes, it's a penny farthing. But yeah, when the, when that's the, a fun fact. See, Stephen, he just taught me something. I didn't know the big wheel bicycle is the penny farthing. How did you not know that? <laughs> Come on, bro. It teaches that in third grade. <laughs> oh, yeah, in third grade, you learned about the penny farthing? <laughs> Don't ask me how to spell it now. Like, All right. <laughs> So I'm sure a lot of you know, if you watch the channel, if you're new, I am so sorry, but there's a ton of content. We have done extensive tours of the boardwalk and we start most of our streams here at the boardwalk, but we really want to get over towards Magic Kingdom because we got resorts to hit over there and we want to get to the Polynesian by 845 for Happily Ever After. So you can stay and watch the movie or you can go with us to Magic Kingdom. I just did a short on this. If you follow Adventures by Carney, I just did a short right here. And now the nighttime is sponsored by M&M's. Yeah, and they sell M&M's and Skittles next to it. I just, I agree. I just said on TikTok and Adventures by Carney, you can go find a great short. Yes, this art store that's open year round. And a lot of this stuff is actually moved over to Festival of the Arts when it's here. We don't have a lot of time, but I'll show you from the door just because it's, so beautiful. Yeah, so these tables I love. These are on display usually uh, in that area outside of Creation Shop towards Test Track. It's They're beautiful, but they're so expensive. It's so cool, but so expensive. All right, we got to go. We got to go. We got to get to the monorail line. Monorail time. Uh, so yeah, I love the movies on the lawn here because those little blankets and lanterns. And if you do want to see a short, we did just post one. Check it out here on the channel. You may have noticed today we're kind of uh, going deep dives at some resorts and quick coverage at others. And that's because we've done a lot of this stuff on our stream. If I've done it in the last 60 days, we tend to move a little bit quickly. So we haven't done All-Star in a while, so we took our time at All-Star. But then we just recently did Art of Animation, so we kind of cruised through there a little bit faster than normal. We took a little more time at Pop Century because we haven't done that in a while. Caribbean Beach, we have a whole stream on that in the last two months. We have a whole stream uh, here on the boardwalk. So just check out the channel if, there's a, if you want a deeper dive into some of the resorts that we skip through a little bit faster. Which way do we go to the buses? This way? Yes. Right. Monkey, say what? Right. We're going on the bus. I will see you. Taking the car? All right. Are you driving to Well, we're going to take a bus and we're going to do Contemporary Bay Lake Tower and then take a monorail to Polly for fireworks. So if you want to do. I know, we're going to try. We're going to see how long the bus takes. All right, Either way, we'll be at Polly by 840. It's, it's five to eight now. We have 45 minutes to fire. We have 50 minutes to fireworks, but we want to be there before that. So I think we'll be okay. But I worked out. I deserve a cold towel. Well, I'm not saying you don't deserve it. I think you deserve it. Oh, really? Why would they just. No, as long as you bring it back one day. Huh? Yeah, I'll bring it back one day. One day. Once it's warm again. It's still cool. No, I'm going to keep it on ice until I break it. Until you break it. Yeah. <laughs> Hey, return to one. So imagine getting to stay at this room and this is your view. I believe that these rooms are not being rented out right now. Honestly, I would stay in these rooms for a discount. <laughs> yeah, right? Yeah, low key, low key. Yeah. Give me the corner. Yeah, $100 a night. What's the scaffolding rate? Yeah. All right, Marquita, we'll see you over there. Yep. Are you driving? Yep. Well, a lot of people breaking into cars. Zach and Farris breaking out. Marquita breaking out. You want to go ahead? Go ahead. We got to go get our car. Go ahead. Well, we're down to me and Ryan. Wow, it's like every other street. <laughs> no, it's nice having a bunch of friends, but it's fun. Me and Ryan, back to the two of us. And yeah, uh, now we're waiting for a bus. Co-host, and I was like, yeah. No, Co-host Ryan. Uh, unofficially. I like it. 
So let's see, the next boss, 8.15 to the Magic Kingdom. 15 minutes. Oh, more than that. We might, we might have to go with Marquita. Ugh. Ugh. Don't like that. Well, let's see what happens. It's supposed to be every 15 minutes. <laughs> no, I think they say 20 max now. Mm. And, it's ex and it must have just left because that yeah. is 18 minutes. Well... If you wanted to, why don't you just take the Skyliner now to Caribbean and then just drive to Pali or meet us at Pali? The Skyliner's right there and you can take it over there. Right? Go walk out here like you're going to Epcot. Just hop on the Skyliner and get off at the Riviera. You're right. And then you'll be there before us because we're going to two other resorts. <laughs> Fist bump the chat. It's not water, but if you want some, sure. Yeah, it's Sprite. Because you, know, you know how I said I don't drink soda. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right, all right. All right. Chad, we'll go ahead, we'll see you. We'll see you at the Poly. I don't know why underneath this awning there's no service for some reason. Like we just lost service twice, but over here I have perfect service. So I'll stand. You can sit. Take a load off. No, I'll take a load off. I'll, I'll, uh, We'll get your opinions from over there. I feel like sitting is necessary for a lot of people right now. Hi, everyone. <sighs> We're doing it. I keep clapping. I don't know why I'm clapping. Oh, what I have to do is charge my phone. 10%. Oh, this music is fantastic, though. <laughs> Hey, we're still watching. Thanks so much. Happy Tuesday. We are uh, 427 minutes into this live stream. Let's see if we're charging. We are charging. It is eight o'clock. Exciting stuff at 845. We're gonna be watching Happily Ever After Fireworks from the beach, the Polynesian. So right now we're looking to catch a bus over to Magic Kingdom. From there, we're gonna walk over to the Contemporary Hopefully, I have enough time to give you a quick tour of Contemporary Bailey Tower. But worst case, we're going to hop on a monorail, make sure we get to the Polynesian in time to show you Happily Ever After from the beach. They pump in the music. It's beautiful. And it's a absolutely gorgeous night. Big thanks to everybody who's been here all day. If you're just joining, no worries. I'm going to go back in the chat to where we left off and say hi to some people. And we'll go from there. And again, if I ever miss your comments or you want to shout out, or you have a question, comment, throw it in the chat. If I don't answer it and it's a good question or a comment, throw it in there again. All right. What's going on a little bit? Good to see you. <laughs> Dawn says my husband says the same thing. He's 5'11 and three quarters. That's me. Uh, Robert, you were right. Marquita liked that drink a lot. She was put it on her menu. Thanks again to Robert for that awesome drink we had over at the Dolphin, over at Finn's Bar in the lobby at the Dolphin. I always want to say at Disney's, but it's, it's not Walt Disney World, but the Dolphin on Disney property. <laughs> then Venmo's. Uh, we've had, is this our bus? Oh, Disney Springs. Boo. I thought you were joking about the security card. No, no, no. Being our bus. No, I was talking about this bus pulling up right here. Disney Springs and Typhoon Lagoon. Good to see Boston Drew here. Oh, here's a bus. Surprise. I love the smoke that came out of there. It was super cool. Here, I'll move this. Honestly, I can could... No! Party foul. The worst part is my ankle just got wet. I Why need... so many coat hangers? I don't know, but I need hangers. Yeah, but you don't want the wire ones. So listen, I actually do like the wire ones. So in my main closet, I have the nice hangers. Yeah. And then I have a closet of like meh shirts. I hang all my shirts. I don't fold any of my shirts. I don't uh, fold any of my shirts either, but I don't hang them either. But these are my meh shirt hangers. Like, yeah, everyone has like the shirts that like, I don't you wear. I don't know like, if you want to put them on there so to go through security. No, I don't want to put these anywhere. No. There you go. Now we got some more room. It's more real yeah, estate. Let's go over here and you can jump in and also not weird everybody out getting on the bus. Well, I was going to weird out the people getting on the bus anyways. <laughs> but that's just because of the way I look and act. That makes sense. 
next two of us. Yeah, no, it's it's the wrong bus, Robert. Hey. Don't worry, I'm not getting on your bus. Have a good night. Also, we're at 250 likes. Just 50 we away. 50 more likes. 50 likes. Can we get 50 in an hour and a half? I think we should be able to. I think we deserve it. I love that that bus driver saw me open my LaCroix and uh, looked at me like, are you getting on my bus? And I was like, I'm not getting on your bus. And he's like, cool. What a fun guy. Um, no, no, we do not need a meal. And the other thing Robert messaged me the other day about if you're coming to the event, Robert is still, even though he can't make it, is still trying to do very nice things for everybody going to the event. And he's amazing. Also, I can't wait for the golf outing. We're doing the Disney J Disney Day Drinkers Club golf outing. Hello again. Uh, if we went away for a second. Yeah. But uh, uh, yeah, Open, I can't wait. Sports uh, we are doing it. Um, I can't, I can't wait. We have custom shirts. We got the Pit Vipers. I'm so excited for my shirt. It's going to be great. Uh, let's see what else is going on here. This is where I left off. Yeah, for Marquita to say that she wants to put it on her menu, it's a big deal. It was a very delicious drink. That's crazy, though. I think I've only heard her say that maybe a handful yeah, of times. Very, very low percentage. Um... We talked about the bourbon tasting. It is fantastic. Yes. I always recommend trying to do a, um a alcohol tasting on the Disney cruises because not only are they curated by um, experts, but they are actually usually a very good deal, especially when you're talking about the quality of drinks that you're getting. I've never been on Disney Cruise, so I'm taking your word for it. I've, I've been on three. Fancy. So, not enough. That seems like a lot. Ne it's never enough. You, they say three's a crowd. You always need one more. Uh, Never mind. There's always room for one more. So many jokes. Um, yes, there is. Uh, again, big thank you to Robert D. Captain Kirk, uh, great to see you. Still here, hanging out all day. Love it. Brandy says, Blues has been on my list. Need to make it over there. Me too, Brandy. Let's go together. You want to go together? There's so many resort restaurants that I need to go to. Yeah, well, again... I'm not counting the Swan and Dolphin. There's three left for me, but then if I include the Swan and Dolphin, there's a few more. So I want to do the New Mexican place. I want to do Blue Zoo. Uh, so if I count resorts, I'm at dozens. Yeah, there's a lot of the resorts. Uh, but if I count parks, exclusively parks, I'm at three. All right, that's not bad. That's good. And all of them are in Epcot. That also makes sense. That story tracks. Uh, Andrew Wise says, best live stream since the Walt Disney World Splash Mountain in closing day. Thanks so much. Hi, a little bit. Great to see you. Um, Dawn says, my kid doesn't understand, didn't understand the buffeteria aspect. <laughs> it took one of it everything. It took one of everything, like an actual buffet. So you still have to pay for everything as you pick it, which is why, why that's very funny. And shout out to me. I also might have done the same thing. I mean, I don't get me wrong. If my parents were like, this is a buffeteria, I, in my head, I would just be like, I'm taking everything. Yeah, why did you say the buffet weird? I yeah. is that long for buffet? God Are you not on first name basis with this buffet? Uh, thanks for your fancy buffet. Whatever. What are we in France? Yeah. Um, I love Dawn said. Oh, people <laughs> work out on vacations. Yeah, and they uh, have the weighted sticks. Yeah, the heavy sticks. <laughs> Melvin said, unfortunately, no one is taking advantage of the workout equipment. There was we, one person. There was, and she was so serious, I had to get out of the room fast. Yeah, she was scary. She could beat us up. She was on the same level she might as, want to. as Shaq. What is this? Riviera. Riviera. What are you doing? Where are you going? Yeah, Riviera. Change Who are it. you? Change this to Magic Kingdom. Magic Kingdom. Where are you going? Magic Kingdom. You going to Magic Kingdom? I'm going to go ask. I'll be here. Where are they going? I'll tell you. 
when asked, where are you going, this is what I got. Nah, he's not going anywhere. I think that's the end of his day. Oh, I guess he was just being a kind Just gentleman. being nice, dropping people off. We got that once, and big shout out, because he's a subscriber now, Walt, the bus driver on Disney property. Walt? His name was Walt, hard to forget. We got, we were doing the first ever, we were trying doing a Disney bus bar crawl, is that getting on, we would go to a resort, uh, not a resort, a park, right? We'd be at like Epcot, that shows up, and then wait there for the next bus, and then go to that random resort and get a drink there. And we were at Epcot, and Walt pulled up in a bus and goes, where are you guys headed? We go, anywhere, we're doing this thing. And he says, oh, I'll take you guys anywhere you want. We had our own private bus. It was oh like- Oh my God. A, it, yeah, it was like a minivan, but we had a Disney bus. What is this, Boardwalk? That's where we are. Where are you going? Let's see, let's see. I mean, it, uh, it's a coin toss between Magic Kingdom and Disney Springs. And since Disney Springs is left, Magic Kingdom! Magic Kingdom! Kingdom! Hooray! Jesus! All right, let's go do this. I'll take, I'll take this. All right, I'm gonna get someone shot. You wanna head to the back of the bus? We'll go in the front. Oh, well, I guess we'll go in the front door. Thank you. Honestly, I love this moment at Disney Plus, but it smells like a long day in the parks. It, you know, it's not the most flattering scent. But I, it just smells like nostalgia to me. Here, I'll slide over this way. Oh, hello. Hello. If that's uncomfortable, I get us hold it. Because also, <laughs> we're moving. How we have to catch up with the chat now. You're gonna use your phone? Here, I'll hold this. And we'll do this. Hi, everyone. Oh, I'm getting this. this. All right, here we go. No, 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 that's not going to work. No, no, no. All right. Where were we in the chat? You know, I'm not entirely sure. All right, so first you have to hit the three little bars because you're at top messages. You have to go to all messages because they filter some people out. Yeah. So the three little bars, no, 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 go back right above that. Yeah, right there. All messages. Oh, oh, that's so much better. Oh, yeah, now you get it all. And if you want my message away, you can tap it. Well, it gets a little small. Yeah. I don't know where we were, but. I don't know if I can scroll up as far no, as. No, 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 that's fine. We were around here anyway. Yeah, this is about where we were. So what's up, So Cargo? Uh, oh, yep, because there's there's Komodo. Talking about, talking about a zebra purse. Yep, uh, Glenn's doing some shopping. Captain Kirk's Komodo is a great sushi uh, restaurant and karaoke. Yeah, I think it's a really fun time at night. I also love Kalani and sushi. Shout out to Queen Kalani. And also, welcome to the Romantic Hour. Brandy said, ah, the good old bus in the evening. What else we got in there? Anything fun? Uh, Robert D is excited about the cake bake shop, the champagne bar. Yes, there'll be a champagne bar at the cake bake shop here at Disney's Boardwalk. What else we got going on? Uh, Robert D was saying that he loves the art store. Uh, there was one in there that he loved for eighty-five thousand dollars. Almost bought it, and the other half said, "Jeez, yeah, I would wait on that. That's something you should probably not impulse buy." Oh, we forgot to visit the creepy chairs on the boardwalk. Uh, we've done it a million times, but if you don't know about the creepy chairs... I believe they're called babysitter chairs. Sure. Uh, and then there's Robert D offering the minivan, and I said no. By the way, uh, Ryan is skimming the chat, so if you want to say anything fun or have any questions, comments, you want to shout out, jump in the chat. Our next stop is the Magic Kingdom. For a hot minute. Uh, Brandy uh, says, agree on the cruise tastings. Already have one booked with the cruise coming up. 
Uh, she loves the wine and chocolate pairing class on uh, Disney Cruise Line. Uh, Laura's yes. afraid to go on a cruise, so anyone who wants to just have me tag along, let me know. I'll come. I'll pay for I, myself. I have to do one in the next uh, uh, 16 you have months. To do, you have to do one? Yes. Okay, why? Uh, so Disney Cruise Line now uh, used to never have an expiration date on your tier. Oh. Uh, and now we do where you need to have one cruise in five years, which is pretty reasonable. Okay. Uh, but I haven't cruised in almost two, so I need to cruise in the next two to three years. All right, I'm in. Uh, so I would like to do one sooner than later. We'll figure one out. We'll go like for night. I'm, it would be I so love much cruising. Fun. I, there we go. Uh, Robert D. did try and book us a minivan, and we got on the bus instead. Robert, you're out of control. Uh, out of control. I love him. Uh, I love yes, that but man. the ABC, it's also um, Insomniac did a cruise called the EDC. Oh, well, me, you, and Brandy would be on the EDC. Yeah. Yeah, I would I would love to have done that. All of us were at EDC in Orlando. Yes, we were. Year, which is a lot of fun. I have a bunch of uh, contents that I recorded from that. I yeah. still don't know if I it's can post it. It's very difficult to record family-friendly content. Even if you are being family-friendly, the area around you might not be. Yeah, it's just, a, it's a lot. Um, oh, look at people playing Fantasia Gardens. That's our course. That's where uh, we're going to be doing our third annual mini golf tournament this Saturday I I do, at 2 p.m. I hope we do as this well Sunday as we did last stream. Yeah, all we got to do is do the same thing we did last time. Well, yeah. I have to play better, but... You have to play two strokes better. I want to play five strokes better. I would also like to shave at least two to three strokes off my game. This Sunday, the third annual Adventures by Carney mini golf. <laughs> Brandy, just, it's a lot laughing face. I do have a, I do have one uh, short that I kind of want to put out where I just call following Ferris Films at EDC, where I just try to keep up with him, him cutting through crowds, saying hi to people. And oh dancing. my god! Yeah, well, it's because he's so skinny. I know, and it's me trying to keep up with him. Yeah, and it's we hilarious. are. Uh, I would like to say burly boys. We we. Uh, have a wide berth. Yeah. Like any good ship. Yes. Also, hi, Socargo. Hi, Socargo. I said your name right this time. You did? So, Cargo. Yeah, I had to think about it. We're being, oh, there's our minivan. Thanks, Robert. It's passing us by right there. Uh, sorry, minivan. So we're on a bus to the Magic Kingdom, but we're not even gonna go into the Magic Kingdom. We are headed, by the way, there's Solar Mickey. If you ever look at Google Maps, this solar field that you're looking at is a giant Mickey Mouse on Google Earth. Go check also, it out. Robert D is just basically threatening you. He says, Santa hears you need, it might happen. Santa hears me about what? I'm assuming the cruise. No, it's too, that's ridiculous. How about this? Uh, I'd rather you, uh, I got about four or five different business projects coming up. I'd rather you get your money back. Just fund those. I can give you your money back plus profit. And uh, it helps me not take on all the financial responsibility like I normally do. Robert D is so extremely generous uh, and one of the nicest people on the planet. Absolutely. I love hanging out with Robert D even if he didn't spend a dollar. Oh, uh, yeah. I would hang out with him. I, I would honestly probably hang out with him more because I feel a little guilty. I, that's why I always offer whenever he comes to the town. I'm like, do you need a ride to the airport? Do you need a ride from the train? Do you yeah. wanna, do you wanna stay in my guest bedroom instead of the Grand Floridian? I and, know it's a downgrade. And like some people, yeah, I was about to say, <laughs> as if my guest bedroom is even close to the Grand Floridian. Yeah. He's well, like, no, they, Pete, thanks. Yeah, they know his name. Well, I mean, it's not like you don't know his name, but like, Robert D is known at the Grand Floridian. Oh yeah, we don't have valet at my place. Yeah. I mean, you could do it. Or we don't have bartenders that are paid, but I'd be happy to bartend for Robert. Anyway. Yeah, it's just, it's difficult to keep up with his taste because those bottles are expensive. We have to find out Robert's uh, birthday and whatever the next big milestone is, we're throwing a giant party at the Grand Float. I, would I feel like that. we should just show up with like balloons, tell all the bartenders, the valet. Oh yeah, we got to tell the bartenders and the valet. Robert, can you let us do it and just sit back and let us celebrate you? All right. Um, we're, what else we got in the chat? Because I'm going to tell some fun facts in the meantime. We're uh, passing the TTC. Uh, Brandy says, does the Grand Flow have whiteboarding? Um, 
funny you should mention that, Brandy. I was thinking about bringing whiteboardy to our Friday activities to the pool party and barbecue at the Polynesian because I have a little thing I want to do and I was going to bring whiteboardy to help with my presentation. Uh, and then Kid in the chat said, Pete, we had now. Thanks for letting uh, the kid on the stream. Of course. We love you. Great seeing Kid. Yeah, everyone's always welcome. Come meet up with us on streams. It was great hanging out with Kid, but also great meeting Andrew for the first time. And uh, Andrew, you're welcome back anytime. Thanks for hanging out with us. Yeah, no, we gotta we gotta make sure that uh, Andrew C does not. No, he, there's no way. First of all, I'm, a, I'm gonna pull a Tanya Harding on the 15th hole, if that's the case. I, if he's up uh, by the 15th hole. We're going to pull Tanya. Yeah, we might we might have to accidentally throw him into traffic. He's uh, you you know that hole that's right along the water. I think it's fifteen or sixteen, mm -hmm. where he just gets a little wet. Yeah, just a little wet. Just a little wet. If you don't know what we're talking about, so uh, Andrew C in the chat, Boston Drew in our Discord, uh, has won back to back years, and it's really like he's just rubbing it in our faces because the first year he didn't take it serious. The second year, he showed up a little tipsy. He went over to see Jimmy at Animal Kingdom. Uh, had a few peat margaritas, a few bourbons, and uh, played with a two-foot putter, and he is like 6'4", and still beat everyone. Uh, so we can't allow it to happen again. Yeah. I'm about to go every day until the party crew meet up. Yeah, I'm going to start analyzing the greens. I'm going to have spreadsheets, the wind. Yeah, I'm going to make sure that he has a five-foot tall putter. <laughs> He's got to play on one foot. Yeah. Yeah, I'm giving him horse blinders. You think we just ask her, like, hey, you can make a quick stop. Uh, we'll, just, we'll just stop at the poly. It's a bold move. Bold I don't think move. it's going to happen. Also, I'm a little worried that we're not going to hit. I set a crazy goal today of 300 likes, and we have only uh, about an hour and 15 minutes left. And we have 45 likes left. I'm a little nervous. I'm a little nervous. I'm also a little nervous. So if anyone hasn't hit the like button, it would be awesome if you did. And if you haven't subscribed, that would, oh, yeah. would be really cool, too. Yeah, yeah, Bill D. We do love, we do love Boston Drew. We of just, course, we love we him. We just can't have him win. Yeah, this has nothing to do with love. We love Boston Drew. He's yeah. a great guy. I love hanging out with, with Andrew. He's yeah. awesome. This is strictly mini golf, com, you know, competitive talk. Yeah, right this, is, this is for the love of the game. Exactly. Couldn't have said it better myself. You know, like, when the Patriots were winning everything, and I'm not talking to the whole Boston, you know, affiliate right now because there's a lot of you in the chat, but you know how, like, the whole world was just rooting against the Patriots? That is our Boston Drew. Yeah, he yeah. is the Patriots right now. He's the Patriots, and we just want – it doesn't have to be my team, but some teams got to take them down. Yeah, a 3 P would be unprecedented. Unheard of. Unprecedented because also the fact that if you won the first three of three would be insane. Yeah. You think that'll just let us out here? It's so close to contemporary where I want to go. I don't think so. No. But you know what? This is kind of fun. I haven't taken a bus to the Magic Kingdom in a while. And I this what taking a bus to Magic is the most, like. yeah, this is the most like nostalgia kind of ride. Because you only do this when, like, you're staying on property and you pull up close and you get to go underneath the pretty huts, as I call them. Yeah. Especially at night because they're all lit up. Pretty huts. Pretty huts. What's Robert saying? All I heard was, I'll shut up, but I don't know what he was saying before that. Uh, he was saying that there's so many jokes to be said about, oh. uh, I'm assuming, his putter length. Oh, okay. We're talking about... It's not, honestly, Andrew proved this. It's not the size of the club. It's how you use it. Yeah. It is 823. Uh, Dawn say it. Uh, oh, we don't. Really loving the Boston sports hate tonight. Not. I don't, listen, if you're going to dominate, you're going to get a little, a little hate. Boston 
sports have dominated. And good for you. You live the dream. Imagine being me, a Jets fan. I've never even seen my team in the Super Bowl since I've been on the planet Earth. You've never really even seen your team win? I've never even seen my team. Yeah, I've seen them make the playoffs like once or twice. Yeah. Uh, even my basketball team never made the finals since I've, uh, I think, been alive. All right, here we go. Hold on. Yeah, but your sneakers make you an honorary Celtics fan. Uh, no, it matches my shirt. Oh no, sorry. Hold on. Thank you. I'm getting off the bus. Thank you. Oh, the legs. Once you sit and you go back to standing, yeah. it's not fun. Also, Ferris just texted. He's not going to join us back up. I knew as soon as everybody got in their cars, they weren't coming back, Ryan. This is not a shocking revelation. No, but I just wanted it confirmed. But it was very, yes. It was very nice seeing uh, Andrew, Kid, Ferris, Zach. I do think we might see Marquita and uh, maybe Brooke coming out to hang out. But either way, I got my boy Ryan. And with the monorail behind you, look at you looking oh fancy. God, monorail gold? Because you're gold. It's because this is a gold star screen. Do you think it just, is there a way to just go this way? Or is that breaking too many rules? Because we have to go through security this way, and I don't want to go through security. I would rather not go through security as well. But I'm, unfortunately, it's the only way, unless we just go and take one of these ferry boats to the TTC and then walk to the poly from there. Oh, that could be fun, too. I don't know if we Is can even get to the boat. Right? No, because I'm pretty sure we still have to go to security gets it to do that. No. Really? Yeah. Uh, I'm going to set off security if I go through it. So I'm going to do something I shouldn't. But I don't like doing that. I'm a rule follower. But I just want to walk to the contemporary and not go into the Magic Kingdom. So... No, there's an opening right there. I've seen it. I've never done it, but I'm pretty sure I could do this. I'm not recommending anyone do this. Uh, and the only reason I'm doing it is because I'm going to set off security. They're going to have me empty my backpack. And all I want to do is go over to the contemporary where everything in my backpack is completely legal. It's just not allowed in a theme park. Loose ice. <laughs> yeah, you're not allowed to bring all this ice into a theme park. You really aren't allowed to have loose ice. You can't bring loose ice in. It's a real thing. Look it up. Hi. Oh my gosh, yes. We got Thank bus you. tokens. This is so cool. Look at this. This is a sign that we did the right decision coming this way. How cool is that? Uh... <laughs> there is a break right over there by that trash can, but everyone's going to be upset with us. Everyone's going to be upset. I'm going to ask her. She knows what she's talking about. Everyone, you're gonna be muted for one second just so I could uh, have a private conversation.
All right. We're going to go with the honesty is the best policy and see what happens. That's why I ask cast members. I just, I muted it because I try and do the right thing to protect the cast members. Uh, I just tell them the honest situation. We'll see what happens. But also, we pre I'm pretty sure we have to just go straight to Polly. So the plan is right now we're going to go straight to the Polynesian, check out some fireworks from the beach, happily ever after. They pump in the music at the Polynesian beach and it's beautiful. The reason we're doing the Polynesian is we just recently watched happily ever after in the park. We also recently watched it over at the cool viewing spot over at the contemporary, but we haven't done the Polynesian beach in a very long time. So we're going to go do that now. And uh, I will mute you when we go through security. So just hang out and hit the like button, share it with friends. We're about to go watch Happily Ever After from the Polynesian Beach and give you a little tour of the Polynesian as well. So we'll see what happens. Again, the stream will be muted for a quick minute. We'll be right back. All that worry for nothing. Which, hold on, I, I might even put that on the stream, but my magic number is just increased by two. Ah. Lucky you. <laughs> oh, that's fun. Thanks for hanging out with me, everyone. I hope you're enjoying the stream. They put a new lighted sign up for the ferry boat entrance, but we are headed to the resort launches. So it also looks like it's a rolling sign. It's on oh, nice. It's battery powered. I was going to say, because I've never seen that, but that makes a lot of sense. Yeah. Look how beautiful the entrance to the Magic Kingdom is. Oh, here we go. We'll take another ch shot. Yeah, I think we should take the boat. We haven't done a boat yet today. Yeah, let's try and do a boat. That's what I'm talking about. Polynesian? You know what? I'm going to go this way. <laughs> hey, listen, it's not like we come here often. No, 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 no. Also, I don't know if the boot is the best choice right now because the wonderful electric water pageant is happening. All right, you want to take the monorail? Uh, and I know that the water pageant does... Uh, delay I'll ask. Alternate let's, let's just ask. I don't know if they're going to be the people who know the answer. I feel like they might. I have a question. Because the electrical water pageant's going on, will we still be able to get a boat, or is it going to wait? Since the electrical water pageant is happening, will they still take us to the Polynesian, or do we have to wait until it's over? That's the boat pulling in right there. Um, the boat will probably sit there for about five minutes and then take off. Where did they go? It usually doesn't stop for that pageant. The pageant's more than halfway over right now, so... Okay. So we can get on and go? Because you are just thinking, like, is monorail faster than poly, or is this faster? The monorail's going to take a bit longer, especially with the boat end off, because it's going to stop at the other end. And the so center. this is the way. Cool. So this yeah. is... All right. I would take, I would take this one. Okay, no, I would love... I, I want the boat. That's why I was asking. This is why we went with the pros. Thanks for being here. We love you guys. Thank you, guys. But if it does get delayed, don't come looking for it. Oh, you're in big trouble. You're in big trouble. How do I do an uncompliment for a cast member? I love that we're going to take a boat past the electrical water pageant. I love the electrical water pageant. Look at that gator chomping out there. Arr, 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 arr. I'm so excited. We're doing the fireworks cruise, which means we get to see fireworks this Friday and... If we have a cool driver, we get to see electrical water pageant as well. 
I'm not cutting you guys. I'm just coming over here. What's up, Eric? Oh, it's a croc. Sorry, Don. We're only 35 likes away from 300. I feel like we might be able to do it. If you haven't hit the like button yet, let's do it. I set a crazy goal. I didn't even think it was possible. And again, all of you amazing people making the magic happen for me. Thank you so much. I try to bring a little bit of magic here from Disney, but you are making me so happy. So thank you so, so much. And thanks for just hanging out all day. I hope you've enjoyed this nine hour stream. This was a celebration of 9,000 subscribers, which again is a big thank you to all of you. I'm just a lucky friggin' guy. Up, oh, we're switched over to the America section. America, spread your golden wings. You ever see that show, Ryan? Thank goodness. Also, I believe that show is Alto. Um, uh, that song is also featured. No, that's Two Brothers. Two Brothers. What another great song. Oh, uh, no, no. Take him with you. Ah, that's what I thought. Hi, Nate D. What's up? Two Brothers is in both the uh, American Adventure and the Alto Great Moments with Esther Lane. Ah, that's right. Kristen Halfie in the house. What's up, Halfie fam? Ryan Avery and I will be there Sunday night to Friday night. I love it. I can't wait to hang out with you. Get to hang out with the Halfies. Sadly, no mic. But I get to hang out with Kristen and Ryan and Avery. I'm so excited. I love the Halfie fam. They are like my second family. Hi, welcome. Oh, sorry. Just looking. Any seats up there or no? We got one row, Ryan. Sounds good. Or we don't have... Okay, you can have it. It's fine. No, you were here first. You were here first. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. There's a princess. We got to put a princess up there. It's all good. It's all good. We'll just drive. Yeah, of course. We're going to the back of the boat. Thanks for sailing. That's right. You got the window seat. That's what I'm talking about. Can I ask you a flavor? What? Can you just hold that for one sec for me? Uh, this? Yeah. <laughs> I am just going to reorganize my bag. Oh, this is definitely a there. Oh, yeah. Yeah, we're going to get to see the poly. Who let the dogs out? John Vasquez, where are you in the chat? Wait, they're not playing Who Let the Who Let the What Out? It's a remix of the song. That's wild. I do like this window opens. Yeah, that's nice. The yellow breeze out here. Oh, yeah. Are they saying who wants to work out? Who turned the light out? Who wants the white out? Who wants the white out? She will be at the Contemporary. 
Awesome. I'm going to come say hi. I miss Ryan and Avery, and I didn't get to see them for Christmas, so I can't wait to go see them. I have known the Halvey family since I was a ye little lad. Well, I met Mike when I was 18 years old. And now, and I met Kristen. Kristen is the same sorority as Lauren. Wow. And I think they're the same age. Kristen, you're you're 87, right? I don't want to blow up your spot. Not that old. No, I asked a, an odd uh, year just for fun. Oh, no, I was saying that Lauren's not 87 years old. No, I know. She's not 87. She was born in 97. Yeah. Yeah. She was born in 02, like Will. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I love that Dawn said, my uh, son discovered uh, the cologne... <laughs> <laughs> I spent all my money on it. Robert, they gotta learn early. I like Pat Make 75 saying we're gonna make 300 likes happen. I love that attitude. We're close. I mean, we're only 33 likes away from 300. We are on our way to Disney's Polynesian Village Resort. We're gonna make a quick stop at the Grand Floridian first. And then we're gonna watch fireworks on the beach starting in about six minutes. Hi, Ryan, great to see you. 86, oh, all right, there you go. But they are in the same sorority, I know that. And Mike and I are in the same fraternity and Mike and I were roommates. And by that, I mean, we literally shared a room. Not like we lived in the same house. We shared a bedroom. I love the whole healthy crew. Kristen and Ryan and Avery. Thanks, Eric. No worries. We are on our way over to the Polynesian right now. We got about five minutes till fireworks and with a quick stop at the Grand Flow, we should be pulling up to the Poly just as the fireworks are starting, but the beach is grand and large and it's a quiet week. So I don't expect too many people. I expect some people, of course, but we'll get a good spot and they pump the music in. And uh, that was really the goal for today. It's been a really fun day. It, you know, the, the nice part about this nine hour, 9,000 subscriber stream is we didn't like have like a set schedule or we have to do this, we have to do that. It's just, let's go have some fun. Let's do as many resorts as we can and just see what happens. And it was great. We had a lot of new friends. Uh, show up here in the stream, which is so great new subscribers. We had friends come join us in person, which was amazing uh, And the only thing I mean left is I did set a crazy goal for 300 likes It might have been too much, but we're 30 likes away and we still have the entire happily ever after show so we have another uh, We're gonna be live for another hour. So we have basically let's say 55 minutes to hit 30 likes I think we can do it so when you take the boat from the Magic Kingdom, uh, it's basically a big triangle. It goes Grand Floridian, Polynesian, back to Magic Kingdom. Grand Floridian, Magic uh, Polynesian, back to Magic Kingdom. Kenny Holland in the house. Sexy Kenny, what's up? Good to see you. Kind of fun. The fireworks are going to start while we're on the boat. Should we go to the front of the boat now that it's empty and watch fireworks? Is it empty? Yeah, let's go. Oh, it's the wrong side. Wait. And then the second one goes We got to should go back in the boat then. We have to be on this side if we're going to see fireworks. Well, also, it's going to be me talking. I don't know. Let's go. There's, there, this is room. It's roomy back here. This way, when the fireworks start in three minutes, we can show you as we're pulling away from the Magic Kingdom. Well, but also the Magic Kingdom. 
because we will be pulling towards the poly. So you can see just the top. Oh, here it goes. You can hear the music. What did I say? Look, it's like we're on our own fireworks cruise. And they all lived happily ever after. Ready to be king. What's up, Tom? Says long time like smasher, first time viewer. Thanks for being here. Gen V says I'm back. Where are we headed? We are headed to Polynesian. You can hear in the background. Happily Ever After just started. So I'm gonna try not to talk so you can hear the music and you'll see the fireworks kick off any minute. We're gonna watch the rest of the show on the beach over at the Polynesian. This view provides a good idea of the large fireworks you see the sky like that one right there which is gigantic in scale it's actually shot off way behind the magic kingdom you can see the castle fireworks which happened here and those are shot off over there See the cool doof 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 doof. Boop, 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 boop. There is a cool bird right here. Ryan wants me to show everyone this bird right here. But here's some fireworks. Just for you, Ryan, I showed everyone.
This is the Moana sequence. Every step I take, every world leads back to the place I know. Where the da -da 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 -da. No. How far it goes. Do you see Maui's hooks? Thanks, Brandy. I know it's, I sound just like the song. Listen, I'm trying to provide context here. We have a whole audience. We got these little ones here. Look at all these people recording this shot. We're having a good time here on the boat. Me too. The launch site about a half a mile behind my room and then from behind the castle. That is pretty. That's cool. Got a little Disney firework technology. That's beautiful. So this is going to take you to Polly and then Magic. If you, if, you, if you don't, yeah, get off of Magic. I would say the walk is the fastest, but if, you're, if walking is not for you, it's been a long day. Monorail will be the fastest because it's the first stop of the contemporary. And everyone won't be on the monorail yet because the fireworks are still happening. When the fireworks end, it's going to be crazy. Did they? Oh, so that's why it's crowded. Oh. So you, your fastest bet might be the walk, sadly. Or if you want, the TTC is right here. You could walk from the Polynesian to the TTC. Oh, I didn't know the monorail would shut down. Yeah. Are all of them going to shut down? We got to get off the one. Oh, so the monorail shut down? So yeah, so. Is it not running at all? I don't know. I don't, I, we didn't even attempt to take it, but I just found this out. So we're going to yeah. get down. No. So I would say if Magic Kingdom, if you're going to Contemporary, Magic Kingdom is the closest. Good luck. We can hear the... All right, let's go. You got it or you're going to carry it? I got it.
Thank you so much. We got the music bumping. Yes. Thank you, Bill. This is 26 more likes, please. Yeah, 26 more likes, we hit 300. We are now at Disney's Polynesian Village Resort watching Happy Ever After from the dock. The beach looks crowded, so I'm just gonna let it rock from here so you can see it. And we have the music. Enjoy Happily Ever After. We'll talk after the show. Barry, thank you so much for the super chat. It says thanks for the awesome stream, Carney crew. Thank you, Avery. dreamed of a pirate's bar. The crowds will chills so this feeling right now is how I feel about all of you just so everyone knows I am so excited to have 9,000 subscribers and be on the way to 10,000 I cannot thank you enough I hope I'm not ruining the fireworks but this genuinely is how I feel the, the goosebumps and the chills is how grateful I am for all of you I'll be quiet now
And so our journey comes to an end. But yours continues on. Grab hold of your dreams and make them come true. For you are the key to unlocking your own magic. Now go. Let your dreams guide you. Reach out and find your happy ever after. Battles. Alright, we get it. <laughs> Live every day. We can't see Tinkerbell, I'm sorry. And here comes Tink in three, two, one. Boom, out the castle. Happily ever after, right here from the boat dock at Disney's Polynesian Resort. Oh, listen to this. Listen to this. Are we about to get a little electrical water pageant? Da, 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 da. It's weird because we're getting the post show from the fireworks and the speakers, but the electrical water pageant music from unlit electrical water pageant. I don't know what to do. I'm, I'm excited in both arenas. All right, we'll wait till it turns on. You can see the crowd. So here's the beach. We we're gonna watch it from the beach, but I mean, basically the same view. You can see all the people on the beach. They do pump in the music on the beach here at the Poly. There he is. Look who it is. Look, it lit up. The electrical water pageant. It's a dragon. I love the electrical water pageant. There in your eyes. Oh. That is really good. It tastes like I'm having like a nice fancy beverage. Hind us. What? I thought you were being able to here or not. Watch my phone for a sec while yeah. this happens. I'm gonna run to a restaurant in the back. Enjoy. Thanks. If there's a strong breeze, uh, I would hold that. <laughs> that's like, but only if there's a strong breeze, you're fine. I wouldn't. I wouldn't. 
I'm just gonna rest my hand here. I'm going to get a car to get us my turn. Okay, I'll be here. I heard your request. Pete is not back, Eric. I am still here, though. Uh, 
Uh, yes, the pageant is just over 50 years old. It is uh, one of very, very, very few original attractions. So, October 71. I wish that we could even get a projection of Spectra Magic. But also, I would be happy with any nighttime parade in any Disney park in Florida. It's okay, the chat was keeping me company. Oh jeez, look at you. You're the best. Well, I'd say what a day, but we still have to tour the Polynesian because we haven't toured the Poly yet. I would love that, Brandy. Um, <laughs> well, you would love what, Brandy? A uh, 1979? Uh, no, Brandy said, uh, what if they gave Spectro the Paris treatment and we got it as a drone show? That would be oh, so amazing. Would Everyone would love that. Magic. Brandy. Everyone would love that. And anyone who didn't like it, you know what? You would learn to love it. That, or I'd say go to Gatorland. Uh, because yeah. you don't like magic. Yeah. Or nice things. By the way, Brookie joined us. Hi, Brookie. Everyone knows Brookie. Uh, Marquita is still here. So we got still a very, I mean, I, wanna, I don't want to, you know, discount everybody else, but a very attractive group to end the stream. And look at the America. It all America. Friday night, we're going to be out here on the Seven Seas Lagoon and Bay Lake for our Adventures by Carney meetup weekend. We're going to be cruising around. You're not going to come on the boat? We can find you a spot. Or we'll just get another boat. That's what I'm talking about. When I looked at the list and I saw you weren't on it, I was kind of sad and I was like, oh, sugar. But he did know about it because he's been promoting it. I did know about it. We'll work on it. We'll talk about it. Um... Lauren might not come anymore, so you might be my Lauren. <laughs> Looks like she's going to Savannah. But that means you have real big responsibilities, right? If it's you're going to okay. be replaced, I'll be, Lauren. I'll give you some smooches and I'll be mean. <laughs> <laughs> that is so funny because I was going to make a very similar joke, <laughs> but you nailed it. Nicely done. I was going to say, well, the smooches is funny. And I was going to say, you have to say you're hungry like 10 times. Yep, the, yeah. I'll complain about wanting food, but uh, I'll, I'll bring a protein bar. Yeah. When are we what <laughs> when are we stopping to eat and when are we stopping to use the restroom? Yeah. You gotta say a bunch of times. Yeah. I'll I'll get I'm every teasing. Time I'm Everyone knows there. I love. We joke, I'll, we I'll joke. Bring my, I'll bring my big water bottle. We joke out of love. It's, not it's okay, a she's, asleep. A one. <laughs> she's asleep. She's asleep. No, she'll never watch this, but 15. she's asleep. Oh, but okay. her parents might watch it. <laughs> and then be like, you know what Pete said? You better leave this fool. <laughs> <laughs> And she's going to be like, but I love my gym. <laughs> <laughs> I know that it's not about me here anymore. It's about burn. Uh, yeah, she can't, and she I just can't ride the coattails. Uh, yeah, she can't leave. I mean, she can't. I mean, it's so expensive to live alone. She's got to stay with me. Yeah. And she loves her gym, so she can't leave. So, I mean, I just really am holding on by a gym thread right now. Yeah. Thank God for burn boot camp. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I mean. To burn boot camp celebration. Otherwise, Pete needs a roommate. <laughs> Also, she hates uh, when that's you funny. Her she hates when I call her my roommate. She really hates it. Not for you. No, just sometimes for fun. If I want to get under her skin, I go, "Hey, everybody, this is my roommate, Lauren." <laughs> Ooh, recreation activities. Oh Let's God. see what's happening here at Disney's Polynesian Village Resort. 
You can make your own nut lay. <laughs> we, keep, we keep saying it. But I'm just saying, that's what it says. You gotta say the whole word. All right, make your own kukui nut lay. I didn't know how to pronounce it, so I skipped it. Also, I'm just saying, it is after 9.20, Randy, so... I can't come to burn. Uh, I'm allergic. Oh, yeah. Uh, no, he went for a week. They are doing, I will say, I'm DJing that morning, but uh, during our Carney Crew meetup, they are doing a burn workout also DJing. Friday morning. You can come, actually. I can use an assistant. I'll, uh, I'll come be pizza assistant that morning. I am DJing Friday and Saturday morning from uh, 4 a.m. to 10 a.m. both days. That sounds good. Pick me up and I'll come. <laughs> Also, you can paint the ceramic pineapple on Tuesdays and Saturdays from 4.30 to 5.30. That I kind of want to do. We should come back and do that. Video game dance party? Now you're talking, see? Also, where's Ferris with the rating system now? Show off your dancing skills during our game of Just Dance in the movie screen. I love it. Also, check out Aloha After Dark. Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, enjoy a nighttime party filled with glow-in-the-dark games, dancing on the great ceremonial house lawn. And then we have the lava pool party. So many fun activities. All right, let's keep moving. Uh, one of my favorite margaritas on property right here. Oh, no. no, this is one of my, well, obviously the Jimmy P. Carney margarita is number one on property. When you have a margarita named after you, it's your number one. And go to Animal Kingdom, get it. It is the best margarita on property. Go to Restaurantosaurus Lounge, ask for the Pete Carney Margarita. It's a real thing, secret menu item at Disney's Animal Kingdom. But here is my second favorite margarita on property. The Rose Gold Sunset Margarita is absolutely delicious. If you are a fan of margaritas, I highly recommend. Um, Ryan is warming up Marquita via friction fun why not it's okay i used the back of my hand it was it was tsa approved <laughs> i'm just happy that the custodial coordinator gets their own golf cart <laughs> i'd like that by the way too the tsa coordinator that was great i foresee this going to like the sea world cave all over <laughs> Oh, you should have seen you should have seen me at SeaWorld Saturday night. I was having a good time. Oh, he was uh I was hoopa stanking out. Yeah, he He was hoopa stunk. <laughs> all right, that's rude. Hoopa stank hoopa stank. That's that's hoobastank. that's first of all rude. <laughs> if you want to go see the nonsense, Saturday we had a ton of fun. It was uh we did a rare Saturday stream at SeaWorld where we celebrated SeaWorld 60th also, the Seven Seas Food Festival and Hoobastank perform live. Also, also I had a good time and had a, a few beverages. Throwback. Ooh, what uh, is it? Uh, Huey, Dewey, and Kagooey. <laughs> and no, Gooey earlier because we were trying to name them and Farris named one of them. Oh, I think this one's Gooey because he's wearing a green shirt. Yeah, yeah. I was like, hey, Farris, do you know which one's Huey, Dewey and which one's Louie? And he was like, I think this one's Gooey. He goes, he's wearing green, so this has got to be Gooey. That's got to be Yui. <laughs> and he's Dewey-ing. He's, he's at, he's, yeah. he has the bat. This game. one's got a library card, so it's got to be the Dewey Decimal System. Uh, <laughs> the Dewey Decimal System is. All right, you guys underestimate Ferris. I think he does know. I'm going to ask him. <laughs> okay, do it off. I'm going to ask him if he knows how to use the Dewey Decimal System. Do it off stream, please. Thank you. <laughs> well, here we are, Disney's Polynesian Village Resort. They're building the new tower. We just saw it. It's coming later this year, but right now we just walked off the water launch to the Magic Kingdom. We walked down the Seven Seas Pool. Here's the Barefoot Pool Bar where I showed you that margarita. This is the lava pool. Uh, right now we are right over here. Well, I guess technically we're right here because it says you are here. We're going to walk into the Great Ceremonial House. We'll show you all around here and show you some more of the resort. You got Lilo's Playhouse, the Oasis Bar and Grill, the Oasis Pool. Uh, and beautiful. And if you ever want to walk towards the TTC, the Transportation Ticket Center, you just head up this away, walk through. All right, let's go inside and look around a little bit. Also, Trader Sam's. Hard to get into, a long wait. We'll just ask how long the wait is right now for fun. But if you want to see what some of the drinks and what the atmosphere is like, I just dropped three shorts last week and the week before. 
I think I did almost all of the theme drinks. I think it was a three of three series, but oh, okay. Trader Sam's Grog Grotta open from three till midnight. Let's just see what the weight is. Hello. Aloha. Aloha. What's our weight right now, Emily? How many is in our party? Four. Um, right now we could be looking around like a 20 to 30 minute wait. Like that's that's a it? Lot shorter than I expected. We expected hours and hours. I love that general. What what uh, generation is this? Yes. Yeah, that right there. You got me cold. <laughs> I want that right now. I also love the this generation zombie. That is a cool zombie as well. It is very cool. I have my least favorite zombie. This is the Ursula one. Two shots of rum. Sorry, it's a habit. Um, <laughs> do we want to go on the list or are we going to walk around? What do you want to do? All right, sure. We'll jump on the list. All right. Here's Trader Times. Four. Like we're hitting a terrible golf ball. I know. I'll go over here. All right, we're on the list. 20 to 30 minutes is a great wait time. I am not lying. I have never had that short of a wait time ever at Trader Sam's in the history of me coming to Walt Disney World. The place only holds about 40 people. It's, I mean, so that is crazy. But it is a quiet week, like I said. The crowd's coming for the right Disney weekend this weekend. Awesome, thank you so much, Emily. I love it. Emily, way to crush that routine, by the thank way. Thank you so, so much. I, I know you really nailed it. You nailed it. Hi. Hi. All right. Let's tour the Polynesian. I can't believe you're cold right now. You are, you're giving up big Ferris energy. What? I can't. Oh, okay. All right, sorry. big lot of Yeah. Why are you cold? This is like, honestly, I, I guess I can see why people are cold because I'm comfortable. Yes. I, I, this is the first time I've been comfortable. All, all day. day. Yeah. Let's check to see if what hot sauce Do we have any new hot sauces? By the way, I don't want to give off the energy that I like hot sauces. I actually am not a fan. But for our Cooking with Carney new series, we want, to do, we want to do every hot sauce on Disney property and whatever everyone mails in. I know a few people said they have some. If you I, want to know the address, jump in the Discord. I will put it in Cooking with Carney. I'm going to give you Ryan's address. <laughs> yeah, it's okay. You can come. I don't have anything worth, worth of anything. So <laughs> even if you break in, I won't lose much. Only because I put my whole schedule out there. I don't know if I should put my home address because Lauren is home a lot. Right like, by herself. There's just uh, things yeah, to usually do. my house is too empty. So. <laughs> <laughs> it makes sense. Oh, I like Thank you. What do you have? Huh? What do you have? Noah and Savannah. That conversation was so different in my head. I thought he said to his wife, what tea time, babe? Because I don't know why I'm thinking about golf. And then whatever she said, I thought he responded with, that's not going to work. So that man right there yeah. uh, wrote uh, a majority of the jokes for Trader Sims. Really? Why is he, why is he just doing walking around? Where did Marquita go? She got a sweatshirt, really? Yeah, she's breathing. She was so cool that it hurt to touch her. It is so nice right now. Feel this handrail? That's how her shoulders felt. Oh, like heaven? Yeah, amazing. Rookie, how are you temperature wise? Fine. All right. I'm sure I'm going to freeze here in a little bit. No. I will. I'm going to use the same reaction. Like no. <laughs> I like this guy. Me too. Yeah, so is he. No, she said I'm not from New York. Yeah, she's from Texas. We've had a lot of Texans tonight. This ain't Texas. Yeah. Hey, hold them. I'm sorry. Should we cut through? Do you want us to take it? You want to be in it too? No. Okay. We are here uh, just outside Ohana, but also you may know the Tambu Lounge. You could pop in, grab a seat over here, grab yourself a little cocktail. There's some seating here. Also up top, you have a, let's give a little tour while we're here. Hold on one sec, everyone.
Here we are. Kona Cafe. Probably not. No. Also next to Kona Island, where you can grab yourself a cup of Joe. I don't know where that expression came from, but you can grab coffee here in the morning. They're closed right now. Also, Disney right now promoting the skip the straw and lid for the environment. And right next to Kona, this is where you pick up the monorail. Get yourself over to the Grand Flow, Magic Kingdom, Contemporary, the TTC, or Epcot. But we made a great choice. Did you hear that the monorail was down? I did hear that. We oh, really geez. lucked out. We did really luck out. Where did we just lose Brookie? No, she just, she just kept walking. Oh. Uh, <laughs> all right. Well, there she goes. Love it. Uh, I have to put this down for a second and just throw a charger in because we're back at 10%. But we did pretty well today. No camera actual dying. We had the gimbal die once, but it wasn't that big of a deal. Big one or the small one? Well, the gimbal's about to die too, but. Hey, no, maybe we'll use that. I'll use both. Yeah. Hold on. This one is actually. I'm real tired. Oh, no, 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 no. Slide. <laughs> All right, let's charge that. That's working. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I thought you did, and I believed you that the lyrics were Pop Alexis. Which. I think they say something about Alexis. <laughs> My favorite part is that I just believed you. I will say I've gotten so much worse as a DJ because now I just listen to like the beats to make sure they sync up and sound good. And I've gotten away from the lyrics. Where and like now you're just like cutting off songs. So now, no, 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 like no, I'm, I won't do that. I'm not. But I mean, like, if that could be a lyric, but like I just sync up the song so it sounds right and sounds fun and cool when I mix it. That like I don't know what she's saying, and so I, Pop Alexis could be legitimately what she says, and I think it's hilarious. All right, let's go. Uh, let's go look at the Moana Mercantile. Moana Mercantile. Hold on, I have to hold this in a certain way. Look at this. I look like a maniac. You don't see what it looked like right now, but this is <laughs> what Brookie is doing. That <laughs> that's how I look right now. <laughs> so many cords and wires. What is happening? All right, what are we slinging here at the Moana Mercantile? Uh, they also have personalized and engraved tags. Tap to begin. Bing. Once again, if you forget your kid's name. Bing. Oh, here we go. Okay, oh. you got a little Moana Polynesian Village. Mini, Mickey Mouse. These are fun. I like this Maui. One. I like the Me Too. I was about to say the same one. I love the Aloha That's Polynesian the Village. Boss. It's not Maui. It's the final boss. The final boss? That's what The Rock calls himself the final boss. No, he doesn't. Yes, Stop he does. it. That's what he's calling himself? I also like this yeah. one. That is cool, too. That's literally what he calls himself. The final, the final boss. I just like that The Rock still claims that he is uh, not on steroids. He's actually not. He was just at WrestleMania, but. He's been on a crazy diet. He has been on a crazy diet his entire life. No, but he's on like an <laughs> insane diet right now where he's smelling food. Uh, <laughs> no, he did it on like one of his no, Instagram. No, he did it like one of his Instagram reels where he's like, hey, we just got the most amazing blank, blank, blank to our trailer and everyone's eating him. And he goes, this is what I do. And he puts it in front of himself, smells it, and hands it to somebody else. He's definitely, I mean, it, it, Definitely size. <laughs> I mean, I just don't think that you're able to be that jacked at that age. I think, I mean, the man does travel with his own gym, and it's in his he rider. He's got to have his own gym has tent. A gym in Hawaii. Yeah, he's got. He's got everywhere, yeah. He has a gym everywhere he goes that travels with him. Yeah, I guess you don't start getting bigger at 40. I don't think he's getting bigger. I think he's maintaining. All right. Well, we'll see. Yeah, I honestly. He's actually. I, I listen. I usually hug him every few months. I can wrap my arms around him now. Oh wow! Okay. We talked about Shaq earlier. He's no Shaq size. Well, that's because Shaq is a genetic marvel. Well, so <laughs> is The Rock. <laughs> hey, let's look at some press pennies. <laughs> There's a Trader Sam's one. Oh, I like this. This is cool. This is the press penny I want. If I was ever going to get a press penny, that is the coolest one. Yeah. I also like the orange, orange bird. But it doesn't say Polynesian Village or Trader Sam's. I like the ones that say Polynesian Village. This is cute, too. Yes. And I also like Donald having a good time. Goofy. 
That's fine. By the way, Goofy holding the surfboard, well, I feel time like... It's to come inside to Trader Sam's. Wow, that was fast. By the way, Goofy holding the surfboard, I feel there's like three resorts today. Yeah. You feel like Goofy's always surfing? Goofy loves surfing. He likes to surf. He loves the surf. And over here, you can get your collectible medallions. 2024, you got Mickey up in the sun. Look at Moana and Pua. Mickey and... Is that Chuby strolling around Walt Disney World? Yeah. Chuby the merchandise bird going to all the parks? That's wild. Oh, Hana, Black Panther, 8 of 12. Honestly, the Chuby one is my favorite. I love... Oh, so that's the back side, the back of, side of, of these two. Oh, ones. well, that is so fantastic. Front of Stitch, and then the back... You I do like the Oh, Hana Meets Meets Family, but I probably should watch the movie. Family means nobody gets left behind or forgotten. Well, everyone... Let's go to Trader Sam's. I'm going to need a head count when we get there. One, two, three, four. Okay. Nobody gets forgotten or left behind. Oh, we want to do some Trader Sam's action? This is unplanned, and I cannot believe we're getting in this fast. Somebody did specifically ask if we were getting a uh, closeout at Trader Sam's. Um, a closeout? What is a closeout? Uh, just some uh, for the stream, Clo closing the stream. Oh, we're going to close the stream at Trader Sam's, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. We're doing a nine hour stream. We're coming into our last few minutes. Thank you so much for hanging out today. I'll do a little send off goodbye later on, but we're not done yet. But if you haven't hit the like button yet, I set a crazy goal of 300 and we're only 21 likes away from 300. I really feel like we could do it. We have 15 minutes. If you could hit that like button, it would be amazing. And if you haven't subscribed yet, that would be fantastic. We're pushing towards 10K. This is a celebration of 9,000 subscribers, but when we hit 10,000 subscribers, we are doing a 24-hour live stream at Walt Disney World. It's going to be amazing. So, yeah, if you haven't hit the like button or subscribed, that would be fantastic. Also, go check out our Patreon, patreon.com backslash adventures by Carney. And down in the description, you can find all the socials. My Instagram is at official Carney. My Twitter is at your WDW guy. The TikToks Adventures by Carney, the Discord's Adventures by Carney, the Patreon's Adventures by Carney. Also, you can find our amazing channel sponsor, SJG3 Collectibles. Definitely check them out. You can go to their website, ebay.com backslash STR backslash SJG3 Collectibles, or find them on Twitter at SJG3COL. Yeah, they're just getting on the list, I think. Sometimes it's the perfect end to a Disney day. Absolutely. I'm not going to lie. I've definitely had food in bed on some Disney vacations when I've been in shot. You do 12 hours in the park. You just want to put your feet up. Yeah, you just want to be horizontal. Yeah. Emily's doing a great job. But it was Izzo who said, Trigger Sam's to finish the show. Izzo knows. Izzo had that premonition. Also, shout out to uh, Colleen for uh, putting all the links in the... Uh, that is our queen, show. Queen Colleen. We love her. Shout out to Colleen Kidder. Also, Rebecca Dillon thinks it's Parkulexis. I like Populexis. Populexis. <laughs> <laughs> Park Alexis makes way more sense, but Pop Alexis is very funny. Yeah. Pop Alexis. I'm gonna go to a Beyonce concert and make sure it says Pop Alexis. That almost sounds like you're stealing a car, though. Like, yo, how are we gonna get out of here? We'll just pop Alexis. Like, uh, you know. Right. Arlene. Or if you had a, a balloon named Alexis. Hello. Thank you. you. Hello. Nope. Nah, you can. Perfect. 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 
Perfect. Perfect. We started with the youngest. We go off from there. But I appreciate you carding since we all are all barely 21. That's right, stream. If everyone's listening, we just made it. Yeah. All right, you guys can follow me. What a wonderful table. Unless you mind. I just, in, in general, in life, like having my back against the wall, too. Like, in case anything goes down, I'm like, I'm ready to, I'm ready to pounce. No, I, I go for the attacker. I'm, I like to, I'm the guy that runs into the fire. Like, that's... Well, this is a very deep conversation. We shouldn't get into it this late in the stream, but yeah. Laura knows that she hates this, but like I have dreams all the time about like that's how I go is like running into gunfire or fire or like the train that tips over. Yeah. Well, here we are. Trader Sam's Grog Grotto at Walt Disney World. We're at the Polynesian Village Resort. A lot of fun, crazy things happening here. Brookie hasn't been here in a while, so it's very exciting. I'm happy you're here. Ryan, when was the last time you were here? Wow, that's a long time. 2019, 2022. Yeah, Mel and I were here at that table uh, a few months ago. <laughs> Ryan's been allergic to alcohol for the last 18 months. Maybe his whole life, but he was just ignoring it. But here we are. It's a very, very small tiki bar here at Walt Disney World. That's why it's so popular. A lot of people rank it as their number one. Here we go. What's going on? Hi, Jenna. Love it. Yes. Also, I have a question. Is it okay if you're on camera or I could keep it face down or away from you? Okay, just wanted to ask first. No problem. I love it. Thanks, Jenna. So if you want to see some of the fun reactions, again, we have a three-part uh, short series about some of the drinks here, but you're going to see it live in real time. Thanks for liking. I'm saying that I hope you hit the like button. Thank you for liking them. Did well, maybe you did. Well, then there you go. I oh yeah, you did. Is that a lot of people don't realize that there is a painting of the Nautilus up there, and when someone orders the Nautilus, it glows and comes. Uh, it looks like it comes to life a little bit. There's a little bit of a glow fun factor there of the Nautilus on the wall. Yeah, and so I never noticed that. That's right. You did comment and I did write back. And I will say, anyone that comments on a video, I take pride in responding to every comment on a YouTube video. So go uh, go watch some videos. Go make some comments and I will respond. Might be the best way to get my attention. The only time I don't respond, if it's inappropriate. Or if you text me, I don't respond to those either. Yeah, most of the time. Yeah, yeah. No, I eventually do. Yeah, he'll, he'll get to it. I would, I, I'm within 24 hours. Like, I wish there was that auto set up like other big companies. It's like, Peter is working on it. He'll get back to you in the next 23 and a half hours. Uh, I believe we've said it on live stream. Uh, oftentimes, the best time to get a hold of Pete is when he's trying to avoid doing something more. That is very true. If I have a very big project, I love to answer text messages. <laughs> Um, also, I don't know if we lost service or what's going on. Hold on. I'm going to turn this on for a sec. Because somehow we went from 104 to four people watching. Which doesn't seem right because I feel like people like Trader Sense. 
just a bin? How do you Everyone just... Everyone was just like, how no, does, done. A hundred people are just like, I'm done. Trader Sam's, I'm out of here. Screw that. Yeah, now it's saying six. Yeah. How is that? It was frozen. I think we're good now. <laughs> now it says three. I don't know if we're good. It could be that I put it on selfie mode. That usually kills at least 100 people immediately. Well, I'm just saying, can someone do, um, what's 60 times nine? 540? Yeah, 540, which means in 12 minutes, we've done nine hours. I like that Brandy's like, roll call, who's here? And it seems like there's way more than five people, but it says that there's five people here. Yeah, I'm seeing seven. That's crazy. And I'm seeing more than seven. Hi, JJ. Yes, we are in Florida. We are in Florida. We are Trader Sam's in Orlando, Florida. This is not the one in Disneyland. Disneyland's Trader Sam's Grog Grotto is a lot bigger. Hi, Amanda V. I love that we're doing a roll call. This is great. Way more than seven people in the roll call, so this makes no sense. Colleen's here. Janelle's here. Janelle says we're so close to 300 likes, only 17 away. Captain Kirk says this is great practice for 24 hours. Peach's Pea says there's definitely more than seven people here. I agree. Now it says there's two people watching. Yeah, I think YouTube is just uh, having some problems. YouTube teased me like this this week. Remember when we gained 300 subs in a day? And then yesterday it went back down to like 150. Did it really? It, you know, we went from 8,900 to 93, back down to 91 this morning. Well, it's almost 92. No, it's still exciting. I'm very happy. Yeah, but it did take away about 150. Do you need help? No, no. I really kind of want to get this. I want to get the. I want to get the zombie zombie mug. Is what I want. I want to take it home. So oh, you can do that. Mug. The zombie with the mug. Yeah, that's what I want to get. It seems like there's a lot more than two people guys, watching. Hey, I'll try it anyway. The zombie's good. Is it? Now it says one I want the souvenir mug. What? It now says there's one person. There's one person <laughs> watching. Andrew C says he's here. Maureen Walters has been rocking most of the day. Shout out to Maureen. Thank you so much for hanging out. Izzo's here. Peaches P. YouTube has been wackadoodle. It says there's one person watching. Uh. <laughs> but Shannon, Bill D, Pat Mix 75, Janelle, Apex 999, yeah, so, so Cargo. Oh, okay, so it's YouTube. Uh, because, uh, Rebecca oh, Williams yeah. Says when she goes to her so page, it's empty. I just saw that, yeah. JJ says YouTube is down. Yeah, so they're probably doing a. Dawn says all streams are at one. Well, I'm happy you're all here. And I don't know if the like button works, but we're 17 away. It'd be a real shame. You know what? We can blame not hitting 300 on YouTube. Yeah, YouTube's problem. Chris Ross is here. Wow. I just love that all of you are watching on one screen because there's only one person watching and everyone is here. Robert D, Brandy, so Cargo. Who would have thought you're all in one room watching? Uh, so it's going to be called our Sign the Scroll. So it's going to have a tracking spice drum, pomegranate juice, blue carousel, so it is a bit on the sweeter side. It does come served in a regular glass. Since that one's limited edition, you pick it up on the way out. It's going to be $75 for the mug of What is that? What mug is it? I just want to know what the mug looks like. We haven't had this play up at the host stand. you want to take a look. All right, I'll check it out. That's cool. Are we doing one of those? No, okay. We're just curious. We just wanted to know about it. Uh, we well, can I get started for everybody? Blue Curacao is that bad? I can always take it without the blue carousel if you want, but I think it takes a whole lot better. <laughs> She's very particular, but she did give a lot of drinks today high praise, which was nice. All right, what are we doing? It's not bad. I've had it. It's not bad. I'm just gonna do a water and try that. What? Yeah, yeah. Do I mean if you like the mug, get the drink in the mug. I love the mug. I have a few different versions of the zombie mug at home. Do so you want me to give you a few minutes? I think we're going to need just another minute. No problem. I'll be back, y'all. Uh, I've never had more comments for one person watching in my life. Uh, <laughs> JJ said, I'm trying to like it. It won't let me. Adam says, YouTube won't let me like the video. It won't let anyone like it? This is crazy. 
Captain Curse is a watch party. I hope. I mean, honestly, I'm glad the glitch didn't happen all day. If it's just happening now, it's fine. Rebecca says it won't let me like it for my other accounts either. Oh, man. All right, so YouTube is... Grr. Maybe they'll just give us all a million dollars. Okay, just do it. It's a cool mug. Yeah, I'm going to do it. And you can save it or resell it. Well, I'm just saying. Izzo, thanks. So idea. we're behind you. I like that. Or it makes a beautiful... Um, you can put succulents in it. I was going to say that same thing. I was going to say you can put like a succulent in it. I appreciate it, Izzo. Lady Kirk says, I'm here. I got it running on my phone on the TV. So, yes, there's apparently a new glass. So, how did you know about this Ursula glass? Your Marquita. Adam says, this is like the Highlander. There could only be one viewer. I wish I saw that or got that reference, but I know that that's a famous quote. Right? Okay. Anyway. No, I also haven't seen that movie. Like, I know the Highlander, there can only be one. Yeah, it's Mel Gibson, right? I don't know. Uh, <laughs> Paige Cara Hamilton said, just hit the like, order a fun drink. Thank you so much, Paige. Dawn says, Pat's changing his plans to go to Trader Sam's tomorrow now. <laughs> We're, yes, we're only 16 likes away from 300. A crazy goal, but very exciting. What's up, TLOS? Oh, we do have to check Shelly. Uh, then we... Two shots of rum! We'll find out how Shelly's feeling. Maybe we'll get a black pearl. Rebecca Dolan, it might have been you that broke YouTube. Congratulations, you broke it. Or me doing a nine-hour stream shut down YouTube. They're like, get this guy out of here. Let's kill the whole site. Oh, jeez. Robert D said, I refreshed, and now it's letting me like. And we have grown to three people watching, but about 40 people commenting. Sorry that YouTube's uh, doing this to us, but we're still sticking strong to our nine hours. I know, I haven't seen movies. Ben B says, Pete, my dog, what are we sipping on? I got the d game on tonight. Might pour up a beer and two shots of rum. Uh, I'm sipping on an adult water. I think that that's a hilarious idea, having uh, Pat Pick 75 for the uh, Super Chat. Pat Pick 75 for the Super Shot? Yes. It was right as the phone died? It was Pat's fault? No, it's easy. Thank you, Pat Pick 75 for the Super Chat. Thanks. Honestly, there's so many people we should be thanking. Hold on one second. Let's see. Oh, yes. It seems like we are back. Death Live uh, sent us a super chat today. Who else was on the super chat? We just, Spokesman had two of them as well. Um, Tomorrowland Traveler always. So I'm just going to say thanks to Tomorrowland Traveler. And uh, is it Jeff? I think it was Jeff. It was, so, it was so long ago. It was, but thank you to everyone who supported. Also, it's so nice. We're, we're still just as appreciative. Uh, yeah. It was uh, 10 hours or 10 minutes ago. We, oh, the zombie. This is this is your drink. I haven't ordered it yet, though. Oh, then never mind. This is what it's going to look like when you order your drink. Oh, snap. That light is right in my eyeballs. Zombie. And I could see. Uh, I was just saying to to my crew here, how does the stream die like that? When we're four minutes away from nine hours. Yeah, I know. Uh, so also while while the stream was dead, uh, so far ago asked if there was any mocktails for me. Uh, there oh. are three uh, alcohol. Let me, let me put it on you. There's, there's some on the bottom. Yeah, you talk about it. Go ahead. It's on you now. Uh, there is the Skipper Sipper, which is uh, tropical juices, uh, agave nectar, it's got some mint, uh, and then the Sweatshirt Falls, uh, which is, once again, uh, 
tropical juices and gorilla broth. My car's not working. Right? And then they have a zero proof alcohol, uh, which is the Polynesian Punch, which has Thank you. spiced cane spirit, uh, orange, pineapple, and passion fruit, lava, hibiscus, ginger beer, and soda water. Honestly, I'm good. Here we go, Jim's back. I'm good. I'm Thank you. Honestly, it, it means a lot. Thank you. you got it. It's going to come served in it, but you're going to bring it one of the way. What a steal. Can you set a water, right, Ken? Yeah. Sure thing. Put it on this side for you. Drinking alcohol? No, you're the ladies. You guys are drinking it up. Come on, represent for us. Yeah, you got it. What'd you get? And did we want to put any food in the Unless, kitchen? Unless, I mean, to be honest. Friends, if we want to put any food in, the oh. kitchen is about to close up. Okay, no, no, we're good on food. Put, but those in for I might do a drink. Really depends on lifelong goal. How is Shelly feeling tonight? Shelly, how are you feeling? Shelly? Uh, sugar. All right. <laughs> she must be all clammed up. I'm good. I'm good. It literally happened last time. We were sitting at that table. Yep. Yep. And I told everyone black pearls never happen. And then they ordered one and they got a black pearl immediately. Uh, it happened twice. Like, it's also on my, one of my shorts. Where they're like, so uh, what's the big deal? And I'm like, oh, it's super rare, but it, it never really happens. Because I was like, I was going to order one, but I was like, you know what? I'm not. I'll just have a beer. I order a beer. They order the pearl. They get a black pearl immediately. And then before we leave, somebody else gets a black pearl. Fun stuff. For those who don't know, Shelly is the clamshell in the corner of the bar uh, sitting right over there. And you can order a pearl which is a standard drink here, but every once in a while, Shelly randomly spits out a black pearl. And they're very rare, and it's exciting, and the people save them, they're very collectible, but also there's a big resale market because a black pearl is so rare. You can probably find one at SJG3 Collectibles, but I'm just saying, I would love to get one legitimately from Shelly, and it has not happened. And I'm not gonna lie, the drink that it's served in is not the drink that I enjoy having all the time. So I've had this drink that I don't enjoy so many times trying to get a black pearl. I've also had it several times. Let me tell you what's in. Yeah. So it's called the Polynesian Pearl. It's also, just fun fact, $22.50. So that is quite the gamble. Fair enough. So you can start a full pit in your spare bedroom. Well, it's just in comparison to the other cups. You that is true. Spend extra it on. does taste like Cinnamon Toast Crunch for those. Uh, Captain Kirk said, is that the Cinnamon Toast Crunch one? It is. It has the rum chata in it, the Grand Marnier. It's got some cinnamon, some tropical juices, and you get to heat the pearl when you're done. Sadly, it's never worked out for me. Also, you were asking what Marquita got. She got the secret menu drink. Oh, what'd you get? Tell everybody. So what is that? Tell the people. Oh, it's so secret. You don't know? Wow. It's delicious. And nutritious. I would say not that recommend Okay. What's up, Score Jason? We are back. Sorry about that for a hot second. And everyone, we have big news. No, we did not. Things we hit. We did not hit 300 likes, but we're 17 away. So if you haven't hit the like button, please help us out. We're trying to hit 300. It does say that there's no one literally watching. I have a zero on my screen. So to, to the zero people watching, we've hit nine hours, and that's a big deal because the nine hours. We promised back in the day when we were working our way towards 10K, and I said we surpassed 9,000 subscribers, we will do a nine hour stream for more of the Walt Disney World. And now, I know, 
there's three people watching in front of me, but it says there's one person watching. But uh, this stream, again, was just more an appreciation stream more than anything else as a thank you. And uh, it means a lot to me that everyone out there took the time not only to watch, tune in, but to take the plunge and hit that subscribe button. So thank you so much. It really does mean a lot. Um, it's crazy. Because, I mean, we're still a relatively young channel in my eyes. I'm still out here figuring out day to day, trying to do the best I can. I have the help of a lot of amazing people. Three of them here right now, Marquito, Ryan, Brookie, um, and so many others. And of course, all the amazing Patreons, SJG3 Collectibles, our sponsor. But I, just, uh, I stand on the shoulders of all of you. So thank you so much. 9,000 subs is really cool. I'm so excited for our next milestone, 10,000. Like I've said about 40 times today, when we hit 10,000, we're going all out. We're doing a 24 hour live stream from Walt Disney. It's gonna be crazy, it's gonna be wild, it's gonna be fun. But thank you, thank you, thank you. And if you haven't subscribed yet, I really hope you do. If you haven't hit the like button yet, we're 17 away from 300. Uh, some other just fun little plugs, I would check out our website, adventuresbycarney.fun, and that will be uh, going undergoing some changes over the next few months. There'll be a, uh, some other fun things happening over the summer. Uh, we do have merch. We have, uh, if you want to go check out the merch, it's on our Discord, which is amazing. Uh, over 300 and change people of just positive, nice people that converse, chat, and hang out every day in our Discord. Uh, my schedule is there. You can see my daily schedule there. You can see upcoming streams. You can make stream suggestions. You can make edited video suggestions. The general conversation. Go check out our Discord. Uh, if you want to see all the fun we have in between the streams, including once we shut this down tonight, my Instagram is at official carney. My Twitter is at your WDW guy. My TikTok's Avengers by Carney. Discord's Avengers by Carney. The Patreon's Avengers by Carney. Big shout out to all the Patreons. What else am I missing? Website, adventuresbycarney.com. We talked about that. We have a huge beat up this weekend. If you're in town, please come hang out with us Thank from Thursday friend. through Sunday. Get on a flight. It's going to be so much fun. I've talked about it a lot today, so I won't recap the whole thing, but you can see the schedule on the website or in the Discord. Look at this. The heart of Polynesia. Do we know what's in the heart of Polynesia? What is in this drink? Well, I can't tell you. It's going to be a whole secret. Oh, okay. Never mind. <laughs> no, but it's going to be almost as if a blue Hawaiian and a pina colada got mixed together. Okay. Yeah. That's kind of the best way to describe it. I like it. Thank you so much. So you're saying it's, it's blue curacao. Exclusively blue curacao. Oh, blue curacao. I had a um, I had a shirt that was dyed by Blue Curacao. Really? Yeah. What was he like? No uh, thanks, Colleen, for posting all the links in the chat for our Instagram, our all the socials, the website, the eBay. Thanks again to Robert D for buying that amazing drink today. What's going on, Karen Burke? Great to see you. Shout out to Rich G. Says, I'm watching on my TV and my phone, yet it shows one person watching, and Rich is watching on two accounts. Are you kidding me? Well, hopefully the likes catch up. Uh, we were so close to 300. But I, Allison's still here, so Cargo, Izzo, Captain Kirk, Alyssa. So much fun. I think what we're going to do is we're going to wait for this zombie. I'll show you what the zombie looks like. And then I think we're going to say goodnight. It's been uh, over nine hours and so much fun. But again, this is an appreciation stream. So thank you, thank you, thank you for hanging out and being a fan of the channel. It means a lot. I'm excited for 10K. I'm excited for this weekend. We're going to be doing a lot of live streams but also recording a bunch of stuff. So stick around. Uh, I will say if you're subscribed, whether you're new or existing, make sure you get that bell on. Hit all notifications so you don't miss any of the fun this week when we just pop on a live stream. What? Yeah, oh, your zombie's coming? Oh, here we go, zombie time. Oh, I hear it. Yeah. Oh, no. This is the storm first. You get to see another drink happen. Light that thing on fire. Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. Uh -oh. Oh, 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 oh. Ah! 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 Gonna 
big storm coming in. It's getting wet. It's raining. I don't know about you guys, but that drink made me wet. That is so sweet. It's insane. It is. The floater saves the drink. That is so sweet. So again, the reason why Trader Sam's on everybody's like must-do list, I agree. But the reason I put Nomad Lounge above, oh, here we go, zombie time. That's such a sick mug. Nomads is my favorite Nomad's my favorite bar, only because the drinks here are so rum and sweet. And I'm a tequila vodka guy. Do you got champagne problems? I was quoting Nick Jonas, duh. Wait a minute, wasn't she just a zombie a few minutes ago? That is such a cool mug. I love it. I don't have this version and I'm so jealous now. I know, I really, you know how hard it is just to be here at Disney and now I have to say no to this because I love this version. It is amazing. Yeah. Uh, yeah, they, they didn't do a great job on the first one, but they did it way better on the second shot. Sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy, we're having fun. Pat makes any says I will be purchasing. I love it. I gotta, uh, Pat. We gotta hang out a lot this weekend. The last meetup, I was so busy and things were happening in my life. You know, your dad's dying. You're not the same. But this weekend, I'm all about hanging out with everybody. And Pat, I miss hanging out. I can't wait to drink some cold Bud Lights with you. And frolic around Walt Disney World. All right, Bud Lattes is, is Pat Make 75's drink. For those who don't know, it's a deep throwback, but Pat Make 75 is the original person who got lost in the World Showcase Lagoon. Wait, what? We lost him in the World Showcase Lagoon. People since then have jumped in on their own, but one day, a long, long time ago, we're going back to when I used to do live streams for WWNT. Uh, Pat Make 75 was lost in the lagoon. It was, sad. it was a sad time, but he's back, he's here, he's a Patreon, and he's an awesome dude, and I love him. He also dates a Lauren, so I feel like we're part of a club. Yeah, we get it. Izzo goes, Lagoon Pat. <laughs> Pat, Garden Girl Thursday? Wait, are we doing Garden Girl on Thursday? Time out. Are we actually doing it? We're going to cross one of the restaurants off the list? By the way, guys, big news. We just jumped from one viewer to 40 viewers. Oh, my God. 46 viewers. Wow. 40, 48. Holy cow. It must have been the curse of Oa. Or the zombie. Or this selfie that's happening, but you can't see it, everyone. But it's good. 
Rebecca Dolan says, I remember Pat in the lagoon. I love that. that. That's a memory for a lot of people. That means you've been around for a while. We're at 52 people watching. The creature of the Pat Lagoon. So good. Oh, Thursday at 5.05, three spots? Sounds like you might have two less spots. I think I have to cross one off the list. I also just love hanging out with Pat Mix 75. A fellow New Yorker. I just think it might be a bingo champion. It's your favorite dining at Epcot? No way. I love it. It's pretty legit. All right, what day is this? Hold on, let me look. Thursday. Thursday at 505. What are we doing Thursday? I forget. Are we doing anything Thursday night? I don't think we have Nothing officially, Thursday. just just park hangout, right? I think it's right? just first, first day All right. unofficial. Pat, Pat also wrote, they serve Bud Light there, oh, which well, is hilarious. God, That's hilarious. Brandy El Mayo, yeah. Bread. All right, should we cross it off? Now I feel like, but I have a follow-up question, Pat. Should we live stream my first time at Garden Room? Or just do a that short? Up it's up to Pat. All right, we'll talk to Pat off the stream. Everything is amazing. Uh, the only thing... Um, I will say, before we say goodbye, now that it looks like the stream is working, 15 likes away from 300, there's gotta be 15 of you who have not hit the like button. Let's go. All right, besides that, I think this is a good point to say goodnight. We're having a good time. It's a high note, we're at Trader Sam's. We've done over nine hours. We're about to hit 600 minutes live. That's so many minutes. It's so many minutes. So many minutes. Like, if my parents, as a kid, was like, go to your room for 600 minutes, I would assume that was the rest of my life. Yeah. Yeah, I it's that, it's that, that amount of minutes. I would be like, time. that's a death sentence. Uh, yeah, if I was in court and the judge is like, you got to do 600 minutes in jail, I'd be like, what is that, forever? Yeah, what is that, life without parole? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that seems a little too much for talking on a cell phone. Yeah. This seems a little excessive for not putting yeah. my shopping cart. Yeah. I also wasn't even talking on the cell phone. I was making a thumbnail. I'm sorry. <laughs> so, Cargo, thanks for hitting the like button on two different accounts. Thanks to everybody who hits the like button. Thanks to everyone who hits the like button on different accounts. Oh, we're only 10 away now. Oh, snap. We oh weren't so close. Uh, big thank you to everybody who just puts on the stream and lets it run at home. Uh, I appreciate you. That brings up our watch time. Thanks to everyone in so many different ways. Everyone here, I feel like, is just so genuine and so awesome. 292, we're eight likes away from 300. Oh, we gotta do, we got eight more. We gotta do eight. We, we're so close, we gotta hit eight. Ryan, we're eight away. Hold on, last time I took a sip of water, we got 17 likes, let me do it again. Last time I took a sip of water. <laughs> Brandy goes, I made Brian do it. Yes, make your significant others hit the like button. Uh, maybe you should have a secret YouTube account. Create a new one. We're six away, 294. It's the final push. Let's go. Izzo says, wait for it, Pete. Don't say goodbye yet. We're going to get there. He goes, I'm going to text people. Yes, text people. Captain Kirk says, I'm making some calls. I love it. Izzo is texting people. Captain Kirk's making calls. Brandy made Brian hit the like button. Rebecca says, hold on, I'm gonna make my husband leave a like. I love it, yes, let's do it. Five away, we're at 295. This would be awesome if we hit 300. And look at this beautiful lighting. Yeah, I can't wait till your significant others log in and see this. We're 298, we're two away. Two ninety nine. we are one like away. Thank you so much, Virtual Euphoria. I said, I just hit the like button. Rich G said, one away. Oh my gosh. It's the final countdown. Who sings that? And how come they don't play at Epcot? I believe it. Isn't it Europe? Is it Europe? 
You would think Europe would be in the World Showcase. Sorry. They get worse uh, as the night goes on. Uh, they don't start great either. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Ryan. Yes, it is Europe. Sorry. I had to look that up. It's, it's Europe? Country. Yes. Nice, <laughs> nice. It is Europe. <laughs> Karen Burke says, it's too late for me to call or text anyone or else I'd be pushing as hard as I can. Thank you, Karen. Look at that, we just did it. 300, baby! Yes! I feel like everyone in this bar should be applauding. Does everyone just know what just happened? 300 likes! Oh, that's not what we yell? I thought it was... That's exactly what we yell. I thought that's what that was for. Everybody yelled that at the same time. 300 likes. Did you hear that? Everyone in the bar cheered for you. I heard Thank that. you. I know it's weird to have two gunshots for 300 likes, but it's a thing. Yeah, it's the, it's the two gunshots. <laughs> Salute. Well, I will say this was the most ambitious goal, and the fact that we hit it right at the 600-minute mark is amazing. Thank you so much, everyone who watched today. We have a ton of content coming your way. We have a crazy Carney Crew Meetup weekend where we're going to be live doing a lot of fun stuff. If you missed any of our insane fun streams from the past week, go check them out. Go watch the shorts. There will be a video every single day this week, whether it's a short or a live stream or something else that is wild and crazy. Thank you for being here. Thank you to everybody who's stuck out all nine hours. Thank you so much, Marquita. Thank you so much, Ryan. Thank you, Brookie. Thank you. Thanks to everybody else who is here. Of Good course, it's my pleasure. Uh, thanks to everybody else who is here today. Faris, uh, uh, kids stop by. Lauren, Andrew, Zach. And everyone else who has been a part of this. She, she said she showed up. As much as she could. She did what she could. Uh, have a great night. All the links to everything we talked about is down in the description. Go check out the website at VentureByCarney.fun. That's right. Not .com. .fun. F-U-N. And uh, I'm just so appreciative, so grateful, not only for this major accomplishment, but the fact that you guys hung out with me for nine hours on a Tuesday. It's a lot of this. And I know... No one wants this on their screen all the time. So I appreciate you all very much. Thanks again to everybody who sent Super Chats, Venmos, uh, and everyone else who supports the channel. Thank you to all the Patreons. Thank you to SJG3 Collectibles. And now, it is time to say goodnight. We're gonna have a few more drinks and skedaddle out of here. I will see you Thursday or Friday for sure. There'll be a video tomorrow, uh, but I'm gonna take the day off. I'm just DJing tomorrow night. We're gonna have a day of rest and the Carney Crew kickoff starts Thursday, and we ride that all the way to Monday night. What? Where are you at Thursday? Is it on Disney property? Marquita will be, anyone running, by the way, it's race weekend, the Run Disney Surprise, uh, what is it? Springtime Surprise Weekend, I'm tired. Nine hours talking live. Uh, Marquita will be over at the KT Tape area, uh, and that's how I met Marquita. She was the first person to tape up these caps. And then after that, she was like, you should, what? I didn't even finish the story. All I said was you. And you said that's not how the story went. To hear more about the story, subscribe. I'll see you guys real soon. Have a great night. Happy Tuesday. Thanks for being awesome. I love you all. Uh, I always finish my streams asking one big favor. and It's the most important thing more than all the likes and the subscriptions. It's just, please be kind to one another. Uh, I think we do have the power to change the world. You never know what somebody else is going through. So just to send, just send a little bit of kindness, it can go a long way. I'll see you real soon. Thanks for watching. I love you so much. And I'll see you real soon. Bye-bye. Peace. See you later. Bye. Love you a long time. Bye-bye. See ya. Sayonara. Ciao.